Okay, uh, welcome. Dr. Kamran Khaja is here. Welcome to Sims Med Prep. This is online webinar for all international medical exams at Sims Med Prep. If you are a medical student or doctor and you want to know all the medical exams, okay, like USMLE, LAB, MRCP, and as well as Germany Pathway, Maldive Pathway, Ireland Pathway, and all of the other pathway like Norway pathway and uh, Qatar pathway, Kuwait pathway. Okay, so in all these pathway, I will be discussing and I have invited uh, Dr. Khatija Chaudhary uh, for this uh, session, who will be our co-host here. So if you have any question, I will be requesting that you post your question in the comments. Okay, so that it will be easy for us to answer all your questions. Is that clear? So I request you to post all your questions in the comments. So I will be telling you uh, my co-host, Dr. Khatija Chaudhary. Dr. Khatija Chaudhary is a resident in the UK. So as all of you people know, she, she is a graduate of King Edward Medical University and now working in the University Hospital of the North uh, Midlands in the United Kingdom. So I will be inviting Dr. Khatija Chaudhary to tell our audience about yourself. Hello, I am Dr. Khatija Chaudhary, graduate of King Edward Medical University, batch 2021. Currently, I'm working in University Hospital of North Midlands as a clinical fellow. First of all, I'll thank Dr. Khadija for having me over here today. This platform is entirely about supporting our junior fellows in whichever university they are to take bold step and come to the on uh, the international platforms for their training. We will discuss about PLAB, about MRCP routes, about USMLD, AMC, and all the relevant examinations that you can take like at this stage when wherever you are either in medical students or either you are uh, doing your house job or anything else. Yeah, so we will be answering all of your questions. I hope that it will be useful for you all guys. Thank you so much, Dr. Khadija, uh, for giving the precious time. So I am very happy. Now uh, I will be starting first generalized overview of all the exams. Okay, step by step, we will be discussing more than 12 exams. Uh, it is actually a generalized overview. We will be we will be discussing a general overview. It is not a complete detail. Okay, so let me share my screen. Okay, so uh, you can see here, uh, this is overview of different national and international medical exams. Uh, specifically, we will be focusing on international medical exams. Okay, so this is uh, our guest, Dr. Khatija Chaudhary, Clinical Fellow at University Hospital of North Midland. Thank you, Dr. Khatija. So first of all, we will be discussing about USMLE. USMLE, uh, I will start with a basic concept. USMLE is United States Medical Licensing Examination. It is for United States, okay? It is for USA and U USMLE contains step one, step two, okay? In the previous USMLE step two, uh, uh, like having two part, one part was USMLE step two CK, which is clinical knowledge and USMLE step two CS, which was clinical skills, but CS is not nowadays. So only there is USMLE step one, USMLE step two, and there is or now the CS has been replaced with occupational English test that is OET. So now the student, uh, of course, they will go for USMLE step one, USMLE step two, and OET to get the ECFMG certification. ECFMG now it has been replaced by my intel ecfmg is organization that is registering yourself registering for international medical graduates who are uh, like coming from other than the usa so other than the usa the term is used img international medical graduate okay so all people know that step one is uh, eight hour exams and it has uh, uh, like one block contain uh, like 40 MCQs and one in one block, you can have the time of 60 minutes. Okay, so it's total, it, it's total seven blocks. Okay, so it's mean for every block, there are 40 questions. So total are 280 
and for every one MCQs, you have one minute and 30 seconds, okay? And in step two, there is a next part, which is uh, uh, what is the process of uh, fee structure, okay? This is expensive because I have uh, take this for the first place. We're very famous and very fruitful because USMLE step one is having a, uh, after effects are very fruitful. After effects are very, very fruitful because USMLE can change your life. USMLE will not only change your life, your family life, because uh, many of the students don't know about that. When you get residency in the first year, you get average 55 to $60,000 in a one year. So it's all the journey of USMLE expenditure can be can be managed just in a first six months of your residency because in residency they can pay almost fifty five thousand to calculate on Google fifty five thousand dollar average it can be sixty five so first of all we will go for structure what in USMLE first of all you go for ECFMG certification go to my Intel now uh, search on Google my Intel registration or certification you make the account to make the account and you pay $160 this is the first step of the $160 they will give you form 186 you register yourself and next you go for the actual exam fees actual exam fee which is called triad fees in which there is a you will be selecting a three month period in this three month period you have to take your exams and that fees is $1195 so that $1,195 fees will be like very important. This is second step and third step will be study materials because many people USMLE is a uh, word. So U word is a Q bank. Okay. So uh, there is uh, like most famous Q banks, many students do this. So there is also a 560 if student is like having a one year subscription. So this is our total if I can count a total step one expenditure, if student is going only for step one, the total in Pakistani rupees will be 5 lakh and 70,000. 5 lakh 70,000 for only step one. Is that clear? Now we will go to next. What is USMLE step two CK? CK, okay, clinical knowledge. This is same exam as previously, but a mild changes, mild changes that there is one extra block here. Okay, there are eight blocks, and if this is a one hour extra, this is a nine hour test. Okay, so it is divided into same 60 minutes block, and every block containing 40 MCQs, but there is extra one block in USMLE step one. There is seven in USMLE step two. There are eight blocks, and total are three one eight mean 318 questions, and same is the for every question, the time is one minute 30 seconds. And now the fee structure for USMLE step two is uh, same as you have to pay for your triad fees. Triad means three month period in which you are going to take exam. And that is 1220 USD, 1220 USD. Okay. And that 1220 USD, after that, you have to buy your viewer to practice the question to, of course, purchase a one year subscription. That is 560 or 559 US dollars. So for USMLE step two, the total expenditure is uh, like only for USMLE step two is five lakh thirty four thousand. It can vary, but because of the inflation of US dollar rate. Okay. So next is what is expenditure? Total expenditure in USMLE. In total expenditure, first of all, we have to start with ECFMG registration or my Intel registration, which is one sixty US dollar. And next, you go with a UWord purchasing. Uh, you can skip this step uh, there are many other resources and any other ways we can tell you uh, you can skip this you can save this money of uh, 560 us dollar and uh, step one fees of course this is very very important and necessary you cannot skip this 1195 us dollar and also you have to uh, uh, buy the UWords for step two of course i recommend you should buy your step two but you can skip only for step one because step one is now a pass fail so it can be skipped, okay? So, but USMLE, uh, like the U-word, U-word for the step two is very important. You can purchase it, which is uh, whatever, you, if you like or not. But this is very important. Next step two fees, which is triad fees, uh, in which you have to uh, book your exam. 
and that is 1220 UST. And after is OET fees, our OET fees is 587 Australian dollar, but it may be 455 in UST. So you can change it in conversion in the currencies. Okay. Next, you have taken USML step one, you have taken USML step two. Now, what's next? You have taken the OET, three steps done, but the game is not here. Okay. It is a just 20% of your game. It is 20% of the journey. Okay. Next will be ECFM certification, my Intel certification. What is this? This is when an international organization will be registering yourself as IMGs, International Medical Graduate. So that means that we have to pay 915 US dollar to get the ECFMG certification. Then after that, we get the ECFMG registration. Now we are a certified ECFMG doctor from US. Now, what is next step? Then we, of course, apply for the match. We go to USA and that, for that purpose, we have to apply visa. For that visa process fee is 180 US dollar. And then, and then there is a likely chance you will get the date after one year. So to prepone your visa date, you have to pay 150 to the agents, of course. And next, you can book your flights. If visa is approved, if visa is approved, for this visa section, I will be having the separate discussion about B1, B2 visa, J1 visa, H1B visa in our next webinars with our prestigious uh, members of the, uh, like uh, from the USA. So visa webinar will be a separate. So when we will get the visa and then we will go for the booking and flight tickets, okay? And when you book the flight tickets and you will expand upon in which state you were going. You will going to New York, you will going to Chicago, you will be going to any other city or any other like state so it will be average 1500 dollar so our amount is in dollar so when you will live and go for observership or usml step three because many of the students or doctors going to usa either they stay for observership which is called usce us clinical experience and then we have to pay 2000 for three months stay and next is traveling expenses. Traveling expenses will be 300 USD. In you are living inside the US from one state to another state, from one city to another city. Of course, 300 US is likely it is okay. Next, the most important part is the most important part is ERAS application. ERAS application, match application, match process. So it is almost very. It, it can start with 3,500 to 5,000 mean we will we will apply individually in programs programs mean hospitals like in in pakistan new hospital lamaik Paul, these are the public okay but in u.s system there is a other criteria okay we will have to apply individually in all the hospitals in all the let's suppose they have a system they have a website where we have a data about the hospital. We will go to check that, oh, this is hospital, this is hospital, this is hospital. I will select all these hospitals and I will pay the fees. Okay, I have step one, I have step two, I have OET, I have visa, I have observership. It observership is called US clinical experience. You go to US, you have three months experience in the hospital, you work in hospital, but without touching the patient, which is off hand, which is called observership. And then you get LOR, letter of recommendation. After letter of recommendation, you make the CV. After making CV and writing the personal statement, you go for ERAS, National Residency Match Program, NRMP. This NRMP then this consumes much of your money because every program most likely takes $26. So almost an average USMLE aspirants apply more than 100 programs more than 100 programs okay so average usmle students supply more than 100 programs remember my words so but it vary because many students say that we we have don't have the budget so we will apply in 60 50 like whatever but average you can consider in this state 3000 is average but for other expenses for other problems so remember 5000 as I recommend this must be the 5,000 budget. So I can, if calculate the all USMLE expenses, 
so total expenses for first match cycle remember this is first match cycle first match cycle not the second it means there are 60% success rate because there are 40% chances you will not be matched so what will be total 40 lakh 40 lakh is total expenses of all usmn journey in first match if let's suppose you are not matched in first cycle then what will you do when it mean in the next match in in next match you are again you are going to us for observership again for you are living in the usa okay and again you are applying so it's mean in the next cycle you are 5000 will be extra it's mean now if you are not able to match in the next match in the next year if you are going to apply it's mean you will need 5000 us dollar more so is it and next so this is a cycle like total is 40 lakh if you are not match then in next year you will need extra 15 lakh to apply so this is a journey of the usmle so for rest of all the question we will be discussing at the end so i request please post all your question in comments we will be answering one by one one by one okay so i will be invite now dr khadija to go for tell us the lab journey Hello, uh, Dr. Khaja, can we have a slide of lab first? Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, that's fine. Yes, it's great to be lab. Thank yeah. you. So, Dr. Khaja has explained all the details of the USMLE, which seems to be quite a long journey. Unlike USMLE, lab is not that long. It will not take much of your time. I will say if it will take hardly your 1.5 years, like Total uh, OET, PLAB 1 and PLAB 2. That's all you need for GMC registration. So starting from OET. So OET is basically just uh, either you can take IELTS or OET. This will show that uh, you have that particular English proficiency to pass or to work in UK. So PLAB is basically professional linguistic and assessment uh, board, uh, board examinations. And it is not a diploma or certificate. It's just a certification exam that yes you can work in uk so lab comprises of two parts lab one and lab two lab one is basically one it comprises of just a written exam 180 mcqs and it's all related to the final year mostly like whatever you study in last year in medicine that all mcqs will come from those medicine section neither not even from surgery so it's a comparatively an easy exam as compared to plap 2 so 180 mcqs and uh, i think you will have around 1 minute for each mcq because the exam is for 3 hours and it's it's comparatively very easy from a uh, plap 2 exam because this exam just comprises of preparation from two uh, two mcq banks one is plap able and the other one is uh, the theory part which comprises of explanation of all the mcqs that you will have in plab able so you can see that uh, plab able is basically uh, mcq bank which comprises of 2500 to 3000 mcqs and what i used to do is that i i used to study from plab keys first like all the theory of the subject like if i'm studying cardiovascular system i will read through all the plab keys and then i'll solve mcqs on plab able so that that time makes your time uh, you know is easy to pass that exam because i studied plab keys within like 17 days it was like if you do it just immediately after your final year exam it will be much easier for you to pass plab one in first go and mostly it has very good pass rate as well like uh, many people it's it's hard to find the seat these days but it's much easier to pass this exam so uh, the coming to the cost so I think the uh, the cost is 250 pounds and I think one pound is now 357 or something. So it will cost around 75 to 80,000 uh, PKR rupees. Yeah? So it doesn't cost much easy step to enter into any foreign pathway. Then come, uh, let's come to the passing rate for it. So the passing rate is minimum 115 to 120 MCQs you need to pass. And if out of 180 mcqs if you will pass more than 110 like if you think that yes you have solved more than 
110 correctly you are 100% sure that you're going to pass this exam and if you will give like more effort you will pass with like 140 marks and like 150 marks and i think i will suggest you that whenever you will take this exam try to finish whole syllabus first and just go for the exam with your one revision and you will be able to make this exam yeah the second one is flap 2 Dr. Khaja, can you please move the slide to the next page? Yes, of course. Thank you. Okay. So this is for lab. I can't have on the system. Yeah, I think it will take some time for me to see that slide. I'm not able to see this so far. No, okay. Obviously. Okay, that's fine. So lab two is basically an OSCE exam, and I will say it is much. Difficult as compared to Plab One, because this is something that is related to our linguistics, like how we speak in our daily li uh, daily living. Because being in Pakistan, we don't speak much English, like we used to communicate mostly in Urdu, and I think that that's that's what we usually do. Because here it's trend to speak English, so that's our uh, basic language. But when we try to speak in English, we find it hard. to how to communicate how to speak to these british people or you know the other people but if you will even do oet it will improve a lot your way of speaking you know so oet is the most important thing that will help you in preparing yourself for plap 2 because you in the speaking section of oet and even in the written in the speaking uh, parts you try to communicate in english you try to focus on how you should communicate with the patient so it's it's important for you to like have in general improvement in your linguistics just try to speak, listen to your any oet listening uh, videos over youtube that will help you in communicating better because i will say plap 2 is first about how you speak in your daily life so this this comprises of i think around 16 stations there are total 18 stations and 16 uh, two are the rest stations and 16 are the main stations and there will be like 8 minutes it will take for every station and then uh, there will come two rest stations and uh, that's all like how it goes so like uh, there are many academies that are running courses and i believe that it's very important for you to take these courses rather than wasting money because it's a costly exam it will take like 993 pound 950 pounds which is equivalent to i think 4 lakhs or 350000 in pakistani rupees so it, and obviously your visa cost which which is another 700 to 800 pounds and then comes your uh, accommodation and uh, everything you know now people are doing clinical attachment so this whole in route a whole route for plap 2 should take around 22 to 2500 pounds depends upon how much you spend on your daily living yeah so plap 2 i will say either you can take samsons either you can take aspire there are many other academies i'm not focusing you to take this particular academy because i have seen many people have passed plap 2 just without even taking any academy just reading through the notes reading through those all the scenarios and uh, they are able to ace this exam so what i will suggest is that if you are done with your plap 1 exam and you are now waiting to take plap 2 exam the best way is that just uh, get any uh, notes from any senior from anyone around you even from facebook from oh, sorry from facebook plap 2 groups or from google and start going through those notes in your everyday life even if you are doing house job even if you are doing uh, like your normal uh, if you are not even up, if you have done your house job you are staying at home you can read through those and then take the subscription for any academy so the most important thing that can help you in taking the subscription for any online academy is that this will provide you people who should you accompany study like you will get your mates who will be appearing on the same dates as your plap 2 so this will help you in preparing it's comprised the stations are entirely the a uh, few of them are counseling stations few of them are scenario based like you need to pick a diagnosis you need to treat it like you need to tell the and how to manage so uh, i will suggest that what you should do is that start going through the notes first then by the and then book the yeah that's fine so this uh, i will say plab 1 will cost you around 50 pounds and then for subscription it will around 
the subscription should be around 40 pounds and then this whole will cost maybe around 300 pounds because you are just giving the exam in any center either in pakistan either in uk now there are problems these days in getting the seats so many people are even opting for dubai seats or even uk because they want to give this exam as soon as possible just to get gmc registration so it's very important that you plan beforehand like whether you want to give exam over there, whether you want to give exam in dubai so you should plan correctly you want to pass one lap two in one go while staying in any country maybe in uk so that will be make things easier for you so so this is all about lab one lab two i will make uh, have another seminar webinar with dr khaja regarding Oh, you need to prepare for lab. Yes, we are lab also. One. We will be also having a detailed webinar of all these exams and all these detail. Okay, I will myself will be telling you in simple videos and short videos exams about all the details. So all the students who are watching, it's not only USMLE lab. I have collected more than thirteen exams data. So please stay with us. Okay, all the questions will be answered. It's not only USMLE lab, it's for MRCPS, for Australian Medical Council, it's for New Zealand, it's for Qatar, it's for Kuwait, it's for Saudi Medical Licensing, it's for Ireland and also Norway, also Norway pathway and also Germany pathway. So all the students have been sending me the question about all the exams that can be very beneficial for all of you. So I have collected all the data. So in these all the slides, we will be discussing one by one all exams detail so uh, so post your question in the comment section so at the end i will be answering specifically for all of you people so this will be very beneficial so in the first time i have seen in the youtube history so this is extensive session containing all medical exams at one place at one video so this is very very important and it is also valuable for also the resident who are doing doing fcps it is also valuable this session for all who are uh, old graduate also who, who are just in under graduation level so this is beneficial for all the students so please stay with us and post your question i have receiving the messages from germany saudi yes there are next slides are from germany saudi new zealand norway ireland qatar kuwait and all the residencies application procedure and what are the requirement i have added it okay so wait so I will request Dr. Khadija, please continue. Yeah, so I think I've discussed about lab one, lab two. Let's come to the cost. So on the slide, you can say it's 3,200 to 3,300 pounds. So 300 pounds is just for lab one. That does That is not much costly that you take at first step right now. And the other one is lab two, which will cost like the exam will cost, I will say 950 pounds. 934 pounds is what the rate is going on these days so it will be 934 pounds and then uh, for the visa application it will uh, take around 20000 to 30000 pakistani rupees so it will be 100 pounds and the other uh, is the academy fee which i will say that it's 600 pounds minimum these days so i'll not say it's 400 so it should be 600 and then uh, coming to the uh, all the flight cost so this route will cost 3200 to 3300 pounds so which will be equivalent to 12 lakhs pakistani rupees which is much uh, less than usmle and other routes and you can come over here you can start working much more easier as compared to getting match over there so i'll just encourage you to take this step this is very important for you at, uh, to decide at this stage because dr khaja has told me that most of uh, the viewers are from uh, the junior students that are from first year second year second year fourth year fifth year so and so on so i will encourage you to take this step to make the cn right now this will make your future bright thank you okay thank you so i really appreciate uh, for the lab session next our session will be about the uh, mrct so can you please continue uh, i will invite dr khadija uh, give, uh, give us a quick overview of mrct also it just will be because we have taken a more time on USMLE and PLAB as it was requested by the students that uh, please uh, take more time on USMLE and PLAB. So that's why we have taken more time. Now we will be quickly revising all the other steps, pros and cons, what are different from the USMLE, what is different from PLAB and what are the other things. Okay. 
so i will invite dr khadija please continue that's fine that's fine so let's proceed so for getting the gmc registration there are actually three routes which but the most commonest one is the first one that i have already explained which is the plab route the second one is mrcp so this route is specifically for those people who are done with the, with their house job and now they are like having 12 months of experience and now they are post house job like they are having either 16 months maybe uh, 24 months of experience and now they want to take the foreign pathway but they don't like they do, didn't take this step before but now they want to so i think rather than wasting their time on plab they should opt for mrcp because this is not just the certification exam like plab it's basically gives you a diploma like you can get the certificate to work either in pakistan either in uk as a registrar level post okay so this exam is comprises of three parts part 1 part 2 and uh, the third part which is the clinical basis exam so part 1 it's getting tough these days like you uh, the part 1 uh, competition ratio and the passing passing marks have been increasing from past couple of years now so it's 540 passing marks these days and it comprises of total 200 mcqs it's it's actually a 6 hours exam which is split into further two parts three hours exam first and then there is a break of one hour and then three hours the second part so i have recently passed this exam part 1 so i can suggest you better like how to pass this exam how to ace it in good time because it is costly when you book it in pakistan it will be around 650 pounds when you book in pakistan while if you give in uk it's only 460 pounds so if you are giving in pakistan and you should start preparing in good time because it's it's costing you money and secondly it's costing you your time if you are preparing from your home if you are planning to come over uk so you should for uh, like minimum 6 months of preparation time before taking this exam there are two things that you can use either you can use a uh, pass medicine either you can use pass test i will uh, discuss in separate uh probably in a webinar with dr khaja regarding how to prepare mrcp part 1 the second part is also written part it's it's basically related to the all the images that we usually see in our daily work in house job like any x rays any ecgs any ct scans mris further like the, all the images that we see and we need to find out the diagnosis from those images so this is again much easier than part 1 so this is also comprises of like 600 mcqs and ultimately the passing rate is much more higher as compared to mrcb part 1 the third part is clinical pcs the good thing about this mrcp is that after mrcp part 1 you can either take mrcp part 2 or either you can take MR, uh, pcs it's your choice like it's not obligatory for you to take mrcp part 2 written exam in the next row you can take pcs as well but but again i told you like just part, part uh, just like part 1 the cost of um, uh, part 2 is also higher in pakistan like in other countries wherever we prefer to sit so if you are in uk it will be cheaper for you but in pakistan in other countries it will be like 200 pounds more costly so pesi sure. uh, is basically an oski exam which will be comprising of uh, stations and we can you know have a separate uh, session for that as well so this is all about mrcp and let's come to the cost now so it will cost you around i will say 650 for part 1 650 for part 2 and 950 for pcs so in total it will be around 2200 to 2500 pounds in total so this is basically a time taking journey you it likes it time it requires you like preparation you need to sit at home you need to work either by the ways and you need to give time and yes whenever you will land a job you will be a registrar that's the good thing you know it will not be more uh, any more the uh, sho post the f2 post or f3 post so you will be at better position and you will be having this particular certificate on your cv you can work either in pakistan either over here and there is future will be much more easier for you to opt into any specialty training whichever you want yes dr haja okay thank you uh, for mr so near is the next uh, resources so 
just it is very depending upon the which resource you will use it it is actually not a detailed uh, webinar so we will skipping this resources portion because i will have a detailed mrcp webinar also for all the students in which not only we will discuss the what is mrcp 1 and 2 we will discuss the practical details in a separate webinar because this is a general overview we are not going to discuss only a few point what is exam and what is this this platform is telling you each and everything okay what is the process for your first day that you are starting you are making your mind till your journey of residency in any hospital we will be telling each and everything okay there also will be a mrcp webinar so thank you dr khatija so we will continue next our is australian medical council so uh, can you please tell the students that how by sitting in uk as you are in uk so how you can go and also any student who is not in uk and starting the knee how he can or she can apply to australian medical council thank you so much dr khatija yes so let's come to the Australian Medical Council exams. I'm not the right person to discuss about AMC parts one, part two, whatever the route is. Dr. Khaja will explain that. What what I can tell you is that who in UK you will be able, like if you are GMC registered, who can you work in AMC? Like in Australian Medical Council, who can you get yourself registered and who can you start working in Australia? So the first thing is that the Australian Medical Council registration you can get in either first by getting GMC registration. If you have done your claps, you got your GMC registration, the next step is that you will have to land a job in UK. So you have started working in UK and it's it's been 12 months, one year experience you have got now. Now you are planning to move to Australia. I'll come to the point why people prefer working in Australia rather than UK. There are many, many reasons and i would love to tell you all those details but uh, in a separate webinar uh, why people wants to go over there so in order to get the registration of amc by sitting here in uk you need to have first gmc registration and second thing is that minimum 12 months experience in uk after that you will be landing landing in foundation year post in UK, uh, in australia which is equivalent to the house top post in pakistan so after that in uh, Australia, you can start training and whatsoever you want in your future, but you will be AMC registered by then. So we can see over here that it's, it's also comprising of two parts, AMC part one, which is 150 MCQs, and it, it's, it's having like 3.5 hours. And then the uh, AMC clinical exam, which is 16 OSCE aux stations, and you need to pass only 10, just like lab two. There are many resources which I'm not uh, proficient enough to tell you which resources to use because I have not taken this exam. And I hope Dr. Haja will arrange someone who is I AMC. Will, uh, okay. Yeah. That's, so yeah. I will uh, continue from here. So first of all, you should know in AMC, what is AMC? AMC is Australian Medical Council. And uh, what is the fruitful? What are the basic like things you should know about that? So I will be taking over so quickly stay with me i will be comparing with other exams i will be telling you most important points so i will first of all want to clear that i will also be telling what is best for undergraduate level i will be telling what is best for postgraduate like old graduate okay there is a two dimension i will make when i will say this, what is the best for undergraduate it's mean that students who are just recently graduated having a one fresh year of graduation or in fourth year or final year and when i say old graduate it means that graduates who are doing medical officer post or any fcps or mds program in pakistan okay so my division will be depending upon these cases so when i say fresh graduates it's mean it includes all the fresh graduate as well as the young student fourth year final year and when I say old graduates, your experienced graduate, your uh, medical officer, so it will be containing those who have two year experience. Okay, let's continue. So AMC is uh, basically very important is this is uh, first part. It is first part and it has a second part. First, you should know the structure of the exam. The first part is containing a 150 MCQs and uh, 3.5 
five R is the time. You mean in the first part, it is a basic part, like you can have this uh, basic question. And in the second part, there is clinical rotation less like in flap. So clinical rotation or clinical case, which is part two of AMC, that containing OSCE, okay? Objective structured clinical examination that contain a station where you have to go and examine and take history like in lab, lab two. So this is a 16 OSCE station. You need to have to pass 10 stations. So in first, there is simple 150 MCQs and you have to give a 3.5 hour time in AMC. And what is the comparable to the USMLE and lab? Now, in previously, Australia was the one who was very, very behind regarding the medical education. In the recent year, Australia have changed his regulation. Australia now, Australia knows that brain drain is happening from Pakistan. Brain drain is happening from India. Now Australia is regulating his places. Australia is accepting more to the students of uh, like South Asia because Australia now that they have more potential and hard workers. Okay, so whenever you apply to Australia, you should know what is the base, what are the steps, what is comparable, what is the exam resources, what is the criteria, what is exam structure, and how can I apply? So first of all, number one point of Australian Medical Council is that it is cheap as compared to USA. In USMLE, there is 40 lakh expenditure. In Australian Medical Council, it is not 40 lakh. Okay, it is total 9,500, mean 9,500 Australian dollars. So you can calculate, open the Google and search what is equal to PKR. So all these values are exactly matching with my uh, like research. So total cost on average in Australian Medical Council is 9,000. 500 Australian dollar, but very important, very, very important. And congratulations for all of you that AMC is one is cleared, you can apply for the job. This is super important point. Many students do not know this. Okay. When you have cleared AMC part one, you can apply for the job. In this process, when you are applying the job, when you get the job, you apply the visa, you go to Australia, and then you can also take the ASCII stations. You can also take the AMC clinical. But no doubt, AMC clinical can make you more impactful CV, can make your CV very like strong, so that you can apply to the broader and wider hospitals. But, but after passing AMC1, this AMC1, you can apply for the hospital. So what are resources? There are many resources for AMC in the market. There are also the textbook from uh, Australian Medical Council. But you can go and explore yourself. Okay, explore. But I think from I have uh, like uh, uh, check these MCQs, the quality of the MCQs. Uh, I have uh, seen the past papers. I have seen the. Uh, I have interacted with some of the students. They are saying that this is a little bit comparable with lab but are less difficult as compared to US MLE, okay? So it is not like, it's not like complex exam, but the uh, MCQs are two banks that use the Australian guidelines. These are MDEX and MFLUX Q bank. So you can go to the, the other website and you can check it. And total cost, I have told you already, it is 9,500. So how can I divide these costs? First of all, quickly, I will be telling you step by step, go to the EAMC portfolio on the website search, and you will first make the portfolio, okay? You will make portfolio. In this portfolio, you have, you have to pay uh, most likely uh, five to 600 fees, five to 600 uh, like fees. And uh, then you should go, this is not a 6,500, this is actually uh, 643. Australian dollar, okay? Most likely 643 Australian dollar, almost it can vary. So you can check it on the website. It is first step for making AMC portfolio. Next, EPIC verification. What is EPIC? What is EPIC? So this is actually, and like the ECFMG, this is a part of ECFMG. 
like it is a part of ECFMG. So it is a verifying your degree, your primary school's transcripts, and they send the data to Australian Medical Council that this student is verified. Okay. It is electronic portfolio uh, for the international credential, like international medical graduate students, like this. You can search on the Google Epic, what is Epic? So it is a part of ECFMG. Next is the fees for AMC1. So any student who says that I go for Australia, I should just uh, pass the AMC1. So what the expenditure? So I will be discussing first expenditure of AMC1. It is it is 3,124 Australian dollars. So this amount is written in Australian dollars. Okay. So 3,124 Australian dollars. You can go for AMC1. And next AMC clinical exam, which is uh, having OSPI station. That fees is 4,391 Australian dollars. And next, of course, you need IELTS or OED. So OED fees is 587. So if I calculate, if I calculate uh, AMC portfolio, ECFMG verification, AMC1, and skip this clinical portion and uh, go for OET. So only skip this 4,391. Uh, you can, skipping this one, you can go and apply the job. Okay. So skipping the 4,391 Australian dollar all the other expenditures you can have this and can apply for the job it's mean from the out of 9500 if if you subtract the 4000 it's mean 5500 so 5500 you can start from 5500 dollar australian dollar not us dollar remember this is a you do australian dollar okay next is the salary okay so in they have uh, they actually uh, in Australia they are having a more chance of specific subspecialities. Okay, there is not a chance in surgery of any student who is opting surgery. It is very difficult in Australia. It's almost not possible or very very difficult. Okay, but in Australia the four or five are subspecialties. The most are Pakistani or Indian or Nepali or Bangladeshi go, and these are anesthesia. This is a critical care, and these these are emergency medicine, mostly emergency medicine, mostly emergency medicine. Okay, and also ops gynae, also ops gynae. So you cannot have have the chance in higher specialities if you are going for the RM. Okay? So this was a generalized overview of AMC. Okay. What is the key point? Key point is that less expensive than USMLE. The key point is that it is more, more easy as compared to if we go for quality of the exams. And super important, uh, the uh, pros, pros feature is that uh, you can apply after passing AMC1. OK, so next we will discuss about Ireland. Many students, many students are very passionate about this Ireland, Ireland, Ireland. So first of all, there is no test requirement for Ireland. You don't need to pass any test. Just go for verification process. And this verification takes more than a year, up to a year. Okay. First, what is the step? Step one is that you have completed your house job. You have completed MBBS. You get the degree from your college, from your university. You got your house job certificate. You go to PMDC website, start the verification process, get the PMDC certificate. Okay, then go to Irish Medical Council website. In Irish Medical Council website, then you will make the account as Epic account as well. So we have discussed that Epic is a uh, Epic is very important. Epic is very fine. It, it is actually a uh, uh, a portfolio where the students' credentials are verified and these are sent to the relevant department. Okay, so make Epic account. So we you will need one sixty US dollar for the Epic account for Ireland. We are discussing about Ireland journey. Epic account one sixty USD. Next is degree verification. This is very expensive. I uh, this is the only exam I have seen very expensive verification. Okay. Even USMLE is not charging that type of money for degree verification, experience verification. 
I have seen only Ireland's charges, the degree verification separate fees, and experience verification separate fees, and Irish Medical Council fees is a separate, very, very expensive. So it is not a cheap method of Ireland, not like, like this, not easy. It's of course in every step, okay, they are charging money. Epic account fees is 160, you can calculate, okay, grab your pen and copy and write it down. I recommend all of the students, okay, you must have your pen and copy and write it down, write it down. It is very easy and sit and in free time, sit with your like colleagues, make a plan. What is best for you? Okay, what is best for you? Considering your family circumstances, considering your passion, considering, but I recommend choose today. Today, choose any of the exam. I am discussing 13 or 14 exams. Please choose today. It's your time. If you are here, you are listening to me, please, this is your life changing video. Okay, I guarantee you, you will pray for me after years when, uh, when you will watch this video and you will be praying for me if that person has changed my life. I can guarantee you this, okay? So stay with me and I will tell you the next best important steps. What are the financial issues and what are solution and what are the uh, difference and what is best for you and answer question session very important because many will be questioning and you will get the answer you will got the idea what is best for you okay let's continue so 160 ho 100 for degree verification experience verification what is experience verification experience verification mean when you have the pmdc experience of house job experience they will go to pmdc pmdc get it but after the PMDC experience verification, you will go to upload on this channel and they will charge $100 extra. Wow, what a great. <laughs> Ireland is charging money. And next is Ireland Medical Council fees. That is for 110 euro. It is in euro. It is not in USD. So remember, it is written in euro. 410 euro is the actual fees for Irish Medical Council. Next is good standing certificate from PMDC. It takes you, uh, of course, 8,000, 8, 9,000, 10,000. It can vary depending upon the changes. So and recently, I remember one student was paying 12,000 for good standing certificate. So and next, most important point is English language test. That is occupational English language test. That is OET and charging 587. And last but not the least, what is total, total, total duration of these all process one year? So always remember when you are going to plan to apply in Ireland, always think about that. This all the process can take one year. Okay, so you can calculate, grab your calculator, open the calculator and calculate all these expenses, 160, 100, uh, 100 and 410 euro and all. So you can calculate what is these expenses. As Of course, this is like much expensive. If, if I compare with lab, if I compare with lab, of course, it is equal, equal or less than like this. But you can compare what is best, lab is best or Ireland is best. But lab and Ireland, uh, I can compare Ireland is in the Europe. OK, so this is super important. I am uh, highlighting the situation for the students who are very passionate to go to Europe go for Ireland. Europe, Ireland, Europe, Ireland, Europe, Ireland. Very important. Any student who want to go European Union countries, who want to enjoy the life of European Union countries, go for Ireland. Because UK is not in European Union countries. Okay, if you pass, if you go Ireland, you can have your residency, you can go to Luxembourg, you can go to other like Euro countries. And very important, you can enjoy your life more easily, more flexible, more easy to go if for Ireland pathway. But if you go for PLAB, you have the chance of Australia, you have the chance of other, like all the other thing, but UK is not, uh, not a Euro country, okay? So remember this. So this was a process for Ireland residency. And next we will discuss for Saudi medical licensing examination. Okay, so next we will be discussing the Saudi medical licensing examination. Okay, so uh, I will be, mentioning a name of the few students who have been texting i will be mentioning dr Asan fareed this video is specifically for that 
person who is requesting me again and again on this exam. So Saudi Medical Licensing Examination. I hope Dr. Ahsan Freed is here in the comment section. Thank you. So what is Saudi Medical Licensing Examination? OK, so first of all, you should know that all the Gulf countries, all the like these uh, uh, our own like Muslim countries having more like oil countries, Gulf countries, whatever, Qatar, Kuwait, Saudi and UAE and Bahrain and all these. They have a system called a data flow system. What is data flow system? Mean they verify like in Epic is a verification portal by the Australia, by the USA, by the UK, by the GMC and all the other. In Gulf countries, the verification is like the EPIC. There is a name called Data Flow Group. Data Flow Group. Okay, this Data Flow Group takes verify. They get your verification, get your degree, get your transcript, verify from your school. It's like one month and one and a half month. Then your primary source verification. I am repeating the word primary source verification happen in Data Flow Group. You can. Google it, dataflowgroup.com and whatever the website, and you will open it. You will see that there are many of the exams. OK, so this data flow group is verifying the students for many of exams. OK, next step. OK, what is the next step? Actually, when go to data flow, it will take a one and a half month. You will be verified. You are you did all the steps. OK, and uh, now you verified yourself. And then you go with uh, and other and other website that is numeris website which is specifically numeris plus website things may have been changed but in previous week i have taken a research on this numeris plus is website where you go and make an account and you put your data flow number okay you get the verification from here from the data flow group you get this data flow number and from this data flow number then you book your exam it was step one was your credentials verification on data flow. Step two, you go to Numeris Plus website, you put the number of your data flow, it will automatically verify that you are a verified student and they will allow you to take the exam. Now you book the exam. You have booked that exam and now what is the exam? What is exam? So the medical licensing examination, SMLP, that is actually exam is having a three section, one, two, three. Which section? Three section. Three section, every section contain 100 MCQs, total 300 MCQs, total 300 MCQs, and total time given is six hours. So they divide in 100 MCQs, 100 MCQs, 100 MCQs in three sections. Okay, they will allow you to solve the 100 question and gap of 20 minutes. I mean, they will give you a 20 minutes break and then you have to do the another 100 question and you are allowed to have the another 25 minutes break. And in the last third section, you will complete 100 MCQs. Okay, you can skip the break of 20 minutes in between, but it's on your own and computerized system, which is computerized exam. What is passing score? Total score are 800, the passing score is 560. Passing scores are 560, is that clear? So now, so, okay. So passing score is 560, and now what are the chances? Like. Uh, what is best? Is this okay or not? What are my reviews? And what is exam hardness? Okay. Regarding the exam hardness, if I can tell you, this is a, uh, it is not a basic exam. First of all, you should know that it is not a basic exam. Okay. It is not a basic exam. It is clinical exam. Those students who are preparing for SMLE, it is surgery, it is from the medicine, it is from obscene, it is from pediatrics, it is usually a clinical exam, more clinical exam, but all, of course, some of the basics are asked. So remember, it's not the basic exams as like the others. So you have to take a good like knowledge to pass these exams. Okay. So if I compare with USMLE, this is a 
a mild mild like a less less hard as compared to usmle but i can say it is more like more difficult as compared to lab is more difficult as compared to amc1 so remember this it is not a easy exam it takes time it is clinical you have to prepare for it thank you next we will go for residency in kuwait okay so kuwait residency k m l e so in kuwait there are uh, actually three pathways pathway 1 pathway 2 pathway 3 1 2 3 1 first we will discuss pathway 1 pathway 1 is to take the kuwait exams what are what are the kuwait exams kuwait exam is k m l e okay kuwait medical licensing exam part 1 okay so part 1 contain 100 mcqs and you have 2.5 hours 2 and a half hour time and you have to solve 100 mcqs okay so this is part 1 of kmle kuwait medical licensing examination part 2 of kmle kuwait medical licensing examination contain okay 40 but these 40 are not the mcqs actually they are mcqs but it is written these mcqs are also written so the kuwait is only please write it down please write it down it is written exam not a computer based so you have to write the answer and also you have to write the reason why this answer is right and why the other options are wrong is 40 which is part 2 is very difficult because you have to write why you are choosing this answer and why the other answers are wrong you have to tell so this is part 2 this is kuwait medical licensing examination and then what is the license fee you apply for the license and then like it can vary it is not the exact 2250 kuwaiti dinar you can go and check what are the Uh, like fees on official websites so you have taken the part 1 you have taken the part 2 and now you have applied for the license in kuwait now your journey starts now job hunt job application i am very sorry there is no centralized system in kuwait in uae in all the other there is no agency that is officially verified to have to go individually and search the job Okay, you have to go individually to search the job. There are many organizations, so-called agents. Uh, there are many websites. They post the uh, here like we have a option here for the GPs, general practitioners. So you can apply here and that and that. There are agents who are like grabbing the money. So whatever, whatever there is on your okay, which is best for you. Most of the people, most of agencies ask to pay. 1200 to 1300 okay 1200 to 1300 and then they allow you or give you a job this is a pathway one of with next pathway is uh, you do mbbs this is next pathway is for the fcps resident who has done the fcps fcps resident fcps resident you do mbbs you do house job you uh, like uh, then you have the Uh, experience of four to five year after house job. You mean FCPS, MDMS, or any program? It means it is counted as your experience. When you have been four year in your FCPS training, so they will be count as four year post house job, post house job training. So you can apply, and the fees is eighteen hundred Kuwaiti dinar. Sorry, yes, pay is eighteen hundred. Kuwaiti dinar. One of my like senior I have seen uh, in my like from South Medicine in KEMU, uh, South Medicine ward have uh, uh, like uh, wife and the husband both are enjoying the life in Kuwait. So they did their internal medicine rotation and they did a super specialty in rheumatology and getting getting the like eight year experience and now they are enjoying the life in Kuwait. So any doctor who is having MBBS and completed FCPS and having like FCPS four year and also after FCPS there is experience of two year more 
so they can start a senior registrar level in Kuwait. Okay, so what will be the higher when you get more two year experience in Kuwait, you will be rewarded more. So your salary will increase from 800, sorry, 1800 Kuwaiti dinar to the 2400 Kuwaiti dinar. Is that clear? 2400 Kuwaiti dinar. So you should know about that. Okay. And the next is, okay, let me tell you the next. And the next is, okay, uh, okay, greater the experience and greater the salary benefits. Greater the experience and greater. Mean you have the more experience in the Kuwait, so you will be getting the more reward. Okay, so it is depending upon, it is depending upon your ex life experience. Okay, what is pathway three? Pathway three of the Kuwait is pathway three of the Kuwait is MBBS and MD plus having a diploma. Like uh, uh, you are having any international diploma, whatever you have experience as well as you have extra diploma like uh, you you have international fellow or international type of these activities like this okay so it is very important you should know about that okay next is the canada pathway next is the canada pathway okay so in canada there is a system called mccqe mccqe and next this is called basic exam okay so in canada the general pathway is that uh, first of all you go to website the same process you go for data flow to get the registration and after that registration uh, you will get your verification. Okay. Okay. Is that clear? So now, Hello, I can't hear you. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, no, you are here, Dr. Khadija. Okay, thank yeah, you, yeah. Dr. Khadija. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So next we are going to discuss about uh, MCCQE. Uh, I am telling them uh, about the... Uh, so please, all students are requested to post the question at the end. So this is uh, extensive and very informative. I know it is a very long video, like, like I will be requesting. This will be your life changing video. If you are having the time with us, grab your snacks, grab your drinks and stay with us and live with us. This is one of the most important video of the YouTube. Okay, I have never seen this video in whole extensive and discussing about more than 14 exams in a one video. So I request to share the link to all the students and all your colleagues and all the seniors, either he is a medical student, either he is a, a junior doctor or senior doctor. This is very information, very informative and very extensive research. Okay, thank you so much. So what is Canada pathway? Canada pathway is first of all, you go uh, for the data flow, data flow and get the verification. Okay, you will go and verify and book the exam. Book, book exam is called MCCQE. Okay, MCCQE. Okay, and after that, this is a part one basic, like USMLE step one, it is a basic, uh, so AMC one basic, like MCCQE is also a basic, but it is less, less hard or less as compared to USMLE. Next is called clinical exam of Canada pathway is NAC exam. You can search on Google what is NAC exam on Canada pathway. 
and then you if you complete this all mccq and nac exam and they will apply the residency and then if you apply the residency there is a website called carms web c a r m s carms website you can have the detail of this you can have this residency application here this is so next important is get the letter of recommendation pathway mean you apply like sitting in pakistan you have not given the exams very important this is for very easiest way easiest way is that sit from search the all the emails of the resident who are in canada ask them please give me the opportunity of remote internship remote internship remote internship get remote internship get the letter of recommendation and mostly uh, these internship happen in atlantic ocean areas of canada they can easily give you they can easily give you the letter of recommendation get this letter of recommendation and when you get this letter of recommendation then you will apply for canada residency that will increase the chance it's mean like usmle when you go for observership to go for us clinical experience it is like this in canada you will apply remote internship in rural areas like atlantic oceans so they most likely you get this and then you apply the residency it is and third pathway for canada is pathway for specialist pathway so there is a one word mostly used in all the pathways is specialist pathway when i talk about a specialist pathway it means a doctor who has a minimum four year experience uh, who has done uh, fcps or mdms like this okay so now what is the next important pathway next important pathway is that if you have done usmle step 1 step 2 if you have done uh, plab if you have done the new zealand or australian exams you are exempted from their exams so okay you are exempted from their exam of mccq1 so you can go on their website and uh, see that which of uh, like exams are applicable and uh, i am exempted or not so you can visit the website and you can see that uh, which exams are like if i had which exam with like if i had usmle and plab so can uh, can it is exempted or not so you can check it so this was our canada uh, pathway okay next is maldive pathway next is maldive pathway is that clear so uh, please share with all your students okay so uh, share all these students we are discussing the most important maldive pathway and all the others so i will be texting the students that they should join as early as possible so that they do not miss the very informative section thank you okay next is maldive uh, actually the maldive is very beautiful first of all i will tell you the beautiful of the maldive country what is beauty in the maldive number one temperature beautiful temperature beautiful you are living in the january you are living in december in pakistan but in maldive temperature is it is okay like it is never below the like 14 or 16 the average temperature is 18 or above so even in the most cold areas there are many issues but in maldive is very beautiful to live the beaches are here and extra next important uh, is geographical location and temperature so that's why it is captivating the tourism so famous for tourism maldive next is ministry of health direct maldive has a system that they have a ministry of health directorate okay so there are some private agents which is called jet so you have heard this word from the maldive pathway that there are some agents who are getting the money they are blackmailing you okay, we will get the job for you so pay us this money and this money so this is a pathway i don't like that uh, involvement of these private organization where you are just speechless without money you can do nothing so basic requirement is same as we have discussed that there is a basic requirement in mbbs you have must have mbbs and then you must have pmdc you must have good standing certificate from pmdc and two you must have a two year post house job experience why it is very important in maldive in maldive when you apply a fresh graduate all the jet say that you don't have experience there are less likely chance you cannot apply 
we are not accepting your application please wait for the next wait for the next year i have been seeing many of my friends who are applying for the maldives and jet say that our agent say that please uh, take a more experience of two or three year so it mean in maldiv pathway if you are a fresh fresh student you cannot go if you are a fresh student you cannot go okay so you have to you have to uh, at take at least a minimum two year experience okay at least minimum two year experience and then you can apply next is the almost almost all in the baldeep are government hospitals and these are very very less in quantity very very less in quantity okay so very very less so no chance no more chance and long wait time when you officially apply on the uh, official website of hospital they take one year two year so this is very very less likely chance because wait time is very more so the only option you go for agents are these agents and how much the agents charge to you how much the agents charge to you these agents charge you 1500 to 2500 dollar okay so it is huge money and you can say that it is likely it is likely impossible likely like i don't know this system i don't like this in maldiv uh, this is like a disaster like this system is i i don't like this system when you are like having great like cv but you you need some agent and pay and like this i think it is like not okay it's not okay okay so and the next is that uh, we will be discussing about uh salary what is salary in maldiv what is salary in maldiv salary in the maldiv is 25000 to 3000 25000 to 30 is it 30000 mvr mvr this is a currency of the maldiv you can go and search you will find it and specialist level the specialist level have 40000 to 50000 the more you will have experience the more you will get the money is that clear so this was our overview of maldiv pathway next we will dis discuss about germany pathway so i will be sending a picture in group because there are our uh, many students who are requesting to me specifically for germany pathway and interesting pathway so please share with your colleagues and in groups i request uh, please share take a screenshot and share in the group all the students who are member of our whatsapp group share take the screenshot and ask in the group that join a germany pathway because i am not seeing in the chat box the students who are actually needed this germany pathway so i will be describing detail what is germany pathway okay please share it in the group so that uh, it will not be missed by the students okay let's start this so germany pathway please i request all of the student dr ehsan farid dr uh, dr uh, umar dr huzaifa dr uh, dr khatija dr asim dr matthew dr yusra dr status dr sharyar dr ehsan dr lana dr ali hasnan dr amal dr urwa dr areej dr khatija i request all of you to share with your colleagues share with your this is very informative stay with us okay and i will be in the last when i will be comparing all these situation according to the money according to uh, like to your uh, pros and cons according to our uh, like south south asian problems according to all the things so i will make a best plan for you okay i will make a best plan for all of you people what is best okay so this is a one of the most important video in the history of youtube i have never seen this video i have researched on many of the channels no one person is going to discuss all these details in a one video okay so let's continue stay with us post all your question i will be waiting for you i have taken 
more a uh, whole night okay because it was a sudden plan i taken whole night to research on this okay thank you so much continue the germany pathway so germany has a different pathway first of all remember germany you need to learn the german language german language german language german language first foremost point for germany pathway is german language but there are two type of german language test one is called official german language test which is like ielts which is like which is uh, you can say toefl like they are officially grading you are telling you that they are a, like a recognized language certificate you can go in any country you can show that this is actually german language certificate this is a number one test of Ger german language and second test is called very important is medical language communication test please write it down if any student who is even not interested in germany i recommend write it down you can have a, a peaceful mind at a later time you can sit and uh, think about all the plans okay which is best for the so uh, i recommend note it down so second uh, is called which is important medical this is written here first is language test in which you need b2 level okay next is called medical language medical language communication exam medical language communication exam okay so what is next okay you have taken this language test what you will do next of course okay so what actually i will tell you structure of this test in in german test what they will ask to you it's it's like you can say that in oet it is it's not exactly like oet there is a part okay you have there will be a case presentation to doctor to doctor there will be a doctor in front of you you have to discuss with a doctor only. okay so they will ask to you the complicated thing but they will ask you medicine they will ask you pediatrics they will ask you like uh, specific medical knowledge topic medical knowledge topic this is a one part of medical language communication exam next part is doctor to patient now the second is doctor doctor will be interactive with patient so patient will be asking i have abdominal pain i have a back pain i have a neck pain please tell me this and what are the so you have to interact you have to interact with the patient this is second part of medical language communication exam m l c e this is written here next is patient case history they will give you patient case history patient presented with sudden onset of dyspepsia uh, uh, chest pain and that and that and so you have passed this exam and now you will go to get the temporary lessons very important write it down please you are not going you are not going to get the permanent license at this time you will get the temporarily license and this temporarily license you are allowed to what congratulations you are in germany pass the language test pass the medical communication exam you have the license but it's temporary now you will go to medical system and then you will get the permanent license of course of some of after some years you will be trying you will be getting the job you will be getting experience and then your permanent license will be at some later time when you will pass a second test which is called medical knowledge exam test please night note uh, note it down this is written here after that work pass the medical license exam which is called medical knowledge exam medical knowledge exam and then you will get the permanent license so this is the step now you are permanent okay doctor in germany and then your pr ship start now mean pr ship permanent residencies uh, structure or permanent residency features will be start when you are a permanent doctor and you are all the coming is happening what are the requirement requirement are the mbbs house job there is a difference a one interesting step for the germany pathway is that they ask you to go for criminal code certificate okay it means you have to go to lawyer 
get the criminal court certificate ke that you are not involved with any criminal activity there is no proceeding happening against you in so all those students i know it is very impossible for the students to having in criminal activities but all those students who have any of the issue in family having criminal proceedings so this certification is needed okay so in the germany pathway there is birth certificate they ask okay and uh, they ask with the uh, they also ask that uh, uh, like uh, what is your crim criminal uh, like uh, background they will check it is that clear and the next this is now i am going to discuss the very interesting thing okay very interesting point so i would like all of my viewers all of the students i is my humble request share with all your groups okay all your juniors all your seniors during this live webinar during this live session live link they will get it very beneficial information i have i have taken uh, all these it's a, it notes it, it is my work for uh, more than a month okay but i collected it uh, for all of you in a whole night so i request you to share it with all your seniors so that they get the benefit thank you so much okay what is interesting in germany germany having been showing in 2014 the what is interesting concept in 2014 okay what is interesting in 2014 which is called opportunity card it is only applicable only in 2014 okay what is opportunity card in germany so actually this is german government wants to introduce immigration from people who are non eu countries to look for a job this is so called opportunity card and that person secure their own livelihood during that time so you need at least 6 points at least 6 points so remember you need at least 6 points okay what are the points criteria first of all point 4 four points will will be given to those students who having professional qualification which is recognized to german standard so check on the website you are having a mbbs degree if you are qualified regarding to german standard it means you have four points who will be given the three points who have at least five year of professional experience and good german language skills mean any person who is mbbs doctor and have at least a 5 year of professional experience applicable for germany path which is he, uh, he or she can get the opportunity card only passing the language test remember only passing language test what is two points two points will be given who have sufficient german language skills at b2 level most of the imgs are considering the goal of german is b2 level because you cannot be the expert of german language so you you need a b2 level criteria you can google it what is criteria of german language so b2 level is very good okay next is the two year of experience okay two year of experience and this two year of experience may be your any activity any related to your profession if you are applying for your mbbs you need to your experience people who are not older than 35 being any person who is younger less than 35 they will be having two points what is the other factors that can give you one point sufficient german language skills sufficient mean not b level it is less than b level if you have a german language skill but you cannot have the skills at b2 level but of course still you will be given one point a previous stay in germany at least to have like go for any you visited the germany uh, for the last 6 months you will be given one point and age is between 35 and 40 you will be given one point if it age is less than 35 there was two point but age is 35 to 40 this will be given one point 
English skills at C1 level, there is criteria on their website. You can check it. What are skills on English? And there is C1 level. C1 level of English skills contain one point. If qualification, uh, bottleneck occupation can be assigned. You can go to the website and check this concept. If uh, a partner meets the criteria for opportunity card, if means your partner is also applying, if he meets or she meets the criteria, so one point will be used. So this opportunity card, of course, in my recent knowledge, I have asked many students there, uh, uh, like a few of the students, I find it and I get the knowledge that it is difficult to having all these, but it is easier as compared to, to this pathway because in this pathway, not only MBBS student can go, all the other students can also go who have professional qualifications, okay? And if you, if you are able to complete six points, six points so you can go to take the journey language test and go but still the most important next point you will enter in the germany you will have the visa you will have the work but you will find your job on its own they will give you opportunity card but the most important is that the person can secure their own livelihood during time this is very important point you should know is that clear okay next is norway pathway okay norway pathway can anybody can anybody know this before my lecture what is there is a pathway in the norway no so i will tell you what is norway pathway in the norway there is also good opportunity okay uh first of all requirement is mbbs and house job and post house job house job post house job experience if any i have added if any it is not mandatory if you have house job experience it is recommended in norway path go to their websites and verify your credentials and it take one year like in ireland it is very long process though but it is cheap as compared to ireland takes up to one year and you may ask the website link if you if you are college where your courses are written what is this concept when there is verification running on on the norway pathway on the norway pathway they can even ask you can you please send me the link of your official website of your university can you please send me the uh, hospital where you have worked can you please send me the contact number of your medical uh, officer who just taken your exam mean this verification is sometimes have been seen in Norway pathway Norwegian directorate of health Norwegian directorate of health this is a system or body that is verifying and this is by epic verification same we have discussed the epic verification what is this and now epic verify you and send the data to the health directorate and then processing time starts Processing time for the non-union countries, non-union mean, which are not in the Norway union. So they will take a one year. Okay, but when all, all these criteria, there is no test here, but you are just applying as, li as like in Ireland, but processing time is high and you have to uh, get the temporarily registration. Remember, they will not give you permanent registration. They will give you a temporary registration. Then you have to renew it every three years. Okay. And most important is that it is very important and you can write it down. This is different from all the other exams that Norway has their own criteria to document the years of graduation. Okay. When you have five years of graduation in Pakistan, some has six year of graduation, but Norway says that it must be six years. If any student who is applying for the Norway, he or she may have to complete eight to six months more in the Norway to complete their credit hours. Okay, this is important point here. So six years credit hours are needed for Norway pathway. So six year credit hour is easy. So you have to complete six years credit hours. If you have a five year credit hour, they will tell, uh, let you complete this first and then you can apply for the registration. And then after you can get the language proficiency test. 
uh, it will help you to grow in the Norway. So this is a Norway pathway. Is that clear? And now, next we will be discussing the Qatar path. What is Qatar path? Okay, so Qatar is very beautiful. Nowadays, after the World Cup, Qatar is growing day by day. And uh, due to the increasing urbanization in the Qatar, Qatar is competing with UAE. And Qatar is a new hub of cricket, new hub of football, new hub of sports in the next few years. Okay, so Qatar is interesting country, interesting like for the future. If uh, you see for the perspective of a country, for perspective of, uh, uh, we will discuss in the last section what are the different other like factors you should choose it. But Qatar is very important regarding this. Okay, they this is a next growing country. Okay, next growing country, next growing that will be in competition with UAE for promoting the culture, for urbanization, for centralization, for capturing the tourism, Qatar is on its way. Now, first of all, congratulations to all USMLE students who have done USMLE Step 1, who have done USMLE Step 2, who have done OET. Just grab Arabic proficiency mild arabic proficiency and get the qatar residency in hamad medical complex write it down please write it down please i request all the students if you think that it is not for me maybe it will be for you when you will graduate if you are under student undergraduate student you are disliking it to, to, to listening it you are not interested but you will be interested maybe at later time don't make the plan sudden okay write it down think about okay what are the best plan for me or what are the things and i will tell you what is best for you in the last okay step one step two oat usmle done then you can go and apply qatar residency this is pathway number one and in this pathway in previous 2022 uh, there was no Arabic proficiency was required. Please note it down, write, write it down, no Arabic proficiency. But in recent from 2023, they have started to prefer those students who have Arabic proficiency. Because they are kept, uh, like getting the uh, like uh, uh, students other Arabic countries or the Gulf countries. So they prefer to those. So Qatar is not preferring Indians. Qatar is not preferring Pakistan. Qatar is not preferring those who do not have Arabic proficiency. So if you have Arabic proficiency, first of all, they will get Pakistani people. So I, my recommendation is that if any student, okay, who is in the match process, USMLE is done and uh, he is not able to get the match, learn the proficiency in uh, like, Arabic language and get to apply for Hamad Medical Complex, HMC, Hamad Medical Complex. This is a hospital network in Qatar. They can give you residency. And this is a beautiful residency equal to the US standard. OK, I highly recommend. I uh, It is very beautiful. Structure is OK. It is standard of the US. OK, next is the uh, what is the other pathway? It is, this is the only for the USMLE we have discussed. What is the pathway for the students who are just starting, who are just graduating? What will be the pathway for them? Pathway two. Pathway two is five year experience after house job. I am very sorry, it is not for fresh graduate for pathway two only. There is also other in path next. But pathway two is that five year of experience. So in Qatar, only Qatar has the policy that I cannot take junior doctor. Qatar says that I cannot accept junior doctors. They will accept Dr. Hamid five year experience. What is the test? Actually, there is also a test to apply in Qatar pathway. Okay, that is easiest test. So easy test. So easy test. Even easy for, as compared to PLAP. And this test is even easy that 
this is open for all okay nurse can do this test dentist can do this test any medical like ahs student can do this test so it is open for all which is called m o p h d h t test okay you can go and search the abbreviation or whatever uh, the m o p h d h t test this is a test for qatar this is for doctor nurses dentist okay it is computer based exam in which you have the given one 50 mcqs and time will be three and a half hour the passing rate 60% and now you will go to fill the application and take the exam and apply for residency and it is easiest easiest exam as compared to usm it is easiest as compared to usm and get the result and apply for the residency you get the you have taken the exam get the result apply for the residency now uh now i will be discussing for other gulf countries exams okay so uh, i have in in i have uh, skipped the uh, ua exams i will be manually telling you about the ua exam first of all you should understand you should understand the concept what is the system in uae okay okay so we will be discussing the ua exams ua exams is very important they have a different names of these exams they have a dha dubai health authority and next is called mohab which is ministry of the health of the uh, this and next is called uh, next is called which is dha and next is hard so you can search on the google all the states like uh, there is a specifically dominion in the uae one is that dha one is mohab and hard okay so the dominion in uae is that sharjah is a separate dubai is a separate and abu dhabi is separate abu dhabi has its own exam dubai has its own exam okay and all the other other than the dubai and the abu dhabi like sharjah like sajwan and other so they have a uh, another exam so mostly there are three exams so please share with all the students we are discussing about gulf countries exams now for overall gulf countries exams so these uae uae exams containing all those whatever it for abu dhabi it for dubai it for the all the other the main problem is that there is a two year experience all the system is that you go to data flow registration data flow verification and after the data flow verification then you have to you have to get the next test okay test is clinical type of test like in saudi smle saudi medical licensing all the gulf countries except the qatar except the qatar qatar having a very easy test qatar has having a very easy test all other gulf countries has clinical test they have a, a my, much difficult test when they uh, take start the test from your final year medication surgery medicine like this so there are on the website you can go on the data flow group you can find there is exams for bahrain and other uh, gulf countries exams you can apply it and data flow process will be same first of all you will verify your credentials then verify all things okay next step is there any steps you have given and you are exempted from the test that is called usmle step 3 usmle step 3 is exemption of the test like uae has two part one is basic test one is clinical test in all these tests so if you have usmle step 3 you are exempted okay you are of course any person who has done usmle uh, step 3 it's me people are mentioning that video is paused on norway pathway if you can move it to the qatar pathway 
if you can okay, just double you know it says on the com uh, youtube comments sections slides yeah okay that's fine that's fine continue yeah Is it visible to you? Uh, now it's visible to you. I can see that the pathway, but I think on YouTube live uh, video, it's not getting changed. Actually, I have written the UA exams below the Qatar pathway. It is no slide specifically for UA exams. I am telling on the Qatar pathway, the below yes. written as UA exams. That's fine. Okay. That's, all yeah. the students who are watching, all the students who are watching me, uh, actually, actually, let me share it again. Okay, all the students who are watching to me, I have actually uh, written on the below of this. Uh, okay, I think it will be visible now. So UA exams. UA exams is very important. So now, very important point is that in UA exams, you should know about the basic data flow verification system. And in this data flow verification system, you should know there are two type basic as well as the clinical exams. And you should know about that. If you are uh, have done the USMLE step three, you are exempted from the one of the exams from the Gulf countries and these exams are difficult as compared to the as compared to the AMC one, LAF one. They have uh, some clinical structure. They have have some clinical structure. Is that clear? So the uh, next uh, we have discussed about all almost. I have discussed uh, USMLE. USMLE step one, USMLE step two. We have been discussing about uh, total expenditure in USMLE. We have been discussing lab, lab one, lab two, MRCP, and uh, we have discussed AMC. We have discussed Ireland. We have discussed Saudi Medical Council. We have discussed New Zealand. We have discussed the Canada. We have discussed Maldives. We have discussed Germany. We have discussed Norway and Qatar and the UA exams. Now we will. Uh, having uh we will be discussing about question and answer session so i will be responding all your questions now i will be now requesting dr khatija to involve in question answer sessions so i will be reading your questions so please post any your group in your colleagues in your university uh, whatsapp group that we are having a question and answer that is very very beneficial uh, if you are not interested to post in comments, you can send me on my WhatsApp without mentioning your name. I will be answering your question. Okay, very very informative. So I will be answering to all of your question. If you are hesitant to post in the comments, you can text me on my WhatsApp. I will be reading and I will be answering. Is that clear? So I will be taking uh, the picture and send the group. So please, please join question answer session. This is very beneficial. Thank you, Dr. So it is very beneficial for all the students. OK, just you should read the question from the first of the question. Then we will start answering. I can't see the questions. Are you getting in your WhatsApp or is it on comment section? I have sent you on the WhatsApp. That's fine. Let me just have a we look. We will be answered first. OK, first we will be uh, answering to that questions who were asked uh, just like yesterday. And then we will answer all of these questions in the comments. OK, please stay with us. Please stay with us and we will be questioning and a question answer session and i request to stay with us that's fine 
So thank you, Dr. Haja, for explaining all these pathways. You know, I was not even aware of this Norway pathway and the other ones that you mentioned at the end. So it was like a good overview of all those pathways. And I think our viewers will have better chance to decide which pathway they want to opt. Uh, it is a first message in comments or in your WhatsApp. I can't see any message. Okay, we will we will be first uh, uh, texting. We will be uh, uh, like answering all your question first from the comments, and then we will be questioning when I have been receiving a personal question. Okay, so I want to highlight all the questions will be answered. Please stay with us. Uh, don't leave the meeting. Don't leave the meeting. All students will be getting the answers. Is that clear? So we will be first starting from the comment section. So I will be starting from Daniel Zahir. So is Daniel Zahir is here? Okay. So I will be requesting from Daniel Zahir and all the other who have commented. Please, uh, please join and take your answers. Is that clear? So I will be requesting, please join and take the answer. Let me send in the group so that the students should join. Mm -hmm. It's very important because I have been receiving, I have been receiving more than 80 message in my WhatsApp. So that's the what was the actual reason I am here to live with you so that I will answer a question so that that will be the answer of more than 10 people. So when I will answer, it means I am answering to all you people. So it will be easy for me because I cannot uh, uh, respond to each and every person. Uh, of course, previous was 80 and now I have seen that there are more 20, 25 messages. So I will be answering to all of them and but on the live i will be reading some of the students who have sent me the messages on whatsapp i will not mention their name but who are uh, like sending the messages on the comment section i will be mentioning the name okay no problem if you are hesitant and don't want to uh, like be mentioned so it's okay so you can send me on whatsapp is that clear okay now we will start the question number one uh, Daniel Zahid, uh, Assalamu alaikum. I want to pursue the MRCP and not the FLAB and not the FLAB because most of my senior have told me about difficulty in getting a job after FLAB. I have recently done my final year and about to start house job. Any suggestion? Uh, okay. What do you say is for you, Doctor? Yes, answer okay. it. This answer will be given by Dr. Fatija. Thank you. So, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes, of course. Thank yeah, you. that's fine. All right. So uh, one thing, uh, Mr. Daniel, who, have, uh, who is currently, I think, a final year student, if I'm not wrong. Can you please confirm, Dr. Khaja? It's OK. Uh, I think it's not here, but we will be just answering the question. I so think that's, it's not that's, here. Yeah, that's, so uh, I will suggest, like, if he's a final year student, and he wants to take MRCP pathway, then I think that's not the better decision. He should go for PLAB pathway as he can give OET in final year and PLAB one immediately after final year. And PLAB two within the house job first 12 months. And then he will be GMC registered and path UK is open for him. And meanwhile, he can work on his CV. Like he can do an audit. I know in Pakistani culture, it's very hard to do an audit, but what we can do is quality improvement project qip that can help you in improve your cv being there in pakistan in either if you are in mayo whichever hospital you are you can take some patients uh, get their records to a qip quality improvement project and this can improve your cv and you can take mrcp part one along with that so the the thing is that it's you to decide if you want plab or mrcp but i will suggest plab should be the first priority if you are the final year medical student Okay, hope uh, uh, that student got the answer, and I will be also answering uh, like personally, but I will be answering first on the comment section. 
so that students who will be commenting on this video live chat i will be first answering to them and after that i will be answering the whatsapp messages thank you uh, next is dr hasnan khawar if someone has given usmle step 1 step 2 and ck and is going to give the step 3 can this be carried over for the lab and amc Okay, so answer for USML is uh, SNAN cover. CK is going to give the step three. Can this then carried over the flab and AMC? Actually, flab and AMC. Flab is uh, modifying to UK MLA because we are having a detailed session on this. UK MLA may be having a system for the accepting USML student at this time. You are not eligible to get the GMC registration as. Uh, and regarding the AMC, yes, AMC is accepting your USML steps. You can go to apply for AMC. And if you have the step three, it's mean uh, it is very valuable. You can uh, apply broadly. You, if you are not uh, matched, you can go to Qatar, you can go to UAE, you can go to Australia and all the other some. Okay, so there are majority and major pathway available for you. Thank you, Dr. Hasnan Kavar. Painting globe. Uh, next is painting globe. I am in my final year and I am thinking to start the preparation of lab from now on. So help me. How can I do this with my final year study? Is my video is visible? Uh, no, I can't see your picture now. I think it's just the. Yeah, now it's. Yeah, that's fine. So the question is. She is in final year medical, uh, final year medical student, and she wants to take the PLAB pathway. And she's asking suggestion like, what should she do right now? So I will suggest that for now you should give OET as soon as possible. It's like it it, it just requires a couple of weeks of preparation. It might be just two weeks if you will just do it every day, practice a video every day, and give give it right now. And then after passing your PLAB, the final year exams, go for the PLAB one. Just book it in the beginning of the uh, like get yourself gmc uh, registered like sorry you need to make a gmc account so after passing your oet you can make the gmc account and then you can uh, book the plab one seat so meanwhile you are preparing for your final year exams and at the same time you are preparing for plab one so this will be very beneficial for you okay thank you uh, for the answer so our next question will be uh, from the fitness and life please guide us about lab journey uh, fitness and the life we having we will be having a detailed discussion about the lab in a separate webinar we will invite dr khatija again for the one by one step detailed explanation so please stay with us and watch and uh, wait for the next webinar for lab thank you next is uh, Non-clinical option for an IMG and US. Okay, this is beautiful question for uh, many of the students. If students are listening to me, they are uh, asking about non-IMG. Mean if you are not IMG, you have you have not gone to ECFMG verification. If you you are not gone to USML step one and step two and not got certification. You are not uh, IMGs and still you want to have some uh, like this process. You are a final year student or house officer and not have been in a US pathway. Go far up, find the opportunity of electives or research. Okay, so many of the students without having USML, without applying the ECFMD certification, they can be like accepted when they have a letter of electives mean you can approach to many of the doctors in the usa you can uh, get the emails to many of the programs and email them sir i am very passionate i want to do electives i want to do research i want to come in usa so in this way you can enter usa for temporarily as well as if you are accepted on a research visa j1 visa you are eligible up to two years uh, to live in the usa so next is the called Hassam Rahat. Hassam Rahat, how hard is to uh, get into a surgical training program in the UK or in USA? 
what can I do as a final year med student if I am willing to pursue surgery, surgery speciality later on? I will invite Dr. Khatija to answer this. Yeah. So I think finally, as a final year student, you can't do much in order to enter into surgery speciality. What I will suggest is that as soon as you are finished with your exams, like you are GMC registered or maybe you have done your USMLE, now it's the time for you to focus which pathway you want to decide. Like if you want to opt in for surgery in UK, you should land your first job. And then during those 12 months, try to build your experience in surgery. Like once you enter any job in UK, try to switch your job to the surgery speciality. The first thing I would like to mention here is that in UK, they don't usually trust surgeons from Pakistan or from Asia because of the practice over there, the malpractice over there. So they usually want the surgeons to be trained over here first. So for that, it's good that you should get the foundation years in surgery, like at least six months of experience. And along with that, you can do an audit either in surgery, anything like whenever you will be doing job in surgery, there are always some running audits in that department. It's a culture in UK. So you can take part in that audit. You can do few courses side by side, and this will improve your CV. Once your CV will be improved, you can ace interview and land in surgery speciality. <laughs> so it will take some time. Maybe in order to enter medicine, it might require you just one year of experience in UK, and you can start applying for medicine. But for, for surgery, you minimum need at least 1.5 years of experience in UK, along with some additional audits, additional QIPs, research, just to make your CV strong enough because it's very competitive. But yes, you can at least land in surgery in UK. I'm not sure about USMLA. I know it's very hard in UK, USA, but UK, you, yes, you can land. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Khadija, for your kind answer. It was detailed. So all the students, it is very beneficial. So please post here. I will be answering. Okay. So stay with us. Don't leave it. If if you do, you think that this is not for my for me. This is not for me. This is not the actual information I need. Actually, this is for you. If you are a medical student, if you are a doctor, you want to explore. You must know the uh, like different system in in all over the world. Because in Pakistan, there is no future of doctor. There is no future of doctor. You should do something to leave this country. Okay, you don't deserve like the uh, forty thousand pay. It cannot even uh, like cover your expenses. There is also insecurities regarding the job, and there is a pull-up culture in in Pakistan and all the other problems. So I advise listen all the options and stay here. Don't leave it. This is a beautiful session and detail explain. And this three R will be change your life. I can guarantee you write these my words. And after two years, I will be asking from all the students. Okay, I can guarantee you because no one, no one was telling us like this. I remember Dr. Khatija, uh, like we were not even being informed all of these like guidance and what are the process and we were just in prayer. We were just in peer pressure. So this is best for you. We are telling you step by step and answering your question. Don't leave. Share with your friends. Share with your colleagues. Stay with here. And I again request share as much as you can. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Next question is, uh, how can we post all the videos here? Technical sprint. I will be posting here. Thank you so much. Uh, Emil Uba, how Ireland exam differ from PLAB and what about MRCT? Ireland is a different pathway. I have discussed Irish Medical Council is in Euro. Euro means it is included in European country and PLAB is for UK. MRCP is also for UK. PLAB is a certification exam. MRCP is a clinical awarding exam. Okay. Like FCPS is MRCP. It is fellowship exam. Okay. It is, it is actually a member of Royal College of Physicians mean you will be given a degree that having a weightage equal to FCPS are like more important. When you will get the MRCP, you will get the post of senior registrar in Pakistan. Lab is a pathway to get the certification to get 
जीएमसी जनरल मेडिकल काउंसिल सर्टिफिकेशन टू अप्लाई द रेसिडेंसी इन द यूके बट इन एम आर सी पी वेन यू गो फॉर एम आर सी पी पाथवे यू विल बी हायर रैंक बी रैंक हायर एज कम्पेयर टू द लैब स्टूडेंट दिस इज नॉट इक्वल लैब स्टूडेंट इज नॉट इक्वल टू एम आर सी पी हु हैव कम्पलीटेड पार्ट वन एंड पार्ट टू पेसिस एंड ऑल सो देर आर मोर अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड क्लिनिकल अपॉर्चुनिटीज फॉर एम आर सी पी स्टूडेंट इज दैट क्लियर so next is med meditudes which one is best for the easiest match in the surgery if you are go want to go for surgery go for uk not not for us or pakistan uk pakistan uk pakistan if you want to go for surgery uk pakistan uk pakistan that's the answer mohammad faisal javed ji thank you ji uh, dr khatija please guide about germany pathway to dr khatija i have specifically explain the germany pathway to you in detail let me yes. explore in summary in germany pathway grab the grab the knowledge of language do the language test give the language test and after that apply for the another uh, proficiency medical proficiency exam test so you can go back and watch our germany series so you will get all your answer about the germany series so video is here in our previous section on the germany so you can watch all the detail here so thank you we will go next asim nawaz how pakistani doctor are writing mrcp qualification but they have not gone abroad is it possible to do mrcp complete in pakistan i will invite dr khatija to answer this yes how pakistani so, doctor are writing yes so so your question is that all the pakistani doctors who are writing mrcp exams while sitting back in pakistan so the answer is yes you can write all you need is your 12 months experience and once you have your house job you can write your mrcp exam it depends upon how well resourced you are like how much well informed regarding the daily practice the daily clinical scenarios that we can have over here in uk so i will suggest why like you should work side by side like once you are taking your mrcp exams you should also practice in hospital like you will be coming with all everyday scenarios on the daily ba daily basis in your hospital so this will make you like practically seeing all those scenarios which you are learning in your preparations so yes you can write the exam okay thank you so much for your answer okay next uh, next question is uh, Yusra Maimon question from uh, Dr Yusra Maimon tell us about the other pathway to get the you world text me you will get the uh, like other pathway we will tell you thank you so much Dr Yusra Maimon painting globe after how much time we can go for the lab 2 yes so And after giving the lab 1 after giving so, Dr Khadija will answer this yes so let me just suggest you that uh, it depends upon what time have you taken the lab 1 so like i personally took plab 1 immediately after writing my final year exams it's like i passed in april my final year and i took plab 1 in i think uh, june or july in uk so i was in uk at that time and i took my plab 1 immediately after this so now i have to do my house job as well and i have to take plab 2 as well so what i did was that i immediately took the subscription of an academy so meanwhile i'm doing my house job i'll be having that enough time to prepare those scenarios the most common scenarios of plab 2 that we are taught in academy so you can have enough time to prepare for plab 2 so i will suggest immediately of passing plab 1 get a subscription for plab 2 online course they start taking the classes and whenever you think that yes i am fully prepared you can book the exam because the seats are always avail available it will be always on your gm account you will always have access to plab 2 seats there are like every day there is plab 2 happening in uk like there are five days a week so it's it's open to you like when whichever date you want to choose but i will suggest immediately go for subscription go for preparation and then book a seat thank you okay thank you so much uh, next our qu uh, question from uh, status hut sir please guide about qatar and dubai pathway i have explained qatar and dubai pathway you can go back on my video i have explained the qatar pathway the summary is qatar pathway have the easiest exam dubai has a difficult exam as compared to 
regarding the Gulf countries, you can have the detail in the previous section. I have explained all the Qatar and Dubai pathway. There is DHA, Had, and Mohab in, in the UAE and in the Qatar. There is a easiest exam who is also available for doctors, nurses, and also the other students. There is easiest exam for the Qatar. You can go Qatar has highest currency value in the world. So all the students can go for Qatar also. Okay, so this is also a best option. Thank you so much. So full video is you can go back after this session and it will be available. You can listen it uh, for temporarily a few hours. It will be available. You can listen it. Thank you. Uh, Umar Farooq, is it good to go Norway? Good to go Norway. If I can be a motivational speaker, I can tell you in all of these 13 exams which I have described, I can motivate you every person on one exam and next after one hour i can motivate you another exam so it is a relative question it is relative okay it is what is best for you that should be the answer what is best for you because i don't know your family condition i don't know about what you are doing i don't know about what are your plans okay i don't know uh, what you prefer in regarding like i can give you example i am dr kamran I like independence. Okay. I like uh, enjoying. I like hangouts. I like uh, f f funny moments. I like to interact. I like to communicate. I, I want social environment. Uh, I, I must you know, go to any country which is very broad. So there are many people who like this. Okay? We should go to that country like Australia, UK. These are developed. And Norway is as not developed as compared to UK as like Australia but it is a good opportunity to go if you are not able and you have not you cannot manage the money for play Ireland and other go for Norway because it is cheapest the only reason uh, if you want to go for Norway is the lacking of money otherwise if you have money don't go the Norway uh, go for other part next is Huzaifa Shori what is average salary of consultant in UK I will invite Dr Khatija to answer average salary of consultant in UK so let me just tell you the basic salary scales like here in UK I'll say that if you are earning up to 50,000 pounds per annum which is common here everyone earns this much even after starting from clinical fellows job so if you are earning 50,000 pounds a year you're tax will be 20 percent but if you are earning more than 50,000 pounds up to 90,000 pounds your tax will be up to 40 percent of your salary and if you are exceeding that limit like you are beyond 90 90,000 pounds then the tax will be 50 percent of your take-home salary so I will say that if the consultant is earning more than 90,000 pounds which is very common here Mostly all the specialty consultants who are on permanent contracts earn up to 90,000 to 110,000 pounds. If they are earning this much, then I think every month take home salary is around 7,000 pounds to up to 8,000 pounds. This includes just the permanent contracts. I'll say if he is doing locums as well, which is the bank shifts, it can be up to, you know, 10,000 pounds or even more it depends upon how much stamina you got like how many hours you can give in your jobs so 7,000 to 8,000 pounds on permanent contracts I will say okay thank you uh, Dr. Khatija for your answer next is uh, Lana Ahmad can you please repeat recommended preparation uh, steps for PLAB 2 there will be a detailed discussion on a separate webinar for PLAB we will be detailed discussion will be happen what is step one pathway steps resources step two visa process visa issues attachments residence in uk uk structure uk exam daily life okay daily hours hacks what are the techniques what is the academies all details will be discussed in lab webinars specifically for lab student in this we are just covering the basic thing thank you so much next uh, what is uh, uh, next question is now Muhammad Shahriyar Akhtar is MRCP better than PLAB my, my answer will be if you are undergraduate student PLAB is better if you are a resident like already you have spent uh, already you have spent one or two year three year 
uh, go for MRC. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, yes, I would like invite Dr. Khadija. It is my perspective, but I also uh, like to discuss. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Dr. I just want to add one point. So MRCP and PLAB, the big difference is PLAB is just a certification exam. Like you will be getting GMC registration. It will not be an additional point to your CV. You will still be a house officer in here, uh, in here, like as a foundation year two doctor. But doing MRCP, you will be a registrar here if you have two years of post. So it's it's your thing to decide like if you want to work as a foundation year doctor over here and then become a registrar it's good to go through plab pathway but if you want to become directly a registrar over here and you can handle this pressure being a registrar here because it's a huge huge job over here if you are a registrar you are running whole hospital so it's it's you it's your time for you to do mrcp then okay so it's you to decide at which pathway you need to take thank you Okay, thank you so much uh, for your answer. Dr. Umar Farooq, I have applied for the Norwegian temporary license. Can you guide me what to do next? Okay, also tell me which ex exam like MRCEM etc. benefit me for the Norway pathway. Actually, the Norway pathway is a different. Okay, for your Norway pathway, you cannot get the pathway beneficial beneficial in uh, PLAB or AMC or other things. Actually, the Norway have a separate pathway. It has a Norwegian directorate, uh, like it is another organization that is verifying you. If you are applied for the Norway pathway, uh, go to uh, get the like his registration for his directorate registration and start learning your language. Okay that will help you better because when you will be applied for in your cv you mentioned i have a proficiency of the language specifically for you when you will talk them so you will get the more chance of your job and and third important point is go to all website and search uh, what are the emails getting from uh, residents in the norway and personally that text them emails them in a very respectful manner and make your own opportunity like uh, tell them i am this and this and i i know about this language and this so i want you to be uh, like uh, hire me and whatever so if you can contribute so like if you show the active participation in your application so it will be very beneficial for detailed discussion you can come back on this video and listen on the norway pathway you will get all your answers thank you next is for the meditude saying lab versus it is already discussed so you can go back and uh, listen the lab versus mrcp section beautifully explained by dr khatija thank you uh, so ml uba is saying that lab is saturating day by day and some people are saying up for mrcp is it more costly than lab if we do it after house job total cost what will be in pakistani rupees okay. dr khatija uh, it's for you. So I will say that when you say that which one is better pathway, I will say it depends upon what part of your medical career you are. Either you are a student, either you are a working as in hospital, either you have like two years, three years of experience. So it depends upon that, which I've already explained. Now, coming to the point, MRCP and PLAB, the passing thing. PLAB is much easier and much reliable to pass as compared to MRCP. When we come to MRCP, it's like it's a difficult exam. The passing rate is very low. And obviously, if you are, this is like PLAB is 200 pounds, but MRCP is, I think, 2,500 to 2,800 pounds in total. But the risk to fail is very high. So it's like, it depends upon how much proficient in medical knowledge you are. Like if you have enough experience, if you think that you have studied much, you can pass the exam, you should go for it. But in PLAB, it's like there are chances that you will ace it in the first go and your money will not be wasted. That's the thing. Okay, thank you for your answer. Uh, so next question is by the uh, ML Uva. PLAB 1 is given in Pakistan. Uh, and the PLAB 2 is given in the UK, also AMC 2 is given in Australia. Yes, yes, PLAB given in Pakistan, of course, and PLAB 2 in UK, and AMC given in 
Now, AMC is launching his uh, Prometric centers in Pakistan. It is new information that it is new information. Australia is also launching step two process and all the process in Pakistan is soon. They will be updated. Go to their website and check that uh, Prometric centers of Australia and Pakistan. You will get the latest news. In recent, I have heard that Australia is launching all of the Prometric center in Pakistan. Thank you. Uh, Osaf, the medical regarding uh, saturations in lab now, uh, what should we do? Saturation is everywhere, everywhere, saturation is everywhere. What is best for you according to your style, your motivation, your money, your passion, your style of uh, like thinking? And but one student who is taking distinction in all of the journey, it's mean he have great motivation to read and sit and back and he can do all the clinical exams. One student is getting uh, just only for to for the life standard so what is your goal according to your goal plan it is not only lab option plan according to your goals okay you are what is your goal find it if you want to go to explore the uh, developed countries usa uk australia and ireland is option if you need money specifically go for uh, like uh, Qatar, Kuwait, UA exams because they have more money, but no, like there is no chance of getting to the independence. Okay, so like self security, self independence, PR ship, permanent residence feature, and uh, your values, your interactions. These all depend upon what you think and what you want. Okay. Uh, UAE and all the other Gulf countries are going shifting to Australia and Ireland because they are lacking self confidence because they are working in that environment they are not being appreciated by most of the senior because the culture is different so if you are like this so you can opt according to you thank you so much so this is for all students explore yourself what is best for you it is not okay lab is not fine okay you can go for another because in your whole of your life you are living you are you are living and you must enjoy the life okay you have to enjoy the moments, enjoy the environment like this. Choose that option. Thank you. Next is uh, Matt, you have salary in Ireland compared to PLAP. Salary in Ireland and the uh, PLAP salary is much higher, slightly higher as compared to, but some of the researches I have contacted with the students that some, some salary is in a few hospitals is even higher. In Ireland, it can vary depending upon programs. And I think I would invite Dr. Khatija to tell me more specifically uh, about the pay in the UK. Okay. So I've just explained a few minutes back, like if you want to get a job of foundation year one, the salary is not good. It's like around less than 2000 pounds if you are in a permanent contract because the per hour rate is less. When you want to become a foundation year two, doctor the salary is around 2400 to 2500 pounds a month <laughs> but if you are landing into a job of clinical fellows if you want to job, get a job of foundation year three fellows and uh, like for them so the job salary will be more than three thousand pounds it could be around 3500 pounds if you are not opting for pensions and if you are opting for pensions it will be less like it will be 200 to 300 pounds lesser so i have heard i'm not sure about the ireland salary but i've heard that it's much more than uk not significant difference but there is like a difference of 100 to 200 pounds in the salary of uh, uk and ireland because the salary there is, is in euros and in uk it's in pounds so I'm, I'm not sure how much the difference is but i'm telling you the salary of uk which can easily exceed three thousand pounds without any locums if you are just on permanent contract doing on calls as well with nights so this will be the salary if you are working like 20, uh, 22 days in a month it will be your salary and remaining eight days seven days it's, it's your decision whether you want to take any locums whether you want to do any bank shifts so you can easily make up to four thousand forty five hundred pounds by doing those bank shifts yeah okay thank you so much uh, for your detailed answer dr khatija okay next question is uh, next question uh, we will answer all the question please stay here okay if you are thinking I, I know it is very extensive because this is beneficial for you okay i have been i have been teaching i have recorded two lectures i have made these slides and i am doing and 
talking so i need you please stay here and i request all of the audience to uh, forward this link to all your colleagues senior junior and make maximum community interact with us i am listening to you i will be responding to you i am here for you and it is free i will be delivering daily lectures for all of you free but i need your support only okay i need your uh, like support so please support us by sharing by subscribing by sending all your senior junior those should join it and it's free we we'll continue with our next question what is the cost we have discussed the cost dr urwa we have discussed the uh, uh, related to detailed all of these exams will be discussed in my coming two or months i will be uploading detailed videos for each and every but webinar about mrcp lab and ireland i have booked with my senior i am very happy dr khadija has given this uh, like precious time and she will be available in the next lab webinar you can ask anything about lab thank you so much yeah, and sure. next is dr khadija picture is okay you can see uh, med tube shared thank you dr uh, med tubes i we really appreciate can we have the contact information of dr khatija exam ma'am no it is very uh, like different because i have been receiving more than 80 messages dr khatija in in just recent uh, one and a half year so it was very difficult because uh, my residents are very busy in uk and usa uh, they cannot even have a time uh, to 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 call on the pakistan in family so it is very difficult for me it is uh, uh, like uh, Uh, personally if you can uh, request and whatever i i if i don't recommend this because uh, i will it is I, very difficult i will answer all of your questions in dr khaja's next webinar so whatever questions you have in your mind you can just prepare and send him uh, send to the khaja so that will make sure yes we- exactly send me uh, for that person who are really specifically because i know there are things that females want to talk with females there are things that uh, it should not be discussed but i really appreciate i will not be discussing if you trust uh, then you can send me uh, i will not share the information i will be just forwarding to dr khatija and they will uh, prepare the answer for you okay and uh, you will be answered in the next webinar and this will be anonymously and you will not be mentioned thank you mm-hmm. next is uh, uh, successfully shared thank you so much I think we should uh, go for next. Please upload this video on your channel. I truly appreciate, Dr. Lana Ahmed. Uh, I I actually need all of you to stay here during the live session. I also have been requesting. The purpose of live session is interacting with us. Okay, I will try. I will discuss with Dr. Khadija if uh, we will discuss about it. If we should be staying or not, we will tell you at the end. Okay. Dr. Huzafa Shuri, could you share it? Seems med prep, US Mali lab preparation. Yes, uh, I have a WhatsApp group. You can join it. It is free. We have a daily 8 p.m. to 9:50, uh, 9:40 free class. I am teaching uh, uh, like US Mali students lab, MRCP, FCPS, MDMS, NRE, and all the other exams. I am teaching from my edited first aid. I have my own edited first aid. It's not simple first aid. I have edited uh, uh, white pages. I have edited. Um, question bank from lab from usmle from other like high yield mdex mplex up to date past medicine i am adding more of the data on a one book and i teach when i teach i teach with like and in, in my own style it is very beneficial and super important point is that it's free you can join free it is no money you can come on live session you can join we have completed cardiovascular series we have completed endocrine series now we are going to start neurology or gastroenterology so i will be uh, notify you in my whatsapp group you can come and join and you join daily from 8 pm to 9 30 free lecture thank you so much next is <clears throat> sir humble request is please share this pdf in group because picture were blurry and we couldn't uh, take screenshot it was easy to decide okay let me decide this i will share or not we will think about it and uh, i hope all the questions will be cleared from all of you i am here for all of you i will be answering the question kindly send whatsapp group link okay i will be sending whatsapp group link in just a while okay uh, next is uh, what are the possible pros and cons of all these pathway you can uh, choose to ace to your resources and time 
there are pros and cons for every pathway. If you have the money, go for USMLE, 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 USMLE. I repeat 1000 times USMLE, 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 if you have the money. Because when you will go to in residency, the first year you will be rewarded 60,000, 60, 60,000 US dollar. Go on Google and check 60,000 US dollar into Pakistani rupees. And you will see the interesting PKRS you will get in one year. So remember, the journey is difficult. Okay, of course, money is actually resources and money and everything is difficult. 40, 45 lakh you need in US and journey. But the fruitful, it is very fruitful. Your life standard, your family, your passion, your uh, next generation, your money, your style. Uh, one of my senior, a great of the great senior from King Edward Medical just donated billions of dollars millions and billions of dollars. Do you know, do you expect this? And he has just constructed Makbul block in King Edward Medical University. This is due to USMLE money. When you are resident in USA, you are, are much, much rich, richest. There is a, if there is a other superlative degree of richest, I will say richest and richest success like this. So in USA, there is more, more money. Okay, if you can, this two years of USMLE journey, dedication, super important, dedication, consistent, passion, that is important. Agar aap ye nahi karoge, phir aap, matlab, nahi. आपके पास पैसा भी हो और डेडिकेशन कंसिस्टेंसी है फिर आप मुझे 3 साल बाद मिलना यू विल सी द सक्सेस ऑफ कोर्स इफ नॉट आप नहीं कर सकते मनी प्रॉब्लम है फ्लैट जाओ 12 लाख का खर्चा है नहीं कर सकते उससे कम जाओ उससे कम इस तरह आप जा सकते हैं अकॉर्डिंग टू योर प्लान योर फैमिली सिचुएशन किसी का भाई है यूके में तो वो यूके जाए भाई यूएस में है बहन यूएस में है तो वो यूएस जाए आई हाईली रिकमेंड कनेक्शन मैटर करते हैं Recommendation matter karti hai. This is super important. Ye kehti hai na log rishwat ho gayi hai Pakistan mein. America mein isko connection ya recommendation kehti hai. UK mein isko connections kehti hai. Thik hai. It doesn't mean ki us level pi hoti Allah maaf kare ki Pakistan mein jo hum word use karti hai rishwat ka. But in UK, USA, the word is used as a recommendation. Connections. Thik hai. Agar, well, let's suppose ek hospital mein Dr. Khatija kaam kar rhi hai. Mai apply karti. Dr. Khatija, if you have a resident, a senior, a PD, a program director, ko hai, it is, he is very valuable and very efficient. It doesn't mean that he is giving a wish. No. He recommends and then you have a more chance. It means you are friend, family. Like koi nana, baba, dadu, koi family. If you have a family in any country, then you can explore it more easily. Your chance of getting residency is easier. Uh, it's still on Nalwe Pathway. Video is passed tomorrow. Oh, उसके बाद हम देख लेते हैं डॉक्टर कोंच मुस्तफा अब हम नीचे से शुरू करेंगे कुछ स्टूडेंट जो है ना वो जो जल्दी रिप्लाई कर रहे हैं ना तो ऊपर ऊपर आ जाते हैं मुझे समझते हैं वो पुराने मैसेजेस हैं तो वी विल रिप्लाई टू द डॉक्टर कोंच मुस्तफा नार्वे पाथवे आई हैव एक्सप्लेन नार्वे पाथवे गो टू बैक एंड वॉच द वीडियो काइंडली डिस्कस हाउ टू इंप्रूव और बूस्ट द सीवी टू गेट द फर्स्ट जॉब इन यूके आफ्टर लैब ड्यूरिंग योर मेड स्कूल Dr. Khatija, this uh, question is for you. I think there should be a separate video on specifically how to improve the CV. It's it's a huge, huge, important topic nowadays. You know, everyone has have exactly. plans in their hands. They are just waiting for jobs. The reason is there is saturation. Why there is saturation? Mm. Knows how to do plan, but they don't know how to work on their CV to get the first job. So the first thing I will say is whenever you come for your plan two in UK. Don't go back without doing clinical attachment. Always do clinical observership attachment in some institute. Get the reference from the UK's consultant. The second thing is invest some more money, like 800 pounds or 700 pounds by doing ALS. That, that too in British Resuscitation Council. So I, I will say that when I got my first job, 
I did clinical attachment. I did ALS. So it's not just the flap that you need nowadays. You need ALS as well. So you can do it while you are here in for flap two. You can uh, book it beforehand. It will cost you like two lakhs more. But the important thing is that you will be closer to your job. So you, I think you should invest on this thing. I will utterly, I will just enforce this to you that you should do it if you are here. Attachment and ALS. These things are very important nowadays. The other thing that you can do while in doing attachment over here is that at least there is some running audit in every ward here in UK. Uh, audit or any quality improvement project. You can just ask them that I want to take part in it. I want to collect data regarding this ad audit. So what you will get is that you will get certificate of participation in audit. So once you will get that uh, certificate, you, uh, your CV will much, much improve. Now you will be having ALS. You will be having clinical attachment. You will be having this certificate of participation in an audit. Apart from this, you can do some research while sitting back in Pakistan. There are like in King Edward, I know we got the opportunity to, to do research while in fourth year in community medicine. So at least there should be some research that you can do over those house job time period about anything. Whenever you will you'll have free time in Pakistan, you can take part in any research. So these five things can improve your CV a lot. So I will say do these things as soon as possible. Along with that, focus on your exams. Okay, thank you, Dr. Khadija, for your kind answer. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the next is the next is kindly discuss how to improve or boost your CV. To, yeah, this is already done. Like, uh, those who are uh, uh, want to who go for AMC hardly get the job. Uh, like uh, uh, from I am a PGR, is it due? Uh, and you have to pay a heavy amount. To get the permanent there and we get permanent job waiting for many years actually amc is uh, dr uh, ml uba ml uba sorry uh, i am taking the exact pronunciation dr ml uba amc australian medical council of course uh, i have listened less like this because i have listened these type of activities from uae from Maldives and from other that they grab the money, they are jet and agents who give you the spot and booking by getting the money. But from Australian Medical Council, of course, it can be possible because the structure is like that. When you get the AMC one, Australian Medical Council one, you can apply the job. Okay, because many of the uh, uh, agents are connected with the programs, connected with the hospitals. So they can offer you a money, of course, they can increase the chance, but it is as less likely as compared to in Gulf countries, as compared to in Maldives, as compared to in other countries. It may be possibility that it now is increased because of more people are applying and more ins uh, insecurity or uncertainty is happening in India or Pakistan or Nepal. So that's the reason many students going for these all of these exams. So uh, so you can hide these of activities from Australia. Okay. So next is the next question uh, we will be discussing uh, about uh, Dr. Uh, Ausaf, the medico uh, regarding lab. We have discussed lab. We have discussed, we will be discussing more on our a separate webinar and the lab. Thank you. Okay. Dr. Uh, Ziao. X I A O. Dr. Xiao, can we please uh, contact up? We already discussed about this. We already discussed about this and this one. We already discussed Dr. ML. We already. Next is Dr. Uh, Al Ali Hasnan Khan. Dr. Ali Hasnan Khan is asking about UAE pathway. We have explained the UAE pathway, which is DHA exam, MOHAP exam, which is and which was moho actually is now recently it has been renamed mohab and also there is hard exams these are exam for uae dubai health authority has a separate system of examination abu dhabi has separate and uh, sharja and other states are, are having a separate system but there is interconnection system when you pass one exam you can enter into another authority which is actually a authority dubai authority abu dhabi authority and that type of authorities 
this is clinical based exams one and two two part are available this is more clinical as compared to basic amc one is basic lab one basic but saudi medical is somewhat clinical mix a mild mixture of basic and ua on gulf countries except qatar all the other have clinical exams sorry uh, except the uh, uh, kuwait okay because kuwait is easy exam and all all these exams are very very clinical okay next is uh question from dr talha iqbal can you please change the page to the qatar pathway we have already discussed about you can go back on the video and listen it dr uh, mukaddas please change the slide we have already discussed this next uh, dr uh, ml uba okay dr uh, ml uba saying new zealand has not been discussed or maybe uh, my connection was weak anyone here to tell uh i think i have added this new zealand uh are the people have listened about my new zealand slides i have discussed the new zealand or not can anybody text me i have discussed the new zealand or not uh, yes you have I discussed think, yes we discussed mm, uh, no i think i have uh, uh, i have not discussed the new zealand uh, i remember now Uh, i appreciate uh, your feedback uh, dr mukaddas dr mukaddas is right i think i have missed the slide of uh, new zealand okay so i will be discussing the new zealand in just uh, just 2 to 3 minutes okay so it was my mistake i think i have forgot now it is visible to you i think its new zealand slide is visible okay so new zealand Uh, New Zealand have a specialist pathway, which is uh, specialist pathway is FCPS pathway. Okay, only specialists are exempted for the first part of exam. If you are uh, having MBBS and having uh, completed the FCPS, you are exempted for the part one of New Zealand pathway. But still, they will appear in part two, which is clinical exam. Okay, so remember in New Zealand pathway, if you are FCPS student. you are exempted from step 1 or step 1 uh, exam but uh, uh, ose which is uh, clinical exam you have to appear okay is that clear next is vocational registration vocational registration is uh, uh, for the only 3 years you have to pay 3000 dollar for the interview mean you have to pay them and they will take you and get your interview booked and now after uh, your interview is booked what will happen next when your interview is booked so what will happen the next will be your primary source verification and you have to take the ielts and it must be seven score so remember there is pathway that is called fcps consultant or specialist pathway only fcps student if they apply in new zealand they are exempted from step 1 part which is uh, one exam which is one exam that is exempted but all the fcps can have to take the uh, part 2 exam and next is vocational registration vocational registration for that vocational registration who are not the student of fcps they have to pay 3000 dollar okay for the interview and then you will uh, get interview you will have the primary verification and of of course you will have the ielts and then what is requirement your mbbs your uh, like house job your fitness your epic verification we have discussed epic verification and good standing certificate after 3 year when you go for vocational to the full registration okay so you will go to uh, full registration and uh, there is a more likely the new zealand jobs on linkedin so make the linkedin account so more likely the new zealand uh, like uh, jobs are available on linkedin you can find it and all the other websites also the job hunting is very important next general practitioner okay so uh, if any student who has been done with lab or other okay so i think it new zealand is also a component that is accepting if you have done lab and other exam new zealand is also and the one country that is accepting your exams okay pay is good and increase rapidly as the 
it's more expensive it mean pay is also high it has more expensive it has more expensive residents as compared to uk pay is high but it is expensive if i compare in kuwait there is no tax there is uh, like financial matters i am not because it will be a five hour webinar so i am not discussing about finances also in uae and all kuwait and qatar there are no taxes but in uk in ireland in other there are taxes so you should uh, take in your mind okay plab ireland and other are exempted mean if you are going to new zealand plab ireland and other exam if you have taken and it is exempted and you have to pay 2500 dollar per month you mean you will be paid actually you will be paying your pay will be 2500 dollar per month it is huge amount for new zealand okay if you have done usmle if you have done plab if you have done all the other exams go to new zealand uh, website and check that if you are eligible you are exempted okay what are the expenses for specialist pathway specialist pathway we have to pay 45 for once time and then he will be also be paid 3000 and then epic verification 300 to 400 so this is the expenses for specialist pathway who will be having fcps and pathway 3 pathway 3 is that uh, you will find all the colleges uh, uh, sorry all the exams like lab australian medical council canada exam mccqe usmle this is pathway 3 mean you will be applying from any pathway in other country so you, you will go to website and search that okay what is exemption pathway check if you have done usmle you can see well, i am exempted from new zealand uh, if you have done the AMC, you will see AMC is exempted. If you have done PLAB and go to check on the website and you will see I am exempted or not. So in this way, you can go for New Zealand. If, if there is a, a zero student, starting just from zero, student just from, from zero, not, not have done USMLE, even not have done PLAB, not have done AMC, what is the pathway of New Zealand now? So if this pathway is for the NXRS, which is New Zealand registration examination. It is a name of exam which is taken by New Zealand authority. You will go Google it and you will find it the structure of exams and basics of exams and what are the this and this. What will you need from the zero or from the start is MBBS and MD from any university or foreign university. You must do house job and IELTS. IELTS is very important. And next, EPIC verification, you will go and pay to the EPIC. They will verify the data and send to the New Zealand authorities. Next, you will go toward the exams. You have to pay first $400 and then you have to pay $3,500. Okay, part one and part two, there are two parts of the New Zealand exam. In the part one exam, there is a basic like AMC one, USMLE one, lab one. It is exactly basic exam as like the New Zealand exam. But for clinical is exactly more likely to the PLAB2, PLAB2 like ASCII stations and all the happening like this. So this is overview of New Zealand pathway. Uh, I think uh, uh, I have previously missed this pathway. Yes, it was before the Canada. Uh, actually, I have missed previously. So all the students who have not listened now it is for the New Zealand pathway. I have discussed it now, and we will be back to our question answer sessions. And I'll, I appreciate Dr. Mukaddas for highlighting this. Okay, still on this and this uh, uh, medical stuff is I am fourth year student, want to prepare for PLAB. What should I do at fourth level to start? Explore yourself, listen this video three times, make your mind, don't go for PLAB at fourth year. But you need to explore yourself. If you are likely decided that you will go for PLAB, then you should start to prepare and start the research at this level. And you should start the ACLS programs. You should start to highlight what are resources on the Google it on YouTube. For the detailed discussion, we will be having a webinar of lab later on. OK, and uh, next is Khatija Tariq, fee structure and salary in Germany. Germany has a good salary, good structure. And uh, if I compare uh, to the UK, it is higher in Germany. 
and what the main issue in germany is that the language barrier if you do know the language this is best regarding the pay and uh, regarding the money Fiza, what is the ideal time for USMLE if I give my step one in fourth year and uh, why should I give my step two and when should I go for electives or observership? Okay, so best time for ideal USMLE is third year now. Third year now. I know many of students will say that it is very early. Plus the thing has been changed. There is competition now. There is not like this we will go uh, to enjoy the final year we will go to hang out we will go for high tea and enjoy we will see after the final year what are what what is career and what is this this is this is not nowadays because many of the students who are undergraduate listening to me listening to me it is advice for all of you change your life think logically think practically this is a blessing i am teaching you this is a blessing i am telling you that Okay, wake up, make your mind. There is nothing in Pakistan. And I can quote uh, like a, one of the previous example. I recently, Dr. Khatija, uh, I have received a message from student that I am very spiritual man uh, and uh, uh, I cannot go USA because culture is uh, non-Muslim. So uh, what should I do? I am thinking about that. I will not be uh, like this. I will, it not, it, this culture will not be manageable to me. So what is your idea? I think gaming in Pakistan is okay. So these type of thoughts, do you imagine what is this? You are professional. So don't think like this. When you are living in UK, USA, you can, uh, there is a nothing care about you. Your neighbor don't know about you. You are resident, not even just know your name and you are working here. That's it. There is a very, very like hectic routine in UK, USA no one is caring about you you are caring about yourself if you are spiritual if you are religious if you are like this you can maintain the culture what is inside you will be the part of you is that clear so make up mind grab wake up don't go for other plans go for us first if you have money math i carry on the sorry passive which oh my the ability sorry is mini which of the jello sorry to see us in the region any is other important or Punjabi is can then in a horn of act as the one no okay so that is very important so USMLE Nahikar Sakte Plab Carlo Plab Nikarte Island Carlo okay so next is the how to get the GMC uh, Masood Javed how hard to become cardiothoracic surgeon in uk uh, discuss uh, the cardio residency in img competition ratio okay uh, dr khatija uh, what is the cardio residency in uk cardio residency basically I'm cardio sure thoracic surgeon cardio thoracic surgeon yeah. specifically surgeons I uh, basically know much about the cardiothoracic surgery, but it's very competitive. I don't know what ratio it is for like for IMT. I know it's four for one, like four seats and one gonna get that. So I'm not sure about surgery. I will have a look and I'll explain it in my next session with Dr. Kamran. Okay, uh, so uh, I will be uh, thankful for uh, Dr. Khatija. Uh, she will be leaving us and I will be answering all your questions. So basically, as we have covered the lab section, so we will be inviting uh, Dr. Khatija for the next lab section. So I am here. Don't leave. I will be answering all your questions from all the exams. Please stay here. And uh, I am very thankful, Dr. Khatija, for coming and joining the session and uh, for enlightening the students. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me, Dr. Khaja. See you later in the next okay. webinar. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. Thank you so much. Take care. Okay. So next question, I will be quickly now responding the question quickly. So please stay here. Who have not been answered, I will be now very quick and need your response and compliance here. Uh, Rashid Ashraf, AMC, please FCPS guidance, sir. 
I have discussed AMC. We can go back and listen the lecture after this ends. Thank you so much, Fiza. Is it wiser to prefer AMC over USMLE? No, no, no. USMLE and then AMC. USMLE and then AMC. If you have connection, if you have family relative in Australia, go for AMC. Family recommendation, family connections, and any other thing that is very strong in country, go for that. Okay, next. Uh, kindly arrange a detailed webinar, MRCP. Yes, of course, we have a MRCP webinar in our next schedule. I will be sharing the detail. Keep watching our channel, keep watching this. And all I request is subscribe also. Please uh, go, you will find in text message my subscribe button. You will find the subscribe button. You will be notified so that it is very valuable and we are having a daily class from 8 p.m to 9 30 that is free you can join at any time we will be starting neurology from the first lecture of neurology from tomorrow or so i would i would like to enjoy and join this session which is free session uh next is uh, hashim khan in which countries i can residency on the basis of steps on the basis of steps, USMLE steps, you can go to New Zealand, you can go to Australia, you can go to Qatar, specifically. These are the three most important you can get for the, yes. Okay, uh, next question is that, great, in the surgeon is saying, great initiative. Thank you so much for your appreciation. I really appreciate. Please don't leave this, don't leave this, okay? There are many questions remaining. Maybe that can change you. Maybe that question you, you are not asking, but other are asking, maybe that will be beneficial. I have I have received other, okay? I have been receiving the other also. So I will be answering to that, okay? Which is not in the chat box. So wait, please stay here. Now I will be answering the question which I have received on my mobile. So I will be answering those students who have been texting me on my personal without showing his name. Okay, that is very important. And uh, that is many of the questions that you may be interested. Okay. Okay, so first question I will be discussing about. Let me share that in the group that we are discussing the private question answers okay those students who have sent me a personal message without mentioning their name i will be answering them okay the first question i received yesterday it was from the yesterday like question uh, can you guide the fourth year student uh, just started the preparation can manage the step one in final year and what schedule pace should I keep it done by September and October those students who are preparing for USMLE you can start from fourth year final year you can start our lecture okay I will be here and discussing about you thank you and next question is that uh, by mashallah you are doing uh, well may Allah bless you one thing I want to know I am a student of second year MBBS what is in your opinion? Of course, explore yourself. Wait for the best time in third year. Just you need to do. Explore yourself. Explore all these pathways. What are the exams in international level? And then, and then very important point is that do only physiology, pathophysiology, and biochemistry from second year. That is very beneficial in USML steps. That's it. Okay. So the next question is, uh i am uh, much confused what to do usmle or plap usmle if you have money usml first priority money you will be billionaire 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 student okay uh sir i want a personal opinion what should i opt for plab or usmle i'm private medical college have three siblings i am the second one and my father is a businessman I has a poultry farm, although there is not good, but it is uh, a loss, so in a massive loss. So I cannot afford like this USMLE. I felt like the way to burdening my parents. Kindly guide me. What should I opt for USMLE? What should I opt for USMLE? Of course, financial problem. 
here i will tell you uh, the basic rule is that if you have 20 lakh i have described this all the financial issues in my group official group if you have 20 up to total journey is 40 45 lakh if you can have okay uh, every six months you can have three lakh like three lakh after two to three months and then three lakh and then three lakh and then sudden 10 lakh mean total 20 to 20 2 lakhs then organization are available international organization if you have good score if you have good dedication if you have a good passion then you can be managed you can be compensated these apna kemkana mk uk there are many other organization you can get the benefit from okay so you can get the benefit from all these organization so you should be knowing about that uh, that is very very important is that clear okay okay next question i will be answering to the student who has sent me the personal text message uh, uh lab lab ki jaldi se jaldi preparation ka uh, ideal time kya hai ideal time wo aapke upar depend karta hai Ideal time is third year से start हो चुका है अभी fourth year में है तो अभी start करो ideal time वो है जब आपने ये मेरी word सुने हैं उसके बाद start कर दिए आज सुनो मेरी बात को कल से start कर दो plan this is your plan peer pressure में नहीं जाना आज सुना है बात start your journey now that is the best time uh, thank you so much dear brother i appreciate your efforts and hard work may Allah almighty give you its reward thank you i really appreciate your kind words uh, for your appreciation i am really really thankful sir do only step one to hold any value in pakistan to make good cv or do step one to importance in middle east if you are not matched in usa and we see people not have a match in USA and then continuing for FCPS part one and also the scope of FCPS if someone wants to stay in Pakistan how to be a good carrier here okay step one to karne ke baad Pakistan mein koi scope nahi hai aapko phir ammo ship milegi medical you will be medical officer after doing step one step two because koi recognition to nahi hai yes there will be private yeah as a hospitals the private and they can prefer you because you have more knowledge okay more skills you can manage more patient you have more so that can be a theoretically preference by the private medical system but step one step two and you now start the career in uh, fcps and whatever I will be recommending change your plan, shift if you are not going to USA, go to PLAB, go to AMC, go to New Zealand, go to Qatar, Kuwait, UAE, any other exams. I have described more than 18, like 13, 14 exams. You can go any pathway, not Pakistan. Sir, please tell me. Sir, please tell me about foreign students who are studying in Russian states, like what should we prefer and what is better MRCP? in uh, or other who are student listening to me for foreign medical graduates it's best time to go and appear for nre as as early as possible get your pmdc registration for pakistan if you are applying other than other than your other than your usa if you want to go usmle you don't need nre remember my words if your university allowing you to have the degree only and you don't need to go house job you don't need to uh, grab the pmdc license for that one and a half year you are preparing for nre i recommend to go for usml because all the structure i am preparing for the from the first state series and like this come start the usml go for usml if you can afford don't waste the time on one and a half year on NRE passing and internship and that and that. Just you need to grab your degree. Okay, just you need to grab your degree. Start the journey where house job is not needed. USMLE does not require your house job. Okay. Okay, next question.
ओके ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम आई हैव बीन रिसीविंग मैनी ऑफ मैसेजेस आई हैव टू स्क्रॉल डाउन व्हेन आई सी वन मैसेज नेक्स्ट पॉप अप मैसेज अपीयर्स सो प्लीज वेट आई विल बी रिप्लाइंग ऑल ऑफ द मैसेजेस प्लीज स्टे हियर ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम अ डॉक्टर लास्ट फोर डिजिट ऑफ दैट नंबर आर 76110 Give guide us about lab journey, please. Uh, like when, <coughs> when to appear, what is procedure, what are important. It is the tenth time I am explaining lab detailed webinar will be available. Date for next days we will be explaining all the details in a separate webinar. Okay. Okay. So next question is. Uh, thank you so much, sir, for your kind. so kindly add these numbers and i really appreciate for your efforts and all the uh, information on this platform and i have been watching your webinar and it is very informative and uh, excellent thank you thank you for your appreciation uh, i really appreciate for all your confidence in us so i will be very very thank you for all of you. thank you and uh, next question is uh, Uh, actually uh, can you please share the zoom live session after you complete this and uh, actually i cannot join no i am attending the funeral of my relative i will consider this about this request please i will request please come on the live the main purpose of live is that we want you to schedule yourself okay what is purpose of live lecture my lecture will be live daily and that will be free and that lecture i can guarantee you can never find in all the youtube in all of the world my unique style but it will be free but only those student who will be live every day from 8 pm to 10 8 pm to 10 then i will be personally contacting to these people i will be guiding one by one you can uh, text me any time i will be telling all your steps i will be sharing my all the hacks i will be sharing everything you must be present live in the lecture those students who will be live in my lecture they will be appreciated they will be benefited they will be getting my links they will be getting some hacks so live purpose is that you must have some schedule if i allow you come any time channel video is available on youtube no one listens no one care to are preparing for lab usmle amc nre and whatever exam mix schedule come daily come in interaction discuss happening that is motivates you environments creates you remember my words next question okay next is uh, and uh, assalamu alaikum please tell us the alternative for the uber i have explained it i will be telling in my group and uh, with fourth year how much time step one i will take uh, step one take now 6 month not more than 6 month if you are going to prepare for 6 month that is fine step 1 only needs 6 months we have a plan from the 1st of the march i will be starting another session or two sessions at this time i am having a free session daily on youtube i have completed cardiology series and endocrine series via the zoom meetings all of my premium students are registered who can access this zoom meeting and all the other students who are uh, wishing we should learn lab we should learn amc we should learn uh, uh, any other saudi licensing exam or usmle so you can join our next brand new series of neurology starting tomorrow from 8 pm to 9:40 or 9:50 free session live session your question answer detailed discussion is available and this will be free and i guarantee you you can never have this lecture in any other site okay and next question and research ke bare mein bata dijiyega 
जैसे हम रिसर्च स्टार्ट कर सकते हैं अपॉर्चुनिटीज कहाँ से रिसर्च की मिल सकती हैं कहाँ से फोर्थ ईयर के स्टेप वन को रिसर्च करने का मौका मिलो रिसर्च 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 दिस इज अर्ल्ड क्या करता है आपको क्या करता है प्रोवोक करता है इरिटेट करता है जब आप सीनियर को देखोगे स्टूडेंट को यार रिसर्च है उसकी मेरी रिसर्च नहीं है मेरी रिसर्च नहीं है मेरी रिसर्च नहीं है रिसर्च इज नॉट एज डिफिकल्ट एज यू थिंक क्यों क्योंकि आप एग्जाम्स में बिजी होते हो यू एस एम एल स्टेप वन स्टेप टू या आप फाइनल ईयर में तो आपको मौका नहीं मिलता स्टेप कर रिसर्च करने का रिसर्च इज नॉट लाइक डिफिकल्ट हम उसको एक्सप्लोर नहीं करते वी आर नॉट एक्सप्लोरिंग द फेज ऑफ रिसर्च Actually, and then we see that we are we are not having the research article published. I am ending my career in MBBS, but still my my there is no research. So it doesn't mean you cannot do. It means you have not been giving the time to research. Starts to Google, starts to search on the YouTube. What are the best research basics knowledge? I preferably recommend to go edX and Coursera. write it down please my uh, these websites edx and coursera edx and coursera edx coursera edx coursera edx coursera whatever other websites they are giving you free research lectures listen it grab the basic knowledge understand it and i will be having a research webinar in our coming days and in because this i cannot take the webinar every day very very difficult but your suggestion is appreciated i will be having a research webinar so that you can understand the basics i will be inviting most of the practical men who have done more than 30s researches and inshallah your suggestion is appreciated and uh, i hope the student who is asking have listened to me thank you okay next is the next is assalamu alaikum answer wa alaikum assalam thank you uh, sir hi uh, uh, hi big body <laughs> uh, the student has sent me hi big body i don't know the word hi big big body i i am really love with the medicine and uh, uh, the techniques you teach and but what i am not a doctor what you inspire me so what should be the reply to that student thank you uh, i i really appreciate i really uh, it's it's inspiring for me these your words and keen uh, like things motivates me so if you are not medical students you will be joining to me i will be telling you the life hacks more positivity okay productivity and it's most important in my life if i can say a word that is very important i don't take tension okay relieve yourself from tensions relation peer pressure if you are relieved from peer pressure half of your almost i can say 80% of your problem are okay no, gone if you are free from peer pressure peer pressure is huge topic i have a plan to make a video on this topic to discuss about how to uh, lessen the peer pressure very important so when you will leave the peer pressure you will be happy write my word if you will leave peer pressure you will be happy forever okay next next from a student uh, assalam alaikum sir hope you are doing great sir how much is total cost of usmle one of my fellow told me it cost 1 crore wow chalo ji ye kaun sa student hai zara mujhe to batao jisne 1 crore bata di aapko yahan pe mujhe comment karke bataye jo student baithe hain online ke kisi ko aisi galat information to nahi di gayi finally i will be seeing dr muqaddas salana dr मेडिकल स्टेफ एंड डॉक्टर हाशिम डॉक्टर खतीजा डॉक्टर तारेक डॉक्टर एमल डॉक्टर जियाओ डॉक्टर खतीजा डॉक्टर अरहम डॉक्टर आर्या डॉक्टर एसन डॉक्टर मैट्यूट ऐसी गलत इंफॉर्मेशन नहीं एक्सेप्ट करनी कोई एक करोड़ नहीं है ठीक है देयर इज टोटल कास्ट ऑफ फोर्टी टू फोर्टी फाइव लैक्स इट कैन वेरी डिपेंडिंग अपॉन इन्फ्लेशन रेट 
आज मैं ये प्राइस फोर्टी फोर्टी फाइव लैक के अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस क्राइटेरिया बता रहा हूँ थर्टी फाइव टू फोर्टी फाइव लैक्स ओके हाँ एक और कंडीशन मैंने आपको एक्सप्लेन किया है प्रीवियस लेक्चर में कि अगर आपका एक साल मैच नहीं होता अगले साल दोबारा अप्लाई करती हो तो पंद्रह से बीस लाख रुपया आप दोबारा आपने लगाना है अब एक साल मैच नहीं होगा अगले साल दोबारा अगर मैच अप्लाई करोगे तो बीस लाख पंद्रह लाख दोबारा लगेगा तो वो एक और सिचुएशन है वैसे देखा जाए तो फोर्टी लाख एन है फोर्टी लाख में से अगर आपके पास बीस बीस समझते हो पच्चीस बीस तक कर सकते हो स्टार्ट द जर्नी जब आपको चालीस सॉरी साठ हजार डॉलर साठ हजार डॉलर मिलेगा ना पहले साल यूएस एम की जर्नी में तो फिर आपके पास मर्सिडीज क्या क्या पता नहीं आप तीन साल बाद आप दुनिया से ही गायब हो जाओगे कि मैं चांद पे इस जगह ले रहा हूँ ठीक है अभी तो रजिस्ट्रेशन हो रही है यूएस के हमारे जो सीनियर्स हैं ना वो चांद के ऊपर भी रजिस्ट्रेशन करवा रहे हैं आप तो कहते हैं हम दुनिया से तो हम वैसे ही हो चुके हैं हर चीज तो हमारे पास है ही ठीक है फिर इस तरह करती हैं डोनेशन दे देती हैं तो बड़े बड़े हॉस्पिटल में यूनिवर्सिटी में अरबों अरबों रुपए की बिलियन बिलियन डॉलर की जो है ना वो डोनेशन दे रहे हैं तो ये कैसे पॉसिबल होता है ओनली ओनली इन यू एस ए यू एस एज यूर फ्यूचर जो यू एस ए में एक दो आप पहुंच जाता है ना अमेरिकन ड्रीम्स का वर्ड अगर किसी ने सुना हो अमेरिकन ड्रीम्स कोई कमेंट करके मुझे बताए कि वट इज अमेरिकन ड्रीम जो ये बताएगा उसका नाम लेके मैं एक वीडियो बनाऊंगा वट इज अमेरिकन हुल स्टूडेंट वर वॉचिंग टू मी दे सेंड मी वट इज अमेरिकन ड्रीम जो पहला आंसर देगा अच्छा आंसर देगा I will be uh, personally mentioning his name and make a beautiful video for him. American dream क्या है इसका मुझे अच्छा आंसर चाहिए थैंक यू तो आप आंसर करें तब तक मैं एक क्वेश्चन देखता हूँ नेक्स्ट ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम द स्टूडेंट सर मुझे आयरलैंड एग्जाम के रिलेटेड इन्फो चाहिए हाउ मच मनी टाइम मेरिट सीन्स आई एम फ्री फॉर फ्रॉम फोर्थ ईयर एग्जाम्स एंड व्हाट अबाउट जर्मनी एनी एग्जाम्स एंड दैट एंड दैट एंड दैट सो यू कैन वॉच आवर ऑल द वीडियो सो यू कैन गो बैक एंड सर्च द जर्मनी पाथवे एंड फॉर द एक्सटेंसिव आयरलैंड आल्सो आई हैव अ बुक वेबिनार विद डॉक्टर अब्दुल्ला एंड अदर so also i have a separate webinar for the lab also i have a separate webinar for mrcp also i have a separate webinar for ireland is that clear also i will be on request all of you send me in my group in official group sir this topic should be explored so i will collect the data i will take a research on that topic and i will be making a video for all of you and posting on my youtube channel so that you should get the benefit is that clear sir i have a question if someone did step 1 and step 2 uske baad amc plab se exempt ho jata hai kya phir aapko amc exam dena hoga acha aapne jo hai na step 1 step 2 kiya ho theek hai to plab mein to koi exemption nahi hai amc mein exemption hai this is from a beautiful student okay it is from dr shah thank you dr shah uh, i hope you have received your answer okay i am not seeing your answer about american dreams i will read all the comments and then i will post uh, the student name in my group that uh, his answer is right one and the first one what is american dream if all the student who are usml oriented here and watching to me you must know the word american dreams and there is a story about this word okay thank you sir uh, assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam okay uh, next uh, question is sir kindly add me to the whatsapp group for further guidance and related to your medical exams overview video of course i will add and remember one thing google form is very important many of the students are not filling the google form because uh, when i will be launching my web portal and all the other activities i will only accept 
those students who will be registered in my Google portal. Because when you fill the Google form, I have make up, I have made up a system that automatically your saved name will be received. When I will see you will be texting to me, your number will be saved automatically because my team is working on this. If you will fill the Google form, it will go on the Google system. Google system automatically uh, save and uh, structure your number. And then our team is carrying to data flow system into my contact in my mobile system. Then I will see the save number of those students who will be registered the Google form. And that Google form filling is very important because when I see this is a saved number, it's mean it is a registered number. So all my status will be shown to only those students who are registered students. All my updates, all my videos, all my free notes, all my other things, web portal access, and premium lecture, previous cardio and endocrine series lecture access, will trial access will also be given only to the registered students. Remember, this is the importance of registered student. If you are not registered, go to the WhatsApp and ask the registration form and register. It is free. No money is needed. No money is needed. Just fill the name and last name, which exam you are preparing for and what are your goals like this so that we have the data and we can save your number so that we can we, we can notify you about our lectures. Sir, Assalamu alaikum, wa alaikum assalam. Sir, mashallah, second year MBBS ka student hoon. Thank you, mashallah. Okay, private medical college. Okay, private medical college hai. But Baba can manage USMLE. Private medical college and Baba can manage. Excellent boy. Okay, Baba can manage it. I want to know four to five saal baad iski cost ka koi ref idea. Okay, five saal ke baad iski cost ka mujhe to nahi idea. Ye inflation pe depend karta hai ki kya cost hoti hai. But I can tell you that USD may almost 10% to 15% rise karega US dollar may not in PGR because US may inflation 8%, 6%, 7% So her sal expenses increase be hoti hai. So 10 to 15% in USL USMLE, yani ke US team may bar sakti hai. Pakistan ki inflation ka mujhe nahi pata, aapko bhi nahi pata. This is the answer of the student. Uh, okay. Sir. Uh, sir, you have completed uh, beautifully uh, all the lectures of the cardiovascular and endocrine series. So I am your pay like member from the first of the day. And uh, thank you so much, sir, for your answer. So can you please share the PDF uh, of your notes? Actually, the answer is that I am very sorry. I cannot share my own book PDF, which I have been collecting data for more than five years. It is my hard work. I have been collecting because my edited first aid is never ever present in the world. It contain this first aid is not a simple first aid. It contain a white pages. In these white pages, I collect summaries, a topic like a topic a bullet points, summaries, diagrams, histology, CT scan, X-ray, and I collect from. All of the most important Q banks and all the others that are necessary important for AMC lab that are important for the MRCP that are important for USMLE specifically for USMLE because I collect all the information for USMLE and that is also helpful for all the other exam because the first exam of the world is USMLE. Remember this: when you do the toughest exam, you can do all the other exams. That is my theory. Okay, next question is that uh, Sir, I want to Sir, can you please send me the PDF of the all countries pathway for IMGs? Sorry, it's PDF will not be available. So you can listen the lecture that will be available. Thank you. But I am available 24 by 7. If you have question, text to me. I will answer to you. Okay. If I don't know about that, I will be apologizing. I will uh, like saying that you will be notified. I will take research on it. If I don't know, I will make Google it, ask the many of my seniors, 
and I will be here and I will be answering to you. So you will get your answer, structured answer, okay, not a general answer. I am here for all the students, for all students who are really wants. So you should know that what is like my style. I like all the students should know about their chatting. If you don't know what should you do, you can text me. I will be answering to you, no problem. So uh, I mean, my question is skipped and now we are mind being discussed, just does not get missed. Uh, I think you should send me the text again. I'm not getting to a point. I have completed the step one and step two registration for the classes. So for this message, which have the last four digits of numbers are uh, 78110. That student should text me again. What is your question? Sir, I watched the session. Thank you so much. Add me in the group. Okay, you will be added after the session. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Wa alaikum assalam, sir. Now, the next question is uh, Sir, thank you so much for the, your session. It is really informative. Uh, can you please uh, tell me uh, lab versus USMLE or Ireland, which pathway is best for me? It is relative lab versus USMLE versus Ireland. This is write it down my this answer. Okay. If you are medical student, undergraduate medical student, go for USMLE if you have money. If you are undergraduate student and lacking the money, prepare yourself for lab. If you are old graduate, have two years of experience working as medical officer or in residence of FCPS, MDMS or any other, then go for Ireland or MRCP. So all the students have uh, their own way, own style, okay? own way, own style. So it's not like this. Okay? There is a specific answer for one student. Okay, there is a relativity. So according to your situation, I have I have already discussed that in UK life is okay, fun is okay. You are independent. You are wise matters. U.S. is same, you are wise matters, you are independent, no issues, there is democracy. But in Qatar, Kuwait, UAE, there are restrictions, regulation, fine. You are like, like culture is like, you will not feel the internal impulse of pleasure. When you will work in the Gulf countries, uh, you will feel that there is something lacking in, in this environment. Something is lacking in environment of Gulf countries. I, I am not saying that Gulf countries are not. For the money point of view, Gulf countries are best. You should go in Gulf countries. But regarding your security, regarding your own internal impulse, regarding your own independency, regarding your where the democracy, regarding your uh, like uh, internal like instincts, instincts for all these things, uh, Western culture is better. Okay, of course they are non-Muslims, but they value your thoughts. They value you. They honor you. They appreciate you if you are doing right. Okay, so this type of culture of toxicity and uh, burden is more in Gulf side, but. Also, this burden is happening up here. Burden is also in Australia. Burden is also in USA. Even highest burden is available. Okay, if UK and USA, Australia have less burden. Australia has 40 hours per week. Australia has 40 hours per week, but other has UK and USA has less, more severe job. But they appreciate the people in USA. They appreciate you to get more happy, more player, your epinephrine, not epinephrine ups. Your job upka epinephrine, not epinephrine, dopamine high yota, kush yoti ho, up or kam kati ho, up appreciation se or gacha kam kati or appreciation milti ya, to pir up loop me chale jati ho, acha positive feedback milta. So this system applies to you. Aja gar up soch reoke man exam dena to achebanduke saat beto or exams ko 
तैयार कर ओके अच्छे पॉजिटिव वाइब्स बनाओ इन शो गोइंग टू द नेक्स्ट सेशन सो अस्सलाम वालेकुम सर वालेकुम अस्सलाम सर ये बुक के ऑनलाइन लेक्चर होंगे यस ऑफ कोर्स दिस इज फॉर द स्टूडेंट हु हैज द एंड नंबर फाइव टू टू सर ये बुक के ऑनलाइन लेक्चर होंगे यस होंगे ये बुक के अवेलेबल हार्ड कॉपी हार्ड कॉपी नहीं है आई हैव एक्सप्लेन इट ऑलरेडी एज यू मैंशन फ्राम एट टू नाइन थर्टी सो कानली गाइड अबाउट बुक मोर यू शुड बाई यूर यू एस एम एल ई फर्स्ट एड बुक यू एस एम एल ई फर्स्ट एड बुक यू एस एम एल ई फर्स्ट एड बुक इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्रिपेयर फॉर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्रिपेयर फॉर विद मी डेली फ्री सेशन इंट्रैक्टिव वेरी 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 इंफॉर्मेटिव एंड हाई जील टॉपिक्स गो टू ग्रैब यूर यू एस एम एल ई फर्स्ट एड टू डे एंड यू विल बी प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर यू एस एम एल ई this uh, same lecture not only i read from the basics i cover usml step 1 100% i cover usml step 2 70% i cover australian medical exam i cover plab 1 i cover saudi medical licensing i cover uae part 1 clinical so all the students who are really want to go any of the international exam this is best lecture for them this is start lecture we only discuss the lecture from start to end i discuss all the topics in detail big picture diagram all my data is available i teach from my pointers and highlight all the things this is very interesting you can join free and uh, as uh, i watch your youtube channel is quite beneficial and uh, surely uh, follow it punctuality thanks sir for your efforts so the last digit number 522 message to that person is that i will be punctual but i will be needing you in my comment section daily from 8 to 10 pm okay i will be punctual but every day i will be mentioning to you and you must be present in my youtube videos if i am putting my daily hard work for all of you people and you will see my lecture will be very very beneficial and i will be requesting all of you for daily attendance daily punctuality because i don't need that type of student who will listen one lecture and coming after 10 days no if you make a plan i will send you a plan and you will follow that because thinking and making is different thing when you are thinking okay ya yaar kar lunga yaar main khair hai kar lenge yaar youtube pe lecture padhe hain koi masla nahi khair hai main youtube pe lecture dalne hi nahi hai मेरा तो लाइव लेक्चर खत्म होते ही वीडियो डिलीट हो जाएगी वीडियो तो मिलेगी नहीं आपको वीडियो ऑफ लाइव विल नॉट बी अवेलेबल टू स्टूडेंट्स मेक दिस पॉइंट तो वो स्टूडेंट जो सुन रहे हैं मेरी बात वीडियो अवेलेबल नहीं होगी लाइव सेशन के बाद इस वीडियो का मैं सोचता हूं कि मैं अवेलेबल कर दूँ शायद अगली मेरी जो एजुकेशनल वीडियोज होंगी वो लाइव सेशन फ्री होगा आपका हर रोज डेली आए मेरे से जो क्वेश्चन पूछे पहले हम पूरा हम पढ़ेंगे टॉपिक को एक घंटा दस मिनट बीस मिनट पंद्रह मिनट क्वेश्चन आंसर सेशन होगा आपको ठीक है आप जो मर्जी सवाल पूछें आप उसको बैक करें बार बार सुने लेक्चर को आपको फ्री है बट आप ये कहेंगे कि हम आए ना हमें ऐसे मिल जाए दैट विल नॉट बी पॉसिबल आपका प्लान बनेगा आपका डेली स्केजल बनेगा कि आज ये टॉपिक आपने करने हैं इससे आपका माइंड होगा कि मैंने हर रोज ये 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 करना है ये एक्सेप्शनल है उन केसेस के लिए जिनके एग्जाम चल रहे हैं फाइनल ईयर स्टूडेंट्स पाकिस्तान के फाइनल ईयर स्टूडेंट्स का एक्सेप्शनल है बिकॉज दे आर बिजी इन एग्जाम्स किसी की कोई एक्सेप्शनल नहीं सर प्लेब की आइडियल प्रिपरेशन की स्कीम बता दें आई हैव ज्वाइंड द सैमसन अकेडमी एंड हैव एग्जाम इन जुलाई इट इज अ कास्टली एग्जाम आई कैन नॉट एफोर्ड टू फेल ओके सो फॉर दैट डॉक्टर आई विल बी Uh, telling again we will be have a detailed webinar and lab uh, mr abdullah i will be waiting for you to join our lab session inshallah i will invite of our resident in uk that will be discussing detailed of your lab thank you so much uh, next question is kindly please tell about qatar pathway again so student is asking about tell me in which countries can i apply 
residency on the basis of step so the first my answer is uh tell me again for the qatar qatar has a pathway uh, first pathway is that if you have done usmle step one step two oet you can apply for qatar residency in hamad medical complex and then you need arabic proficiency because internal medicine and all some of the few other programs of that residency require arabic proficiency so you can get arabic proficiency to make your cv impactful okay and a next question what are the other the other pathway for the qatar is let me tell you the device revise the qatar pathway uh, this is Qatar pathway. The next pathway is pathway two, which is post house job five year experience. If you are a student of FCPS and completed FCPS and you have a post house job total five year, any four year of FCPS and one year post FCPS total will be five year experience after house job. So it means you are eligible to go in Qatar okay is that clear so you can give the exam or test system which is called mophdhp this is very easy exam super important and super easy exam doctor nurses dentist all can go it is a computer based 150 mcqs and taking uh, in, in the 3.5 hours okay it will be 3.5 hours so it will be easy for you if you want to join it thank you so my next, uh, sir, my question skipped in the comment section about scholarship or loan program for Pakistani student to support them in PLAB or USML. Very important question. Okay, so there are many companies, many organization in, in the USA, USA and UK. There is APNA Association, there is uh, Chemkana specifically for Chemcolians, KE graduates, there is a uh, also association for Nishtarians. There is also association for Alamai Paul. There is also association for, there is APNA is international. APNA is accepting all, all, all Pakistani graduates, APNA. Next, there are other private organization. Okay, there have, they have a criteria case. If you have 260 plus marks in step two, 260 plus in step two, they will sponsor all your USMLE journey. And after that, you have to compensate them when you will get residency so these type of organizations are available we will be sharing in our whatsapp group premium whatsapp group so kindly fill google form and then we will add you we will be notified we uh, in the whatsapp group we will be having a question answer session i will be sharing my medical mcqs here very important mcqs in our next i will be uploading my question answer series also so it is very available subscribe my channel to get all the updates and all the news that is free so uh, uh, last digit 8110 8110 of whatsapp number you got my answer if you need any specific answer you can text me at any time so i hope you understand the organization the more detail of these organizations supporting your lab or usmle journey i will be sharing the detail with a website link also so you can check beforehand remember uh, oh, there is one organization that is only specifically accepting 260 plus student they will even bear all of your expenses and they will make a contract with you you have when you get residency after the residency uh, completed you have to uh, do the job of two year in periphery in uh, america okay in america uh, is a village area and urban area so in village area you have to go and uh, work at one year or two year it depend upon that organization who is supporting you these are organization available if you get if you support yourself till the step two and in step two you get the uh, more score greater than 260 plus in step two then you can be like uh, having a chances that uh, these organization can support you but make sure you get to 60 plus number to have the more chance it's not uh, okay. it's 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 not like this it must be always to 60 65 plus 
but i am recommending for the external effort or like external loan or grant that is usually given to high and debt student because of the more and the more student doing for usmle so it is very difficult so always i will be preferring step 2 must be to 60 plus if you getting if you are getting the loan okay you are getting the grant if you can afford nothing is important score does not matter most okay when you are applying on your own money okay so next next question is that okay so next question is that sir uh, can you please tell me uh, what is the difference between the australian medical council exam and the plab one exam i am really worried uh, about uh, my career i am confused i can afford uh, up to 15 lakh so which will be the best for me so 15 lakh is affording avail ability for the student it's mean 15 lakh is uh, enough amount to go for lab okay to go for lab is best option if you can manage the 15 lakh and you are undergraduate or freshly graduate student if you are undergraduate and freshly graduate student go for lab also you can go for amc but the chance is that you will not get your desired desired rotation you will not have your desired rotation remember okay and uh, now the next question okay sir uh, which one you will prefer uh, if i have the resources uh, i should uh, I, I should need to go uh, in independent countries so our uh, number one america number two united kingdom number three europe so if you can afford if you can afford and you need independent culture go with usmle if you can afford this is the best you need only consistency dedication and passion and the guidance step by step exact guidance high yield guidance we are providing to you it's mean we are providing your environment and culture okay but we are the catalyst be the be the substrate and product will be high level we are the catalyst be a product will be a substrate okay so you you are the substrate okay having all the qualities of substrate money and everything then i am the catalyst then the product will be inshallah very very beneficial and fruitful is that clear okay so the next question is that sir you have uh, discussed uh, about the uh, qatar residency and other gulf countries so which which one of them is the best one uh, for the students who are doing the house job so uh, for those students who are doing the house job uh, which if, if they are opting only gulf countries so my preference uh, will be to go for uh, because there is kuwait qatar uae Bahrain. Uh, so i will recommending uae okay uae is the best one uh, if you are starting it is difficult to enter but easy and having a more pay and uae is growing day by day no doubt qatar is uh, also a best option but qatar has a uh, slightly difficult and uh, but residency in Qatar is best. You are a house officer. Do not know how to do and only specifically you want to go in these Gulf countries and your goal is money, go for UAE. But if your goal is residency, you, you think that there must be a residency. There must be a residency. I also want to opt pediatric internal medicine, dermatology or whatever. 
so i will be recommending to go for qatar because qatar residency is famous and very very important and interesting and high ended like the us society okay so qatar residency is very valuable you can go and enjoy because you are enjoying residency as well because they have a uh, modern technology and all the things are available okay so next question okay question is that uh, salam bhai okay i want to ask if someone have two attempts in usmle step 1 can we match in us very important very important question like someone have failed the attempt two attempts in usmle step 1 can he or she match in us like you do everyone who has match with two attempts in step 1 any you do you know any person uh or suggest anything who have two attempts in step 1 this student is very very like curious about this question he just called me two time i was very busy during the lecture i really apologize i was not able to pick up your call uh, for that student i really apologize i was very busy in the uh, in the session but i will be responding to you if you have any issue tell me personally i will be replying so your question answer is that uh, i am really sorry if this happened to anybody i don't know you are asking for yourself or whatever the other friend but whatever this happened that he or she failed the step 1 usml step 1 in two time it is very like distressing okay it's not the positive signal it's not the good signal uh, i will be recommending to leave the usml journey start another journey he or she will be having a good knowledge start lab journey by land journey amc journey <coughs> skip the us journey okay <clears throat> or you can if if still you have a dreams for your uh, like uh, us mle and you have a dedicated like background history and you have a still very passionate activity uh, can just yes, i can do it just yes, i can do it then attempt third time you can attempt the usmle but with a full preparation and join our free de uh, daily class our daily class is not like only random class it's like a motivation lecture resources notes questions answer all the things in one place i will be uploading for the uh, videos like this peer pressure in medical students how to tackle it i will be describing the question and answer exactly question and answer that will you will see that are very important question when when you will watch my videos when you will come back from exam you will be praying for me dr kamran kamran thank you so much okay i i it was very helpful for all your videos so i will be providing all of the content videos and that i am the catalyst and you are the substrate remember this word and product will be high but i want all the characteristic of substrate okay so in you i want all characteristics whichever the exam is i will be available for your successful career but i need you to daily to come to me if you will not come to me i will forget you ओके okay. कहते हैं ना कि किसी से कोई चीज गेन करनी हो तो उसको डेली की डोज देनी पड़ती है तो ऑनलाइन डेली लेक्चर रखने का मकसद ही सिर्फ वो है कि स्टूडेंट जिनको शौक होगा कि डेली लेक्चर लेना है पैशनेट हो गए क्वेश्चन आंसर करने के लिए नॉट लाइक दिस इस तरह तो नहीं होगा हमारा तो डेली सिर्फ एजुकेशनल लेक्चर होगा तो वो उन स्टूडेंट्स के लिए मैं पर्सनली एफर्ट करूंगा मैं उनको पर्सनली उनको मैसेज पर रिप्लाई करूंगा मैं उनके लिए रिसोर्सेज शेयर करूंगा मैं उनके लिए स्पेसिफिकली नाम लेके वीडियो भी बनाऊंगा कि ये स्टूडेंट ने रिकमेंड की है बट आई नीड यू कि मेरे आठ बजते आपके यूट्यूब के ऊपर आप पहले आए हुए कि भाई ये मैंने लेक्चर जाके सुनना आपको मजा आएगा हम इंजॉय भी करेंगे फन भी करेंगे क्वेश्चन आंसर भी करेंगे आपको रिसोर्सेज भी बताएंगे आपको फ्री रिसोर्सेज देंगे पैसे भी नहीं लेता मैं 
सिर्फ दुआएं चाहिए मेरी अम्मी के लिए दुआ कर दिया करें प्रे प्रे फॉर माई मदर माई मदर नेम इज शमीम एक्चुअली दिस इज शमीम इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मेडिकल साइंस सिम्स एंड शमीम इज माई लेट मदर शी हैज डाइड इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टी ड्यू टू अ बाई पास सर्जरी सो आई आई लाइक वॉन्ट टू इनकलकेट द फैक्टर ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटी एज वेल एज ऐसा नहीं है कि ह्यूमैनिटी के लिए सिर्फ चल पड़ो जेब में पैसा भी डालो बट उतना डालो कि जितना कि आप सह सकते हो do something great allah taala se dua kiya karo daily aap achhai ke kaam bhi kiya karo get yourself motivated acche positive bandhon ke sath baitho culture develop karo jab aap culture develop karenge positive bandhon ke sath baithenge to aap positive thinking thinking karenge and the super important point i want want to highlight for all the students jo abhi start of the career mein hain aap apne doston ko chhod do तो यू एस एम एल ई के हैं ही नहीं अगर यू एस एम एल ई करना चाहते हो नॉन यू एस एम एल ई वालों की कंपनी से दूर हो के यू एस एम एल ई वाली कंपनी ज्वाइन करो नहीं है ऑनलाइन क्रिएट करो हमारे ग्रुप में आओ हमारे ग्रुप में क्या फायदा होगा भी? तो भी यही फायदा होगा ना तो आपको डेली स्टूडेंट ही वही मिलेंगे जो यू एस एम एल ई प्लैब ए एम सी फला फला एग्जाम के लिए होंगे तो डेली इंटरेक्ट करोगे क्वेश्चन करोगे आपको नोट्स मिलेंगे आप एम सी क्यूज हल करोगे दिस इज अ कल्चर यही तो आपको इन्वायरमेंट क्रिएट करेगा एक बंदा एक बंदा जो डी जी खान के एक मेडिकल स्टूडेंट है कॉलेज का है और एक बंदा डाओ का है कराची का या आगा खान या के का है उसके सराउंडिंग के अंदर पचहत्तर स्टूडेंट यू एस एम एल ई के एक टाइम पे घूम रहे होते हैं जो के ई का आगा खान का होता है जो डी जी खान का होगा उसके सराउंडिंग में कोई भी नहीं होगा तो क्या वो एक स्टूडेंट पढ़ पाएगा मैं उसको ब्लेम नहीं कर रहा आई एम ब्लेमिंग इन्वायरमेंट कि इन्वायरमेंट आपको क्रिएट करता है सो so, इसलिए अपने सराउंडिंग में सबसे पहले पहले इन्वायरमेंट क्रिएट करो अम्मी को बता दो कि अम्मी जी आज मेरा यू एस एम एल ई का कैरियर स्टार्ट हो गया मैं अब उठता बैठता यू एस एम एल ई का इन्वायरमेंट क्रिएट करूंगा खुद से आज मेरा ये ग्रुप है इसमें आंसर क्वेश्चन हुआ करेंगे ताकि मैं डेली जब मैसेज देखूं व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप खोलूं मुझे पॉप अप मैसेज हो जाए कि व्हाट इज द बेस्ट आंसर मुझे क्वेश्चन की क्यूरियसिटी पैदा हो जाए मुझे जब क्वेश्चन आंसर करूंगा इंटरेस्ट पैदा होगा फिर मैं रिस्पांस देखूंगा स्टूडेंट्स के कि लोग तो कर रहे हैं तो दिस इज पॉजिटिव पेयर प्रेशर पॉजिटिव फीडबैक इसको कहते हैं फिर आपका दिल करेगा आप ही पढ़ोगे तो दिस विल कीप यू मोटिवेटिंग तो दिस मोटिवेशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मैं ये समझता हूँ किसी भी स्टूडेंट की लाइफ में अगर एक एम का स्टूडेंट है कोई शौक नहीं होता एम के स्टूडेंट को पढ़ने का 80 परसेंट ऑफ स्टूडेंट जो एग्जाम पास करते हैं जो सुबह उठ के जाते हैं वो सिर्फ दो ही काम की वजह से जाते हैं या तो वो इस वजह से जाते हैं कि भाई हमारी अटेंडेंस नहीं लगेगी तो हम डिबार हो जाएंगे या तो वो इस वजह से जाते हैं कि यार दोस्त सारे कर ही रहे हैं तो मैं भी कर लूँ इन दो के अलावा मुझे तीसरी कोई बता दे वेरी रेयर होगा अगर किसी को बहुत पैशन होगा अदरवाइज इन दो ही कंडीशन है जो मेडिकल के स्टूडेंट को ड्राइव करती है कि या तो उसने अटेंडेंस लगवाने जाना है उसके ताकि डिबार ना हो सके या फिर क्योंकि उसके दोस्त भी जा रहे हैं उसका भी दिल कर गया यार वो भी जा रहा है तो मैं भी मैं देखता हूँ कि एक क्लास में एक रूम में सात स्टूडेंट सोए हुए हूँ डेली उनमें से एक दो जाते हों पांच ना जाते हों आठवें दिन वो दो भी नहीं जाएंगे कि यार हम भी सो जाते हैं हम क्यों जाएं तो दे दैट इज द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ इन्वायरमेंट कि इन्वायरमेंट आपको कैसे बनाता है इन्वायरमेंट आपको बनाता है संवारता है आपको ग्रो करता है आपकी थिंकिंग डिवेल्प करता है आपकी ग्रूमिंग करता है आपको प्रैक्टिकलिटी सिखाता है डिवेल्प यूर इन्वायरमेंट तो आज मेरे से ये एक लेसन सीख के जाओ कि आज के दिन से हमारा कैरियर स्टार्ट होगा एक आंखें बंद करके अच्छा सा एक सांस लो बैठो घर वालों से डिस्कस करो सारे एक्सपेंडिचर का प्लान बनाओ कौन सा एग्जाम करना है फिर उसके लिए हमारे साथ अटैच हो जाओ फ्री लेक्चर गेन करो और ये फ्री लेक्चर का मतलब वो वाले फ्री नहीं है कि यार ये तो फ्री हैं इसकी कोई इम्पोर्टेंस I can challenge you इस तरह के लेक्चर पूरी दुनिया में आपको कहीं नहीं मिलेंगे इस तरह के हाई ग्रेड एग्जाम ओरिएंटेड क्वेश्चन आंसर ओरिएंटेड और मुझे सिर्फ दुआएं चाहिए आपकी और आपकी सपोर्ट चाहिए 
आई विल बी दैटलिस्ट फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू पीपल और मुझे सब स्टेट की करेक्टरिस्टिक्स जिसमें ज्यादा नजर आएंगी वो सब स्टेट मैं अलहदा कर लूंगा और फिर मैं उन सब स्टेट में उसके करेक्टरिस्टिक्स की जो मुझे जरूरत है अगर एक दो नहीं भी होंगे तो मैं कैटलिस्ट की मकदार बना दूंगा दिस इज माई रूल तो रूल मेरा आपने याद रखना है कि मुझे वो सब स्टेट चाहिए जिनके पास करेक्टरिस्टिक्स हों अगर वो सब स्टेट डेली आ रहे हैं कंसिस्टेंटली आ रहे हैं और फिर उसके बाद अगर एक दो कमी रह भी जाती है सब स्टेट उसकी करेक्टरिस्टिक्स में तो मैं अपनी कैटलिस्ट मकदार बढ़ा सकता हूं उस सब स्टेट के लिए तो रिमेंबर माई वर्ड्स आई थिंक आपको मेरी पूरी लॉजिक समझ आ रही है ठीक है तो आई होप लास्ट डिजिट्स जो नंबर है एट टू सिक्स उसको मेरा आंसर पहुंच चुका है कि मोटिवेशन कैसे गेन करनी है दिस वॉज द क्वेश्चन ओके सो नेक्स्ट इज हाउ टू प्रिपेयर फॉर एम आर सी पी पार्ट वन एनी गाइडेंस आर लेक्चर विल बी हेल्पफुल आई विल बी टीचिंग एम आर सी पी माई फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ इंसुलिन स्ट्रेस टेस्ट पिचूटरी एडीनोमा हैज बीन अपलोडेड ऑन द यूट्यूब चैनल इफ यू इफ यू नीड मोर ऑफ दीज एम आर सी पी टेक्सट मी आई विल बी सेंडिंग यू द डिटेल्स every week i will be uploading two or uh, three videos from my premium lectures premium lecture mean that lecture i i myself record it and save it in my gallery uh, i save it in my gallery okay and i will be uploading step by step on youtube but daily free class is live on youtube is free of cost no money nothing you are free consultation you can text me any time priority will be given to registered student may i have been receiving many messages i am replying first all students i have i am showing uh, like the save number i am reply answering those automatically they are showing up save number so of course they are registered students i will be preferring to that thank you so much mrcp part 1 preparation plan so the doctor is asking mrcp part 1 plan first of all i discuss detail i discuss detail grab the motivation this is my steps for all the students all the students who are listening to me this is for all the students first of all number one step to start any of exam preparation any of this any of this first of all make a plan plan mean discuss with family think about resources can i manage it what is total duration will be consistent student or not if you have made the plan you have discuss with your spouse with your family with your auntie ammi abbu whatever now at this time when you will have decided to, so you have already decided i will go for mrcp i will go for usml i will go for clap amc nre and whatever exam then your step 2 will be started and step 2 is uh find the environment find that environment super high yield important point many of the many of the teachers don't tell this point but i can thank you why the dow medical college why the aga khan medical college why the king edward has highest resident in usc can anybody tell me can anybody tell this answer of this question so i am requesting anybody answer this how why dow medical college why aga khan why why there is king edward medical university that has more 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 graduates in usa in the recent in the recent year highest number from king edward medical university 78 students in match in one year the reason is that there is environment my answer is environment usml oriented environment so second point to your journey is surround yourself with environment that environment will be physical environment or virtual environment physical environment may be your your university reading room physical environment may be your university uh, like hostel reading room your 
environment will be any room where your friends are going and discussing and having having a question answer sessions that can be the medium or your environment and the best of the environment is virtual well to have the more opportunity to te learn uh, more opportunity to ask the questions more wide opportunity so virtual platform is available sims mat prep so you second point is you surround yourself with usmle aspirants lab aspirants amc aspirants nre aspirants dubai exams aspirant and whatever the exams you are doing and after that when you are doing this second step create environment so your third part is starting first part i have discussed make a decision discussion with family and everything you made a plan then you made a plan for any exam then you started the finding the environment you have completed environment you have find sims mat prep you have five other others uh, like online platform and you have also started to go reading room very important very difficult you cannot break the daily routine i have been seeing many of undergraduate students they cannot break this routine aao yaar aaj khana khane chalte hain bahar zara chalo yaar chalte hain aaj yaar game khelenge aaj game khelenge aaj yaar aaj kya padhna tu kya padh raha hai roommate leke chala jayega yaar chal yaar kya padhna hai yaar chhad de tu ab ab to yaar ab dost ko aise karayega yaar chal ab tar khelne chalte hain game karne chalte hain कोई अंडर ग्रेजुएशन में आपका जो कीमती टाइम है दिस इज वेरी वैल्यूएबल अगर मैं आपको कहूं आपके एक मिनट की कीमत उस वक्त अंडर ग्रेजुएशन के लेवल के ऊपर ना वो मोर देन फिफ्टी थाउजेंड का एक मिनट है आपका अगर मैं कहूं कि आप एक घंटा एक लाख है आपका अंडर ग्रेजुएट स्टूडेंट्स में लिटली इट्स फ्रॉम माई एक्सपीरियंसिस इट इज नॉट आ जस्ट मैं ऐसे आपको मैं कोई मोटिवेशनल स्पीकर नहीं हूँ मैं आपको रियलिटीज बता रहा हूँ यूअर टाइम इन अंडर ग्रेजुएट इज मोर 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 वैल्यूएबल अब इसकी क्या लॉजिक है आपने खुद ही मुझे आंसर करना है इसको वो ये है कि आप मुझे बता दें मैं आप पे छोड़ता हूँ नंबर ऑफ सक्सेसफुल यूएस के या जो यूके के रेजिडेंट हैं जो पाकिस्तान से जाते हैं उनमें से कितने फ्रेश होते हैं और कितने ओल्ड ग्रेजुएट होते हैं आप मुझे कमेंट कर सकता है जो यूएस के अंदर रेजिडेंट गए हैं या यूके गए हैं ऑस्ट्रेलिया गए हैं उनमें अंदर फ्रेश कितने हैं फ्रेश कितने हैं और ओल्ड ग्रेजुएट्स कितने हैं फ्रेश ग्रेजुएट सबसे ज्यादा हैं। ओल्ड ग्रेजुएट बहुत कम है इसकी रीजन ये हुआ इसका मतलब ये हुआ इस इस पॉइंट का मकसद समझाने का ये हुआ कि आपका जो अंडर ग्रेजुएशन लेवल होता है उस वक्त आपका माइंड फ्रेश होता है आपकी एनर्जी पीक हो, पीक पे होती है आपकी मोटिवेशन पीक पे होती है आपका पॉजिटिव पेयर प्रेशर फीडबैक चल रहा होता है मैं इसको एक्सप्लेन करूंगा पॉजिटिव पेयर प्रेशर फीडबैक क्या होता है एक लहदा वीडियो बनाऊंगा मैं इसके ऊपर ये बोल लंबा हो जाएगा पॉजिटिव पेयर प्रेशर का जो फीडबैक होता है अंडर ग्रेजुएट स्टूडेंट का वो उसको ड्राइव करता है वो उसको डेली जगाता है चल पुत उठ तो स्टूडेंट भी जा रहे हैं सारे तूने भी जाना है वो उसको लगता नहीं है वो फॉलो कर रहा होता है स्ट्रीम को बट एवेंचुअली एट द एंड उसको पता भी नहीं चलता पांच साल गुजर जाती हैं सारे स्टेजेस सब स्टेजेस टेस्ट वगैरह पास हो चुके होती हैं ग्रेजुएट हो चुका होता है सर पे सरमनी वाला वो जो रखा होता है गाउन शाउन पहन के और खुश हो रहा होता है अम्मी अबू के साथ तस्वीर लगा के और बहुत मजे की वो पिक्चर आती है जब अम्मी अबू के साथ बनानी होती है ग्रेजुएशन की तो दैट इज एसिड मैं कहता हूँ वो पिक्चर का स्वाद ही हो है सारी जिंदगी की मेहनत और जब आप ग्रेजुएट होते हो और अम्मी अबू के साथ वो गाउन पहन के एक तस्वीर बनवाती हो मैं कहता हूँ उसकी क्या वैल्यू है तो उस टाइम तक आपको लगता है कभी आंखें बंद करके सोचो अगर अंडर ग्रेजुएट अभी हो तो सोचो कि क्या ड्राइव कर रही है आपको डेली रूटीन में क्या चीज ऐसी है जो आपको ड्राइव कर रही है डेली वो यही है पॉजिटिव पेयर प्रेशर है 80 परसेंट ऑफ स्टूडेंट में यही है तो वाई नॉट किस पॉजिटिव पेयर प्रेशर को तो मुझसे फायदा गेन करो एक दिन मसला होगा दूसरे दिन तीसरे दिन चौथे दिन को कहोगे यार अहमद मैं नहीं जा रहा यार आज तेरे साथ मैं बैठ के रूम में पढ़ना है मैंने बैठ के रूम में पढ़ना है ठीक है मैं नहीं जा रहा बाहर 
एक दफा तोड़ो रूटीन को दो दफा तोड़ो तीन दफा रूटीन बनाओ जब डेली आप मेरे पास आओगे मेरा मकसद क्यों है ये ऑनलाइन लेक्चर देने का आपको डेली कि ताकि आपकी रूटीन टूटे आप मेरे को इंटरेक्ट करोगे मेरे सबस्टेट बनोगे तो मैं कैटलिस्ट की मकदार बनाऊंगा ना आपको सक्सेस प्रोडक्ट आपको कैसे मिलेगा प्रोडक्ट आपको तब लेगा ना सक्सेस तो तब मिलेगी ना जब सबस्टेट की सारी करेक्टरिस्टिक्स अच्छी हों तो जब वो एक दिन आएगा दस दिन जो है ना वो स्टूडेंट के साथ खेलेगा तो ये नहीं चाहिए तो इसलिए पहला स्टेप हमने किया दूसरा हमने इन्वायरमेंट बनाया तीसरा है कि आपने अपने डेली रूटीन स्केजल बनाना है इन्वायरमेंट बना लिया आपने डिसाइड भी हो गया घर वालों को भी बता दिया इन्वायरमेंट तो है आप इन्वायरमेंट अकेला थोड़ी ना कुछ करेगा अब तीसरा स्टेप स्टार्ट होता है कि स्टूडेंट ने क्या करना है स्टूडेंट क्या करेगा अपना स्केजल बनाएगा डेली के मैंने कौन सा कैसे लेक्चर पढ़ना है कैसे लेक्चर लेना है ये डॉक्टर कामरान ने ये लेक्चर दिया है तो मैं फर्स्ट एड बुक खोल के पढ़ू मैं ये करूँ मैं फला करूँ मेरा ये प्लान है मेरा प्लान अगले तीन मंथ का ये है मैंने मैंने जो है ना पांचवें महीने मैंने एन देना है छठे महीने मैंने जो है ना अपना एग्जाम दे के फारिग हो जाना है और मेरा एग्जैक्ट सिक्स मंथ का प्लान है मैं यू एस एम डन हंड्रेड परसेंट सिक्स मंथ हो जाएगी आपकी यू एस इस तरह का प्लान बनाओ और उसको एग्जीक्यूट करो तीसरा आपकी एफर्ट है आपका प्लान है फोर्थ पॉइंट है कोलेबोरेशन एंड एग्जीक्यूशन कोलेबोरेशन एंड एग्जीक्यूशन कि आपने पहले तीन स्टेप किए फोर्थ प्लान में आए हमारे साथ यानी कि इन्वायरमेंट के साथ आपने कोलेबोरेट किया कि आप मेरे पास आओगे कहोगे डॉक्टर कामरान मेरा ये गोल है तो ये मैं चाहता हूँ आप मेरी इस तरह हेल्प करो मैं देखूंगा अच्छा यार सब स्ट्रेट तो आ गया तो फिर क्या करेगा इंजाइम क्या करेगा उसके साथ बाइन करेगा देखेगा अभी हाँ अभी कोई सारी करेक्टरिस्टिक हैं इस सब स्ट्रेट के अंदर बड़ा अच्छा लग रहा है सब स्ट्रेट ना मतलब मेहनती है डेली आ रहा है कंसिस्टेंट है छुट्टियां नहीं करता इंटरेक्ट भी कर रहा है पॉजिटिव थिंकिंग भी है बेशक कोई बात नहीं बेशक कोई बात नहीं चाहे वो ढीला है तो कोई बात नहीं ढीले शीले की या सपली वाला हो चाहे वो डिस्टिंगशन वाला हो मेरे लिए सारे स्टूडेंट है डजेंट मैटर मैटर करता है आपकी कंसिस्टेंसी मैटर करता है आप कितना कंप्लाइंट हैं अपने साथ और इन्वायरमेंट को कितना अच्छा यूज करते हैं तो ये हमारी एक पॉइंट है फोर फोर्थ पॉइंट में हमने क्या किया हमने क्या किया कि फोर्थ पॉइंट में जो सबस्ट्रेट है मतलब आप लोग उन्होंने इन्वायरमेंट के अंदर घुस के इन्वायरमेंट में क्या किया इंजाइम को बताया कि भाई आप स्टार्ट करो प्रोसेस हम आ गए हैं तो जब आप इंजाइम को एक्टिवेट कर दोगे तो वो इंजाइम आपका रिएक्शन प्रोसेस स्टार्ट करेगा जब वो रिएक्शन प्रोसेस स्टार्ट करेगा तो आपका प्रोडक्ट बनना स्टार्ट हो जाएगा और वो प्रोडक्ट आपको इनशाला मिल जाएगा सिक्स मंथ बाद फाइव मंथ बाद विच डिपेंडिंग अपॉन के आप कौन सा एग्जाम दें इज दैट क्लियर ओके सो आई थिंक दिस क्वेश्चन फॉज मोर लाइकली टू बी द मोटिवेशनल मैं चाहता हूँ कि मैं थोड़ा सा वो स्टूडेंट्स को बताऊँ क्योंकि ऐसे स्टूडेंट मैसेज कर रहे हैं जो अंडर ग्रेजुएशन लेवल पे भी हैं उनको नहीं पता कैसे पढ़ना है कैसे इन्वायरमेंट बनाना है तो ये थोड़े से जो लास्ट मेरे टेन फिफ्टीन मिनट्स थे ये उसके लिए उन स्टूडेंट्स के लिए था कि उनको पता हो कि हमने अपना कैसे पढ़ना है अब हम क्वेश्चन को थोड़ा कंटिन्यू करेंगे जस्ट इन टेन मिनट्स देन वी विल एंड द सेशन हमारे क्वेश्चन अभी हैं सो प्लीज स्टे हेयर एंड आप अपनी क्वेश्चन मुझे व्हाट्सएप करें मुझे क्वेश्चन जो भी है आपके सारे मसले में हल करूंगा आपका प्लान बनाऊंगा आपकी चीजें हैं वो डिस्कस करूंगा आप नहीं मेंशन करना चाहते नेम मुझे पर्सनल टैक्स कर दें मैं आपको वहाँ रिप्लाई कर दूंगा बट मैं सबको वन बाय वन मैसेज करके नहीं कर सकता आई हैव बिन रिसीविंग मोर देन एटी एंड अभी तो बहुत हैं मैं सारे नहीं हो पाएंगे बाकी मैं ग्रुप में करूँगा लेकिन मैं आपको एक ही तरफ एक ही जगह पे किया करूंगा रिप्लाई ठीक है तो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हम डिस्कस करते हैं जी अस्सलाम वालेकुम वालेकुम अस्सलाम आई एम डॉक्टर दिस दिस एंड आई हैव टू अप्लाई फॉर हाउस जॉब इन मेयो हॉस्पिटल लाहौर आई नीड योर हेल्प एंड डू यू हैव डॉक्टर सलमान काजमी कंटेक्ट एंड प्लीज शेयर ओके एक्चुअली आई विल बी रिप्लाइंग टू दिस in personal reply because he is demanding house job in new hospital okay that student 
I will be sending you the details about how you can apply in a house job in Mayo Hospital. And uh, I will be uh, like reviewing your application. I will recommend if any no problem, you are welcome. This is your platform. You don't hesitate, okay? Don't hesitate. You have, uh, I should tell, I should ask Dr. Kamran Khaja. It's free. Many of you have to ask me So it's free for all of you people, okay? Sir, how will I come to know that I have been registered and my contact number is saved? Mujhe kaise pata chalega ji main saved ho chuka hu. Hamari team iske upar daily kaam karti hai. Aapka Google form fill hoga. Uka Google form fill ho ke hamare paas jata hai hamare laptop mein Google form ke andar. Hamare team kya karti hai? Rozana us Google form ko check karti hai, verify karti hai. कि आया आपने कोई मिसलीडिंग इंफॉर्मेशन तो नहीं दी वो वेरीफाई होते हैं हर स्टूडेंट्स वो रजिस्टर्ड जो नंबर होता है उसको सेव किया जाता है मेरी कांटेक्ट जीमेल में मेरी कांटेक्ट जीमेल के अंदर वो ऑटोमेटिकली सिंक हो जाता है वो सिंक होते हुए आपका नंबर मेरे मोबाइल के अंदर जब मैं कांटेक्ट्स देख रहा होता हूं तो मुझे सेव नजर आता है जब वो मुझे सेव नजर आएगा मेरे कांटेक्ट लिस्ट में इट्स मीन यू आर रजिस्टर्ड एंड यू आर प्रीमियम इसका मतलब है कि आपके पास जो भी मसले मसाले या क्वेरीज या आंसर आएंगे तो मुझे पता चल जाता है कि ये स्टूडेंट रजिस्टर्ड हो चुका है ये स्टूडेंट रजिस्टर्ड नहीं हो चुका और ऐसे स्टूडेंट कहते हैं कि अभी रजिस्टर किया है और अभी मेरा नाम शो होना स्टार्ट हो जाए इट्स टेक एट लीस्ट 2 डेज क्योंकि हमारे पास इतनी रजिस्ट्रेशन आती है हम एक दिन में सब सेव नहीं कर सकते सो so, अगर आज आपने गूगल फॉर्म फिल किया है मे बी विद इन 24 टू uh, like 36 hours तक आपको हमारा status show होना शुरू हो जाएगा। अगर आप हमारा number save कर लेंगे, तो आपको हमारी updates भी आती रहेंगी। आपको medical notes, history, चीजें, best of the best valuable information, medical updates भी आपको मिल जाएगा करेंगे कि कौन से exam की changes क्या आए हैं, क्या medical की। तो आप number save कर लें, seems medprep के नाम से, और उसके बाद Google form fill करें। That are the two things I need from you. उसके बाद हमारा बाकी खुद का काम है आपको फाइट करना अच्छा जी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन है जी अस्सलाम वालेकुम वालेकुम अस्सलाम आई हैव ये किसी ने स्क्रीनशॉट भाई ये पूछना था कि हाउस जॉब कंप्लीट करते ही परमानेंट लाइसेंस लेके हम एलिजिबल हैं कतर एग्जाम के लिए कह रहा है कि हाउस ला हाउस जॉब कंप्लीट ही कर लिया है क्या उसके बाद हम कतर के एग्जाम्स के लिए एलिजिबल हैं आप कोर्स एलिजिबल हो आप एग्जाम दो लेकिन आपकी पोस्ट टू ईयर हाउस जॉब भी जरूरी एग्जाम दे सकते हो लेकिन अभी आपका पोस्ट टू ईयर की एप्लीकेशन क्योंकि जब डाटा फ्लो वेरिफिकेशन में जाओगे तो वहां आपसे मांगेगा वेरिफिकेशन दो तो जब आप वहां पे वेरिफिकेशन अपलोड करोगे तो वो तो स्टॉप हो जाएगा का मतलब है आप स्टार्ट तो कर सकते हो बट डाटा फ्लो वेरिफिकेशन या जो सिस्टम होता है उनका जो जिसमें वो आपके डॉक्यूमेंट्स वेरीफाई करेंगे तो वो वेरिफिकेशन आधी रह जाएगी तो बेटर टू डू पोस्ट हाउस जॉब एंड देन अप्लाई ओके ओके सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दैट सर कैन वी uh, join on your uh, meetings daily and uh, is there any uh, payment for that to get the lectures uh, actually it will be free no payment at this time uh, because I, I i know i have started this initially uh, because there is my social media team there is my editor team why when i record the lecture they make it possible for all of you people to edit it to manage my social media, so I have to pay all of the uh, these many teams. Okay, but I am giving from my pocket, so uh, still I am not in uh, like encouraging uh, to get these all lecture with money and that and that. You should come to live lecture on YouTube and you will get the daily dose of motivation and learning. I will be recommending that. Okay, so. So next question is that 
सर इफ आई सर आई हैव सर इफ आई कैन गो फॉर यू एस एम एल ई आई एम नाउ इन थर्ड ईयर ऑफ रेजिडेंसी इन पाकिस्तान सो थर्ड ईयर ऑफ रेजिडेंसी इन पाकिस्तान एंड आस्किंग अबाउट कैन आई गो फॉर यू एस एम एल ई स्टेप्स नाउ अब हमने इसको बड़ा अच्छा एक्सप्लेन किया था कि आपका ओल्ड ग्रेजुएशन होना थोड़ा सा लाइक एक फैक्टर है जो कि अच्छा नहीं है उसके लिए यू एस एम एल ई के लिए तो ईयर ऑफ ग्रेजुएशन फाइव से कम होना बहुत जरूरी है तो रिमेम्बर ईयर ऑफ ग्रेजुएशन इट इज लाइक मोस्ट लाइकली लेस देन फाइव होना बहुत जरूरी है ओके okay? तो आपने ईयर ऑफ ग्रेजुएशन जब पांच से कम रखना है तो आपका चांस है कि यू एस एम एल ई में आप आ सकते हैं ओके okay? यूएसएमएलई में आप आ सकते हैं अगर आपका ईयर ऑफ ग्रेजुएशन अगर आपका ईयर ऑफ ग्रेजुएशन जो है वो पांच से ज्यादा है आई आई रिकमेंड के वो ना जाए अगर वो थर्ड ईयर आप थर्ड ईयर स्टूडेंट हो मतलब एफसीपीएस के हो या एमडीएमएस एमडीएमएस के हो तो इट्स मीन आपका ईयर ऑफ ग्रेजुएशन बनेगा तीन साल वो आपने गुजारे हैं एक साल हाउस जॉब हंटिंग में उसमें रेजिडेंसी में लगाए होंगे ऑलमोस्ट अभी आपका चार पाँच साल ही बन रहा होगा तो दो साल आप ये भी देखो कि दो साल यू एस एम एल ई जर्नी स्टार्ट करके जब आप आगे जाओगे तो दो साल और भी तो लगेंगे ना तो ये भी तो देखो कि आपने अभी आप थर्ड ईयर एफ सी पी एस में हो या एम डी में एम डी एम एस में हो जब दो साल और मेहनत करोगे स्टार्ट करोगे टू ईयर विल टेक और यू एस एम एल ई जर्नी इट विल भी टोटल फाइव ईयर तो फाइव ईयर सॉरी फाइव ईयर या सिक्स ईयर बन जाएंगे तो आई एम नॉट रिकमेंड कि अगर आप अभी हैं हाँ आप आयरलैंड ऑप्शन सोचें अगर आप थर्ड ईयर फोर्थ ईयर रेजिडेंट हैं आयरलैंड ऑप्शन सोचें आप एफ सी पी एस कम्प्लीट करके कोत की ऑप्शन सोचें ठीक है उसके बाद आप जो है ना बेस्ट कौन सा हो सकता है मालदीव मालदीव नॉट रिकमेंड नहीं करता मैं आयरलैंड रिकमेंड करता हूँ ओल्ड ग्रेजुएट्स को मैं सोचे और उसके बाद आप आप जाएं उसके पास जाएं क्या नाम है कुवैत कतर उसमें जाएं आप नॉट फॉर यू एस मिनिमम फाइव ईयर इज द लास्ट ऑप्शन ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दैट सर आई एम वेरी लाइक कोल्ड माइंडेड पर्सन एंड आई लाइक द मोस्टली इन्वायरमेंट सो रिगार्डिंग द गुड इन्वायरमेंट एंड कल्चर विच इज द बेस्ट सिटी कंट्री यू के आर यू एस ए अच्छे बंदे हो नाइस पर्सनैलिटी है कोल्ड माइंडेड हो इंडिपेंडेंट हो चाहते हो कि जिंदगी में सुकून हो कोई आपको छेड़े ना और इंडिपेंडेंट आपकी इम्पोर्टेंस हो आपको अप्रिशिएट किया जाए आपके काम को अप्रिशिएट किया जाए यू एस एज नंबर वन एंड देन आफ्टर दैट इज द यू के हाँ यू के में एक मसला आ रहा है एन एच एस जो है वो थोड़ा सा मसले में आ रहा है एन एच एस इज गोइंग टू हैव सम डिफिकल्टीज ऑफ फिनेंशियल डिफिकल्टीज सो एन एच एस का आज कल यू के में जो जॉब हैं वो कम हो रही हैं माइल्ड सी एज नॉट लाइक दैट कि प्लेब की जॉब बिल्कुल नहीं है मतलब एज कम्पेयर टू प्रीवियसली यू के के अंदर जो जॉब्स हैं वो थोड़ी सी कम हो रही है क्योंकि बजट का इशू हो रहा है एन एच एस को इस दैट क्लियर सो ये हमारा हो गया क्वेश्चन सो नेक्स्ट हम डिस्कस करते हैं क्वेश्चन फ्राम एट द एंड सेवन एट सिक्स लास्ट डिजिट ऑफ व्हाट्सएप सेवन एट सिक्स ओके सर कैन यू प्लीज टेल मी uh if i cannot join your lecture daily so uh, what what i i can do now uh, if i am not able to join your lecture uh, if i have a job and uh, so i cannot manage it i am on job so what is the solution uh, i will be preferring uh, on your job take a break listen the lecture online lecture is free so otherwise i will be thinking about that only for the final year who is not here because preparing for exam what will be the solution i will tell you all these detail in my uh, like whatsapp official whatsapp groups 
so from the 8 to 9:50 or 9:40 uh, the 2 hour session is free you can come on my youtube channel i will be starting from neurology or gastroenterology from tomorrow i will be uh, doing a voting in the group okay majority uh, system that will be selected by the students i will start that system mostly uh, many students were asking neurology some are saying the gastroenterology so that system i will start okay live lecture high beneficial and very fruitful you will enjoy it, the lecture okay and that will be free next question is that uh, uh, dear dr kamran khaja uh, i hope you are fine uh, can you please help me uh, regarding the resources uh, of the usmle and what is the best for me to start at this time uh, i am freeing from my house job so what is best resources for usmle i am freeing from the job okay job se free ho rahi hain aur mujhe jo hai na resources bataye to abhi aapke jo resources hain wo maine aapko ek detail hamane webinar kiya hai wo webinar hamara isi live session mein maujood hai if you can go and watch our usmle detailed webinar with dr jibran if all the student who want to know detail all from usmle step 1 to your residency or nrmp match cycle from usmle basic what is usmle to match level all the detail is given in our live webinar with dr jibran you can go and watch this webinar for detailed usmle information who are usmle aspirants i am recommending this webinar we have discussed detail what is step one step exam structure resources step two exam structure resources expenditure detail visa issues landing in usa air ticket flights and khana pina wahan pe rehna kaise hai wahan pe aap step three kaise karna hai observership kaise deni hai residency kaise gain karni hai i have even aapko ye bhi bataya gaya hai ki bhai aapne wahan pe paise kaise bachane hai wahan pe traveling kaise karni hai ticket kaise leni hai booking kahan karni hai we have explained everything in usmle webinar you go and from the live section of our our channel khole channel mein jaye aap wahan pe home playlist videos aayengi saath mein live ka option aayega live mein jaye live mein aapko niche ek video milegi aap usko watch kar sakti hain jo usmle ki puri detail journey seekhna chahte hain each and everything next is the uh salam can uh, sir can you please add me in the group and also uh my question is that irrelevant question okay be a personal question okay let me tell you the idea about that uh basically ye personal question hai kisi ka but uh, i am not here to share because uh, acha nahi lagta but aapko ek cheez main jo key point hai the theme on the summary of that uh, like, like us question ki wo ye hai ki uh, aap jab koi bhi kaam karte ho na kisi bhi cheez ko start karne lagte ho chahe wo exam hai chahe wo koi journey hai chahe wo plan hai koi motivation hai ya koi bhi cheez hai to aapko na pulling up zarur hoti hai achhi cheez mein hamesha the many people or negative people that are pulling to you ye aapko khinchte hain so remember always allah taala ko yaad kiya jaye aur apne aap ka jo motivation hai jo maqsad hai usko uske liye aapko sacrifices karni padti hai sacrifices kya hai aapki choti choti sacrifices se start karo kya hai sacrifice aaj dost ne kaha hai ji humne cricket khelne chalna tha maine to plan bana liya usml step 1 ka mera to dr kamran khaja ke sath 8 baje session hoga live main to bhag gaya hu cricket khelne lecture miss bhai 8 baje na khelo tum 6 baje khel lo ek example de raha hu main matlab team jo jo mere ye jisne question kiya hai unko mera pura team samajh aa jayega to leg pulling in distractions ya in cheezon se bachne ka aasan tarika ye hai ki apna plan banao uske upar focus karo usko jo negative peoples hain unse dur raho apna jab maine back jaake meri ek environment four points maine explain kiye hain to i am recommending to you jisne 
क्वेश्चन किया कि आप जाए वो सुने कि इन्वायरमेंट कैसे बनाया जाता है तो वो आप इन्वायरमेंट बनाएंगे तो आपके जो काफी सारे मसले हैं वो हल हो जाएंगे इन और नेगेटिव पीपल से भी आपको दूरी मिल जाएगी ओके सो नाउ मैं अब थोड़ा सा टाइम दूंगा अपने जो uh, मेरे लाइव वीडियो के नीचे कमेंट कर रहे हैं अब मैं उनको थोड़ा टाइम दूंगा जो मेरे लाइव वीडियो के नीचे कमेंट्स कर रहे हैं वो स्टूडेंट्स जो मेरे लाइव वीडियो के नीचे कमेंट्स कर रहे हैं नाउ आई विल बी गिविंग द टाइम टू दैट स्टूडेंट्स अब मुझे नीचे मैसेज करें कमेंट्स uh, में मैं उनको अब टाइम दूंगा डॉक्टर uh, फातिमा खालिद चौधरी uh, खालिद महमूद ये आपके लिए आंसर है सर प्लीज शेयर द थर्ड ईयर प्लान फॉर यूएसएमएलई यूएसएमएलई थर्ड ईयर प्लान नंबर वन यारियां दोस्तियां खत्म सीधी सी बात है भाई यारी दोस्ती खत्म मतलब यारी दोस्ती सिर्फ यूएसएमएलई वालों के साथ है आज से बस सुबह उठो शाम को जाओ बैठो खाना खाओ खाना खाते हुए कैंटीन पे बैठे हो यूएसएमएलए वाला भाई है अस्सलाम वालेकुम भाई हाउ आर यू आई एम रियली हैप्पी कैन यू प्लीज गिव मी द 2 मिनट्स डिस्कस विद हिम डिस्कस विद हर ओके पहला अपना माइंड तो आपने पहला मेरा स्टेप मैंने एक्सप्लेन किया पहला स्टेप कंप्लीट हो गया आपने यूएसएमएलए का प्लान बना लिया दूसरा स्टेप है एनवायरमेंट क्रिएट करो फिजिकल एंड वर्चुअल वर्चुअल तो मैंने आपको दिया फिर आपने फिजिकल बनाना है फिजिकल के लिए लाइब्रेरी जाना स्टार्ट करो जिस यूनिवर्सिटी में हो जिस हॉस्टल में हो लाइब्रेरी तो मौजूद है लाइब्रेरी में जाओ इन्वायरमेंट क्रिएट हो जाएगा वर्चुअल प्लस फिजिकल बोथ तीसरा स्टेप आप सबस्टेट हो मैं कैटलिस्ट हूं आप मेरे पास आओगे इन्वायरमेंट मैं दूंगा कैटलाइज भी करूंगा आपकी करेक्टरिस्टिक देखूंगा सबस्टेट की आप मेरे पास सबस्टेट बन के आओ मैं इंजाइम हूं मैं उसका रिएक्शन करूंगा फिर आप प्रोडक्ट दूंगा छह महीने पांच महीने बाद डिपेंडिंग अपॉन कि आपका एग्जाम का स्ट्रक्चर क्या है डेडिकेशन मेहनत पैशन ये जो आपका पैशन है ये आपको ग्रो करेगा आप अपने एग्जाम भी दें साथ साथ अब लेट्स फोर अब थर्ड ईयर का प्लान क्या है थर्ड ईयर में क्या होता है महीने बाद एक टेस्ट होता है वो टेस्ट दें फार्माकोलॉजी का होता है या वट एवर का होता है तो एक महीने बाद कितने तीन चार दिन पांच दिन लगा दो बाकी पच्चीस दिन कहाँ दोगे 25 दिन में यही चीज को कवर करो मॉड्यूल सिस्टम है किसी यूनिवर्सिटी के अंदर कौन सा मॉड्यूल चल रहा है जी न्यूरोलॉजी चल रहा है जी तो तुम तो मेरे मतलब न्यूरोलॉजी के लेक्चर स्टार्ट कर दो पहले से ही कि अगले एक महीने में न्यूरोलॉजी का मॉड्यूल स्टार्ट होने वाला है तो पहले ही तुम अपने हाई जील से यूएसएम फर्स्ट एड की बुक से या लेक्चर ही सुन लो वो सिस्टम के ताकि आपका टेस्ट भी पास हो जाए एंड पे आपको पढ़ना ना पड़े आप जब यूएस में यूएसएम ओरिएंटेड चीजें पढ़ रहे होंगे तो आपको फिर मसला नहीं होगा आपका टेस्ट भी हो जाएगा थर्ड ईयर में जो भी मॉड्यूल चल रहा है आपका फार्मोकोलॉजी का टेस्ट होना है जी ऑटोनोमिक सिस्टम का थर्ड ईयर में हो जी ऑटोनोमिक सिस्टम पढ़ाया जाएगा फिर क्या करोगे भाई तुम ऑटोनोमिक सिस्टम फर्स्ट एड से पढ़ो उसके लेक्चर सुनो ठीक है उसको पढ़ो रीड करो एक्सप्लोर करो यूएसएम ओरिएंटेड टेक्निक से पढ़ो फिर आप उसके बाद जब आपका पांच दिन सात दिन रह जाए टेस्ट को क्विकली रिवाइज करो और जाके एग्जाम में दे दो उसको इसमें तो कोई मसला ही नहीं है ओके तो ये हो गया हमारा थर्ड ईयर का थर्ड ईयर का प्लान ये है कि पहले फर्स्ट एड माइंड बनाया इन्वायरमेंट बनाया अपनी मोटिवेशन बनाई डिस्ट्रैक्शन से दूरी दोस्तों को अपना टाइम फिक्स करो यूएसएम के साथ बैठना उठना खाना पीना यूएसएम स्टूडेंट के साथ हो ग्रुप बनाओ इंटरेक्टिव पॉजिटिव वाइब्स वाला फिर उसके बाद अपना बुक्स इकट्ठी करो यूएसएम फर्स्ट एड की बुक लो फिर हमारे लेक्चर आके सुनो यहाँ पे आंसर करो फिर क्वेश्चन करो क्वेश्चन आंसर क्वेश्चन आंसर आप मोटिवेट होते रहेंगे फिर ऐसा ऐसा आपको पता चलेगा ये करना है ऐसे करना है ये करना है ऐसे करना है फिर अपना प्लान लिख लो कि छह महीने बाद मैंने एग्जाम दे देना है थर्ड ईयर में स्टूडेंट्स ने अभी 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 इतने एग्जाम्स दिए हैं पास 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 अभी मेरा एक स्टूडेंट अभी रिसेंटली अलहमद ला पास किया उसने मुझे ग्रेटिट्यूड भेजा है उसको पर्सनली मेरे पास आता था आई हैव लाइक टॉट हिम और उसका रिजल्ट पास हुआ है यू एस एम एल स्टेप वन का आई एम वेरी थैंकफुल कि उसने मुझे अप्रिशिएशन भी दी है और इन मैं उसको इन्वाइट करूंगा अपनी पॉडकास्ट पे ताकि आप स्टूडेंट्स को पता चले कि बेस तैयारी कैसे होती है एग्जाम की और कैसे पास किया जाता है और वो भी काफी सारी टेक्निक्स हैं वो हमें बताएंगे और मेन इशू हमने डिस्कस किया क्वेश्चन जो आंसर था वो था डॉक्टर फातिमा खालिद चौधरी को ओके हेयर देयर इज नो प्रॉपर गाइडेंस रिगार्डिंग दिस आई ऑल्सो have uh, and don't know about research guideline please mention which book should in third year and usml 
first aid is a bible of us mla first aid is bible of us mla first aid is the bible of us mla first aid is the bible of us mla isko 10 dafa padh lo tasbeeh leke isko 10 dafa padh lo first aid book is the bible for us mla first aid book is the bible for us mla तो इस मेरा इतना बार बार कहने का मकसद ये है कि फर्स्ट एड बुक वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट है लेकिन उसको पढ़ना और समझना उससे ज्यादा मुश्किल भी है इतना अहम है उससे ज्यादा उसको समझना भी मुश्किल है क्योंकि उस एक वर्ड के अंदर जब मैं पढ़ाता हूँ ना मैं लेक्चर देता हूँ तो मैं पूरी कहानी बताता हूँ मैं सवाल बताता हूँ कैसे आएगा लैब में कैसे आ रहा है यू एस में ये सवाल कैसे आ रहा है नोट्स कैसे हैं ठीक है और और उसके बाद आपकी सारी चीजें क्या क्या डिस्कस की जा रही हैं ये मैटर ठीक है आपका हाई हाईड रिसोर्सेज हम प्रोवाइड करेंगे फर्स्ट एड खरीद लो बस बाकी चीजें हम बताते रहेंगे आपको व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप में आप हमारे पास आओ कोई नहीं है कौन गाइड करता है हम गाइड करेंगे आप ग्रुप में तो आओ हम आपकी पूरी सोसाइटी बना लेंगे आपके कॉलेज से आप जिस मेडिकल कॉलेज से हैं आप मुझे टैक्स करें कि सर हमारे पास कम्युनिटी नहीं है हमारे पास कोई गाइडेंस नहीं है इस यूनिवर्सिटी के अंदर इस कॉलेज के अंदर मैं आपका ग्रुप बनाता हूँ मैं आपको गाइड करूंगा पूरे स्टूडेंट्स को आप सब स्टेट बने आई एम द कैटलिस्ट प्रोडक्ट हम दोनों मिलके बना लेंगे ठीक है बस आपने हिम्मत नहीं हार सपोर्ट सपोर्टिक सर आई एम एवरेज स्टूडेंट क्रैक एम एल एंड एवरेज हाँ एवरेज से मुझे याद आया एक बड़ी मजेदार स्टोरी man i will be discussing three year fail supply student and now in us i was a acha main aapko ek na story sunane laga hu ek hai mera resident और मैं नाम नहीं लेना चाह रहा और दैट रेजिडेंट हैज बीन फेल्ड थ्री टाइम्स इन एम बी बी एस नाउ सिटिंग इन अमेरिका एज अ रेजिडेंट इन वेरी फेमस यूनिवर्सिटी आपको बिलीव है इस बात के डू यू नो अबाउट दिस मेरे को कल एक स्टूडेंट ने मैं ये ग्रुप में मैसेज करता हूँ दिस स्टोरी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स जो यहाँ पे मेरे को सुन रहे हैं ओके दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टोरी अच्छा अच्छा मेरा वो क्लास फेलो उसने सेकंड ईयर में सप्ली आई ठीक है उसके बाद उसने सप्ली पास कर दी फिर एक और साल आई फिर एक और साल तीन साल उसको सप्ली आई ओके तीन साल उसको सप्ली आने के बाद अब उसका स्ट्रक्चर देखिए जो एक साल उसने खुद ही एग्जाम नहीं दिए आदि हो चुका था कि भाई कोई बात नहीं अब मैं तो दो साल पहले ही झील लिया है इस साल वैसे एग्जाम नहीं देता मैं सप्ली में दे दूंगा उसने सारा का सारा प्राफ ही सप्ली में दे दिया और वो पास हो गया उसको इतना कॉन्फिडेंट था लेकिन एक चीज उस बंदे के अंदर मैंने देखी है वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कि ही वॉज वेरी डेडिकेट उसका गोल यूएसए में लिखा उसका प्राफ नहीं था उसको पता है मैंने प्राफ पास कर लेना है प्राफ में क्या मसला आता है तो बहुत बड़ा मसला तो नहीं है प्राफ तो सिर्फ हाइप क्रिएट की हुई है यूएचएस में अदरवाइज इफ यू सिट एंड अगर आपको अच्छी टेक्निक्स दी जाए अगर आप हमारे हाई हिल रिसोर्सेज करो लेक्चर सुनो मैं आपको चैलेंज देता हूँ आपका प्राफ कुछ भी नहीं है आप जो मेरी बुक पढ़ोगे आप मेरे साथ फर्स्ट एड पढ़ो सिस्टम पढ़ो आप जाके प्राफ का सवाल करो सवाल तो कुछ भी नहीं है मेरे पास अभी रिसेंटली कल स्टूडेंट आया है जिसका प्राफ है फाइनल ईयर का बारह फरवरी को इलेक्ट्रोलाइट मेरे से समझ नहीं आया मेरा जूनियर है मेरे क्लास फेलो का दोस्त भाई है पर्सनल और इलेक्ट्रोलाइट्स मैंने उसको समझाई है एसिड बेस बैलेंस समझाया और जस्ट इट्स टू मी टेन टू लाइक सिक्सटीन मिनट्स 
और सिक्सटीन मिनट के बाद मुझे कह रहा है कि जिंदगी में मैंने आज तक एसिड बेस नहीं समझ आया आज आया है पहली बार और खुश हो के गई तो मकसद कहने का ये है कि आप आपका पाथवे क्या है वो वो देखो तो उस बंदे ने जो कि सप्ली आई उस बंदे की सप्ली आने के बाद उसने अपना गोल यूएसएमएलई रखा उसने अपनी यूएसएमएलई के कैरियर में सिक्सटी प्लस मार्क्स दिए टू सिक्सटी प्लस दिस इज अ रियल स्टोरी मैं उसे इजाजत लूंगा कभी अगर वो मुझे कहेगा तो मैं इसको पूरी स्टोरी एक्सप्लेन कर सकता हूँ दिस इज वेरी लाइक मोटिवेशनल स्टोरी उस बंदे की उस बंदे की एनर्जी लेवल हाई उसको कोई टेंशन नहीं है सप्ली आ गई है तो कोई कौन मैटर करता है यू एस एम एल ई थोड़ी ना आपसे पूछता है कि सप्ली है नहीं यू एस एम एल ई तो आपसे सर्टिफिकेट जब रजिस्टर हो गए किसी का कुछ नहीं पूछा जाता कि एम बी बी एस में आके दरवाजा नहीं खटखटाएंगे कि भाई निश्तर निश्तर के किसी एम एस को या किसी रजिस्ट्रार को वाइस चांसलर को कि भाई इसके स्टूडेंट की सप्ली तो नहीं थी नहीं जो आपने सर्टिफिकेट एंड पे बनवा लिया होता है ना ठीक है कोई उन्होंने नहीं मांगना होता आपकी आपने स्कोर कितने लिए हैं कितना परफॉर्म अच्छा किया है ये मैटर करता है सप्ली डज नॉट मैटर इन यू सप्ली मैटर नहीं करती ओके तो सप्ली जो है वो मैटर नहीं करती सप्ली के लिए सप्ली यूं समझें कि एक डिस्ट्रैक्शन है आपकी यूएसएमएलए जर्नी का बस अपना टाइम दो यूएसएमएलए का मैंने तो अपने ऐसे स्टूडेंट देखे हैं जो प्राप्त तो पढ़ते ही नहीं है सारा साल यूएसएमएलई करते हैं हमारे यहाँ जो कल्चर है के ई का वो प्राप्त करना नहीं है वो तो सिर्फ यूएसएमएलई करना है प्राप्त तो सिर्फ आखिरी एक डेढ़ महीने में दो महीने में करना है बस तो डिवेल्प दिस कल्चर टेंशन लेते ही नहीं है यहाँ पे स्टूडेंट एट्टी स्टूडेंट को प्राप्त की टेंशन होती नहीं है अनलेस लास्ट थ्री मंथस तो आप कोर्स मैं आपको बताने का मकसद यह सप्ली डज नॉट मैटर लो ग्रेड या इस तरह के वर्ड्स मैटर नहीं करते किसी स्टूडेंट के मेरा अपना क्लास फेलो आज एक बहुत बड़ी यूनिवर्सिटी हॉस्पिटल में रेजिडेंट है एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इज दैट उसकी तीन दफा सप्ली है और आज वो अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह खुश है उसको कभी फ्रोनिंग नहीं होती डजेंट मैटर तो इसलिए सप्ली वाले स्टूडेंट इस चीज को भूल जाए पेयर प्रेशर को भूल जाए कैरियर उनका अभी से स्टार्ट हो रहा है उनको भूल के जीरो से स्टार्ट ओके okay, नेक्स्ट इज डॉक्टर मारिया सरवर रेडियोलॉजी स्पेशलिस्ट पाथवे पोस्ट एफसीपीएस यूएस वर्सेस ऑस्ट्रेलिया रेडियोलॉजी में जाना चाहते हो तो यूएस जाना चाहिए कि ऑस्ट्रेलिया जाना दोनों मुश्किल है डॉक्टर मारिया सरवर दोनों मुश्किल है लेकिन मैं आपको जो रिकमेंड करूंगा रेडियोलॉजी में जाओ तो पहले आप ये देखें कि एफ कर लिया हुआ है आपने तो एफ के बाद अगर आप ऑप्शन कंसीडर करना चाहती हैं तो मुश्किल है थोड़ा सा तो यूएस में प्रेफर करूंगा क्योंकि यूएस की इम्पोर्टेंस ज़्यादा है सर्जरी में अगर होता तो मैं ऑस्ट्रेलिया कहता क्योंकि ऑस्ट्रेलिया जो है वो सर्जरी में आ गया है सर्जरी में बहुत अच्छा है ऑस्ट्रेलिया की जो है ना सर्जरी तो रेडियोलॉजी क्योंकि इतना ज्यादा वो है कि सर्जरी नहीं है तो आई विल बी रिकमेंडिंग कि गो फॉर यूएस अपॉर्चुनिटीज अगर आपको वहाँ पे थोड़ा सा मतलब मुश्किल हो रही है तो ऑस्ट्रेलिया इज नॉट अ बैड ओके नॉट अ बैड आ गया ओके मैं समझता हूँ मेरा पर्सनल व्यू ये है कि अगर आप यूएस के बाद अगर कोई सोचें जिसकी सर्जरी अच्छी है जिसकी गाइडलाइंस अच्छी हैं ऑस्ट्रेलिया की अच्छी है ठीक है और यूके सॉरी यूके और यूके के बाद यूएस यूके के बाद ऑस्ट्रेलिया की गाइडलाइंस बड़ी अच्छी हैं तो इसलिए बेटर है कि आप दोनों में से कोई ऑप्शन चूज करें डजेंट मैटर आप प्रेफरेबल यूएस एंड देन ऑस्ट्रेलिया बहुत हार्ड गुड पाकिस्तानी विलेज लाइफ विला ऑल नीड ऑफ एम डी पैड सर आई फाइंडिंग इन पेशेंट इलेक्टिव डिफिकल्ट फॉर इजी फॉर आई एम जी फाइंडिंग द इन पेशेंट इलेक्टिव इलेक्टिव होते ही इन पेशेंट इन पेशेंट और आउट पेशेंट क्या होते हैं इन पेशेंट का मतलब होता है जब आप किसी यूनिवर्सिटी गई किसी हॉस्पिटल में एज आ जाते हो डॉक्टर काम करने के लिए तो आप उनको हाथ लगा सकते हो आप उनकी हिस्ट्री ले सकते हो आप उनका एग्जामिनेशन कर सकते हो दिस इज इन पेशेंट इनको इलेक्टिव कहते हैं जब इलेक्टिव का वर्ड सुने इट्स मीन वेन यू आर अप्लाइंग फॉर इलेक्टिव इट्स मीन यू आर अप्लाइंग 
यूनिवर्सिटी एफिलियटेड हॉस्पिटल जो स्टूडेंट्स को अलाउ कर रहा है रेजिडेंट या ऑब्जर्वर्स को नहीं ऑब्जर्वर का क्या मतलब होता है ऑब्जर्वर का मतलब होता है जो सिर्फ आएगा पेशेंट की हिस्ट्री ले सकता है दूर से देख सकता है हेलो हाय कर सकता है उससे क्वेश्चन पूछ सकता है उसको हाथ नहीं लगा सकता दिस इज कॉल्ड ऑब्जर्वरशिप और इसको कहते हैं एक्सटर्नशिप यानी कि ऊपर ऊपर से देखना है हिस्ट्री लेनी है Electives is inpatient. When आप उसको टच करो उसका एग्जामिनेशन करो दिस इज कॉल्ड इन पेशेंट डिफरेंस विदर्वरशिप अच्छा अब इन पेशेंट या इलेक्टिव कैसे हासिल कर सकती हैं आपको ईमेल करनी पड़ती है अमेरिका में आप क्या करते हो हर हॉस्पिटल के प्रोग्राम की एक लिस्ट होती है एक रेजिडेंसी एक्सप्लोर वेबसाइट नोट कर लें वहां पे जाए वहां पे प्रोग्राम सर्च हो स्टेट वाइज कि आप शिकागो में जाना चाहती हैं न्यूयॉर्क जाना चाहती हैं आप डेलस जाना चाहते हैं जिस स्टेट में जाना चाहती हैं उस स्टेट पे यूनिवर्सिटी हॉस्पिटल जाकर एक्सप्लोर करो वहाँ से आपको ईमेल मिल जाएगी किसी प्रोग्राम की असिस्टर की इन्वेस्टर की कोऑर्डिनेटर की आप उनको ईमेल करना स्टार्ट करें कि मैं स्टूडेंट हूँ मिस्टर में पढ़ रहा हूँ अयोग मेडिकल में पढ़ रहा हूँ ए एफ एम डी सी में पढ़ रहा हूँ फला 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 जो भी यूनिवर्सिटीज हैं सब में मैं पढ़ रहा हूँ तो मैं मेरी ये क्रीडेंशियल्स हैं मैंने ये पास किया हुआ है यूएस एम एल स्टेप वन रोल की एंड एंड दैट तो मुझे आई आई वांट टू शेडो यू मुझे इलेक्टिव अपॉर्चुनिटी चाहिए कुछ हैं जो फ्री में दे देती हैं वो है वेरी रेयर फाइव परसेंट नाइन्टी परसेंट इलेक्टिव होते हैं पेड आपको वन थाउजेंड डॉलर मिनिमम पे करना पड़ेगा पंद्रह डॉलर पे करना पड़ेगा आप अगर अफोर्ड कर सकते हो पैसे आपके पास बहुत हैं अपॉर्चुनिटी अवेल करो इलेक्टिव अगर आप समझते हो मेरे पास एक्स्ट्रा पैसा नहीं है क्योंकि मैंने टोटल एक्सपेंडिचर में कोई इलेक्टिव ऑब्जर्वरशिप के पैसे नहीं डाले यूएस एम एल में तो अगर आप समझते हो मैं नहीं अफोर्ड कर सकता भाई इलेक्टिव के पैसे ठीक है तो आप इलेक्टिव ना करो आप पहले अपनी डिग्री लो एग्जाम फाइनल ईयर का कंप्लीट करो हाउस जॉब स्किप करके पहले ही अपना प्लान करो वीजा प्रोसेस और ऑब्जर्वरशिप ले रखो ग्रेजुएशन के बाद जब जाओगे तो वो ऑब्जर्वरशिप कौन होगी तो उसी वक्त ही सेम टाइम पे जाओ स्टेप थ्री भी करो ऑब्जर्वरशिप भी करो ऑल एक ही खर्चे में सारा करते हो तो आंसर सिंपल इज दैट फाइन कैसे करना है अपने दोस्तों से सीनियर से ईमेल्स क्रैक करो वो रैंडम ईमेल्स होते हैं कुछ प्रोग्राम्स के कुछ डॉक्टर्स की तो ईमेलिंग करनी होती है ईमेलिंग इसको कहती है या इसको कहती है हंट हंट करना जिस तरह आप जॉब हंट करते हो इस तरह ई से आप उनसे रिक्वेस्ट करते हो कोई ना कोई पढ़ता है ठीक है एक एक हजार ई मेल भेजने के बाद दो तीन रिप्लाई चार रिप्लाई भी आएंगे इसी तरह आप ये समझें कि सौ ई मेल करूंगा तो मुझे एक दो तीन रिप्लाई आएंगे ठीक है तो ये आपने कंसीडर कर डॉक्टर अतिया शफी हैज द पी एम सी बीन एक्टेड बाय वर्ल्ड हेल्थ मेडिकल एजुकेशन यस कोई मसला नहीं है टेंशन नहीं लेनी पी एम सी हो चुकी है पी एम डी सी डी हो चुकी है आपका अब कोई रोला नहीं है is the usc must for the uh, uh, medicine matching inshallah taala inshallah taala aap match kare usc apply karne ke liye mandatory nahi hai please note my word mandatory nahi hai lekin agar aapka ho to preferable aapka cv improve ho jata hai aapko interviews acche aate hain आपको इंटरव्यूज अच्छे आते हैं आप उसके ऊपर अच्छा गेन कर सकते हैं ओके सो इट इज प्रेफरेबल टू डू द ऑब्जर्वेशन ओके सो इन जस्ट टेन मिनट आई विल बी कंक्लूडिंग ऑल द सेशन जो ऑल द स्टूडेंट है ओनली टेन मिनट टू पोस्ट द क्वेश्चन ओके सो आई विल बी देन एंडिंग माई सेशन ओके सो ऑल द स्टूडेंट है टेन मिनट्स to post all your questions i will be then ending okay so i'm so i have only 10 minutes to answer all your question please it will be end at right 1158 thank you so much I have explained medical coaching, sir. Please give information about AMC. I have given 
the explanation of all the details about AMC in my previous lecture. You can watch this. Dr. Nabil Athar, what if someone gets low mark in step two ML? Is there any chance of person to get the job? If you have a step two in low job, hai, sorry, low score, hai, to research karo, research karo, and recommendation. Yani ke connection banao US ke andar. These two things can get residency for you. Low score hai, step two C may research karo or connection. Research karo or connection. Bas, that is the only two solution. Remember this. For those step three ke bagar fir apply na karna. Observership ke bagar apply na karna. Dr. Nabil Asif. Kamran Nazar, kindly detail session on MRCP pathway, CPSP, MTI, and how to prepare MRCP when doing FCPS in Pakistan. I heard a lot about issues in places, seats, availability. Uh, Dr. Hamza Nazar, I really appreciate the uh, issue. Uh, uh, issue hai. of course. Because the basis of the dates and flap dates and dates ki saturation is very high. So, this is why the students who are in the flap seats are in the MRCP. Because the MRCP is in the MRCP. Now, look at the the brain brain is in the student is in the MRCP. So, I recommend that you have FCPS journey that start. तो पहले दिन से प्लान कर लो कि भाई एमआरसीपी करना है तो उस वक्त ही करो आपके पास 4 साल है तो एफसीपीएस की ट्रेनिंग भी करो साथ-साथ एमआरसीपी भी कंप्लीट कर लो तो जब आप प्री प्लान को चीज करेंगे ना तो ओके तो वो आपका कभी भी नुकसान नहीं करेगी ओके तो मैं आखिरी ये कहना चाहूंगा आपको आंसर टू डॉक्टर हमजा नजर के समथिंग इज बेटर देन नथिंग कुछ ना करने से आज ही फाइंडिंग कर लो आज सर्च करना स्टार्ट कर दो तो वो ज्यादा बेटर जो टाइम वेस्ट हो चुका है तो हो चुका है मजबूरी है जो नहीं अवेलेबल सीट यस एक और चीज है तो लैब की एमआरसीपी की चीजें कुछ होते हैं स्केजुलर जिन्होंने सॉफ्टवेयर लगाए होते हैं प्री पोन करते हैं यूएसएमएलई की बल्कि यूएसएमएलई की जो वीजे की डेट है बड़ा इशू होता है मिलते नहीं एक साल बाद डेट मिलेगी आपको अगर आज भी वन वीक वीजा अप्लाई करेंगे वो स्केजुलर होती हैं वो आपको पैसे लेती हैं वो आपको डेट पकड़ के देती हैं या आप जो वीजे की डेट है वो अर्ली करके रात को देती हैं वो फाइन करते हैं सारी रात पता नहीं उनके क्या सिस्टम होते हैं आई डोंट तो आप उनकी भी हेल्प ले सकते हैं ठीक है उसके बाद फिर हम आते हैं डॉक्टर डार्क एडिट्स ऑप्शन विदाउट पीएमडीसी रिकॉग्निशन ओनली हैविंग द सर्विस डिग्री डॉक्टर डार्क एडिट्स एंड ऑल दोस फॉर दिस इज फॉर ऑल दोस हु आर फॉरेन मेडिकल ग्रेजुएट्स दिस इज माय मैसेज टू ऑल फॉरेन मेडिकल ग्रेजुएट ओके इफ यू आर गोइंग आर हैव अ स्ट्रांग प्लान फॉर यूएसएमएल डोंट गो for NRE, don't waste your time on NRE. Aap USMLE tiyar karo ke to NRE khud ba khud ho jaye ki. Thik hai, jab aap USMLE dhe ke aao ke, uske agle din NRE dhe ke aao ke, pass kar lo ke, aapko dono chizhiya kakhe mil jaye ki. I am very, very, this is meri ye jo nasihat hai, FMGs ke liye jo bhoot valuable hai. Thik bhai, apna wo kya karti hai, idhar aati hai pehle, pehle to aake push hoti hai, ji hum graduate ho chuti hai, aap bhi also ne kar liya ka. फिर आप डेढ़ साल वो सलील होती हैं एनआरई के चक्रों में और देश से अंग्रेज चक्र में ओ भाई जितना तुम डेढ़ दो साल इधर चक्कर लगाओगे एनआरई पास करोगे एंड देश से अंग्रेज वाई नॉट उस यूं चक्रों में थोड़े से और पैसे अब्बा के लगाओ ठीक है उनको कहो भाई जमीनें बेचो जो मर्जी करो आप कैरियर तो बनाना है आप तो एमबीबीएस से कुछ नहीं होना तो भाई उस पे पैसे लगाओ पैशन क्रिएट करो एनवायरनमेंट बनाओ सबस्ट्रेट बनाओ मैं कैटलिस्ट बनूंगा प्रोडक्ट बनाएंगे 6 महीने 7 महीने में स्टेप 1 पास करो उसके फौरन बाद एनआरई भी साथ दे दो कौन सा जब नॉलेज एक दफा गेन कर लोगे तो दोनों चीजें हाथ में आ जाएंगे दिस इज बेस्ट प्लान फॉर फॉर एन मेडिकल मेडिटेटर्स द कांसेप्ट ऑफ आइडियल लाइफ इन अमेरिका बेस्ड ऑन द हार्ड वर्क एंड डिटरमिनेशन टू द पर्सन तो ये आंसर दिया है मुझे मेडिटेटर्स ने ओके मेडिटेटर्स थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर आंसर आपने बड़ा अच्छा मुझे आंसर दिया है मैंने पूछा था और किसी ने आंसर दिया है अमेरिकन ड्रीम्स का व्हाट इज अमेरिकन ड्रीम किसी और ने भी आंसर नहीं दिया आई थिंक आई एम गेटिंग द आंसर फ्रॉम ओके द मेडिटेटर्स व्हाट्सएप मी विद योर नंबर एंड मेंशनिंग आई एम मेडिटेटर्स देन आई विल बी 
अंडरस्टैंडिंग और अप्रिशिएटिंग थैंक यू और इससे पहले अगर किसी ने मुझे बताया है व्हाट इज अमेरिकन ड्रीम्स तो उसके लिए अमेरिकन ड्रीम्स क्या होते हैं अमेरिकन ड्रीम्स का एक बेसिकली थ्योरी है एक पूरी कहानी है सिंपल इज दैट अपने आप को मोटिवेट रखो एक एवरेज फैमिली में या एवरेज एक स्टूडेंट हो आप एक बहुत अच्छे बड़े ड्रीम्स रखते हो टू गेट सम पोटेंशियल तो इस तरह आपने याद रखना है कि अमेरिकन ड्रीम्स का जब वर्ड इस्तेमाल होता है इसका मतलब है एक लो ग्रोइंग से लेके बड़े लेवल तक पहुंचने वाले जो ड्रीम्स होती है ना बाकी जो आप गूगल करेंगे आप उसको फाइंड करेंगे गूगल की इंटरेस्टिंग अच्छा उसके बाद हमने डिस्कस किए हैं ये भी हमारा डिस्कस हो गया है ये भी हमारा डिस्कस हो गया है ये भी हमारा डिस्कस हो गया है ये भी हमारा हो गया है डॉक्टर मसूद जवेद इज द प्लेब एबल एंड पी एल ए कीज आर एन एफ और प्लेब वन प्लेब वन के लिए प्लेब वन के लिए जो रिसोर्स हैं प्लेब एबल इज एन एफ और कुछ क्वेश्चन ऐसे होंगे जो आपके प्लेब से भी नहीं होते वो क्वेश्चन कुछ ही होते हैं मामूली से अपने नॉलेज से कर लेते हैं वो थोड़ा सा देखें कोई भी एग्जाम हो ना तो कुछ ना कुछ चीजें ऐसे रखी होती हैं उसमें ठीक है तो दिस इज मैसेज फॉर मसूद जवेद लैब वन के लिए लैब एबल एनफ है फ्यू परसेंट ऑफ द केसेस में जो क्वेश्चन है वो आपके नॉलेज की बेस में होते हैं जो आपने पढ़ा होता है तो आप हमारे लेक्चर ज्वाइन करेंगे अगर आपने अभी बुक नहीं कराया या करा रहे हैं तो आपको हम वो भी बताएंगे कि ये एक्स्ट्रा क्योंकि हम थोड़ा सा अभाव पढ़ाते हैं लैब से जब हमारा सारा स्ट्रक्चर एक ही चीज में पढ़ा होगा तो आप कोई भी दुनिया का एग्जाम दे के फिर आके मुझे बताइएगा कि डॉक्टर कामरान ये तो सवाल आपने कराया नहीं था इन आपको सब कुछ कराया गया हाउ टू गेट जी एम सी रजिस्टर एंड ओ ई टी डॉक्टर मुकदस बहुत डिटेल में बताया है मैंने जी एम सी रजिस्ट्रेशन के बारे में लैब का सेशन भी अवेलेबल होगा आप उसको डिटेल में देख सकते हैं मोहम्मद फरहान ए एम सी वर्सेज लैब ए एम सी वर्सेज फरहान साहब आपको सजेस्ट किया जाता हूँ मैं कि ए एम सी के लैब आपके पैसे पर डिपेंड करता है दोनों ऑप्शन बेस्ट हैं दोनों बट मेरी प्रेफरेंस मेरी प्रेफरेंस ए एम सी है अगर मैं आज होता और मैं समझता कि यार मेरे पास पैसे भी हैं और दोनों ऑप्शन हैं ए एम सी और प्लेब तो मैं शायद ए एम सी जाता ओके मेडिट्यूस इज लोन प्रोग्राम फॉर यू एस एन एल मैंने डिस्कस कर दिया है लोन प्रोग्राम ऑलरेडी हाउ वी कनेक्ट विद यू जाए प्रकाश रठौर यू कैन यू कैन कंटेक्ट यूर व्हाट्सएप आई एम पोस्टिंग माई व्हाट्सएप नंबर हेयर so you, if you have any issue any question so you can whatsapp me uh, i am available on the whatsapp i am sharing my whatsapp here okay so let me share my whatsapp in the chat okay yeah this i have shared my whatsapp number in the chat so you can text me uh, on my whatsapp and i will add you in my registered student it's free from nepal pakistan bangladesh and all the countries who have come and go and you can have the sessions free and uh, next is zulfikar dogar bye assalam alaikum wa alaikum assalam zulfikar dogar uh, aziz khan sir i am reading afghanistan can suggest me some ideas for nr okay ideas kya hai आदियास तो अलामा इकबाल बनाता था भाई मैं तो सिंपल सा एक टीचर हूँ या लेक्चरार हूँ या मैं आपको मोटिवेशन दे सकता हूँ आइडियाज तो तब दिया जाता है ना जब आपको कुछ समझ ही ना हो जब एन आर ई सब कुछ वेबसाइट पे मौजूद है कि भाई आपने पढ़ना है पढ़ना है पढ़ना है पढ़ाई करने के लिए आ जाओ पढ़ा दूंगा मैं आपको पूरी फर्स्ट एड और एन आर ई से ज्यादा आपको यू एस एम एल स्टेप तक पढ़ा दूंगा आप जो मर्जी पर पूरी दुनिया में कोई भी एग्जाम दे आओ जो मैंने अभी चौदह पंद्रह बताए हैं सारे पास कर लें डिपेंड करता है पैसा कितना है आपके पास पैशन कितना है सिर्फ ओ ओ ओ एन आर ई करना है हमारी डेली सेशन ज्वाइन करो आठ से नौ तीस दस बजे तक अच्छा जी उसके बाद हमारे पास है जी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन है मेडिकल कोचिंग में भी लगता ये भी हो गया uh, सर आई जस्ट आई जस्ट ज्वाइन द लाइव सेशन डॉक्टर रोहन आलम ने कहा है कि आई जस्ट डेड फोर्थ ईयर वट शुड आई डू फॉर लैब एंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया 
छोटा आई वेट फॉर माई फाइनल ईयर और स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग नाउ अच्छा जो डॉक्टर रोहन आलम आई जस्ट ज्वाइन द लाइव सेशन कोई बात नहीं हम आपके लिए बैठे हैं आप बताएं हम सारे मसले हल करेंगे डॉक्टर रोहन आई हैव ज्वाइन द लाइव एंड इट माई फोर्थ ईयर वट शुड आई डी फॉर लैब एंड नहीं नहीं डोंट वेट ये तो आप मेरा लिख लो आज से ही आपकी जिंदगी चेंज हो रही है मेरे इस लेक्चर के बाद आपकी जिंदगी चेंज हो रही है आपने बैठना है आज के भाई मैंने प्लान करना है रिसोर्सेस इकट्ठे करने हैं कंपनी बनानी है टू समथिंग पॉजिटिव ओके तो अभी मैं फिलासफी की तरफ नहीं जाता पर एक अच्छी सी बुक मैंने पढ़ी थी तो उसमें सिर्फ उसका थीम यह है कि जब आप एक इतनी सी मामूली सी पॉजिटिव थिंकिंग अगर आप सोचेंगे रोजाना 365 सिक्सटी फाइव डेज क्या सिर्फ सोचना है यार सुबह उठ के पढ़ना सिर्फ सिर्फ उठ के पांच मिनट भी पढ़ लो जब आप वो रूटीन में यूली नहीं पढ़ते वो पांच मिनट डेली आपके अगले हफ्ते की रूटीन चेंज करेंगे फिर अगले हफ्ते में दस मिनट पंद्रह मिनट पाँच घंटा दो घंटे चार घंटे पांच घंटे स्टार्ट फ्रॉम स्मॉल एक्ट स्मॉल एक्ट क्या है आज सोचो भी कल से तो पढ़ना है अभी और करना क्या है आपने लैब करना है या एएमसी करना है डिपेंड करता है कि आपके कनेक्शंस कहाँ पे ज्यादा हैं जिसके कनेक्शन यूके में ज्यादा हैं वो लैब करो जिसके कनेक्शन ऑस्ट्रेलिया में ज्यादा हैं वो ऑस्ट्रेलिया करो जिसने आई एम रेजिडेंसी लेनी है जिसने कॉम्पिटिटिव स्पेशलिटी में जाना है तो वो यू जाए लैब करे जिसने एमरजेंसी मेडिसन में जाना है आई में अनस्तीजिया में इस तरह की कोई छोटी मोटी में जाना है इजिली तो वो ए एम सी बेहतर है तो कंपटीशन का लेवल भी देखना है इजिली आप ए एम सी में ए एम सी वन दे के तो गेट कर सकते हैं जहाँ बट वो आपको स्पेशलिटी अच्छी वाली नहीं मिलती तो ये एक डिफरेंस है और नेक्स्ट इज ग्रेजुएशन के बाद यू एस एम एल करना चाहिए एफ सी पी एस में रेजिडेंसी करें और उसके साथ कभी भी नहीं कभी भी यू एस एम एल ई के साथ कोई एग्जाम की तैयारी अगर नहीं हो सकती अगर आप ये समझते हो कि मैं हाउस जॉब भी कर लूंगा यू एस एम एल स्टेप वन भी कर लूंगा तो थोड़ा सा सोचा जा सकता है आई एम नॉट रिकमेंडिंग स्टेप टू में तो सोच भी नहीं सकते किसी जॉब का भी रिमेंबर रिमेंबर माई वर्क अगर आप यू एस एम एल स्टेप वन के एस्पायरेंट्स हैं आप चाहते हैं कि मैं डेली सुबह आठ से लेके शाम के आठ बजे तक जॉब भी करूंगा और यूएसएमएल स्टेप वन भी करूंगा या टू भी करूंगा दिस इज इम्पॉसिबल फिर आप दो साल देते रहेंगे यूएसएमएल स्टेप वन तो मैंने ये एक लॉजिक बड़े स्टूडेंट को समझाई है कि भाई आपका कीमती टाइम ना जाय करो वाई यू आर वेस्ट यू आर कीमती टाइम यार बैठो मनी के चक्रों में देखो या तो दो आए या तो छोटी सी मनी यानी कि जो आपको सत्तर अस्सी लाख एक लाख दस बीस हजार लाख तक आपको पे मिलती है एमओ आपको सेक्रीफाइस करके बैठ के यू एस एम एल जर्नी में जब जाना पड़ेगा ना तो आप फ्रूटफुल उसके आंखें बंद करके सोचा करो कि हाय जब साठ हजार डॉलर एक साल का आएगा ना तो लग बता जाएगा ये सोचो कि यार साठ हजार डॉलर जब एक साल का मिलेगा ना यूएस में तो मजा आ जाएगा तो कैलकुलेटर जाओ गूगल पे लिखो साठ हजार डॉलर इन टू पी कितना बनते हैं एक साल के और पर मंथ काउंट करो तो सेक्रीफाइस तो करना पड़ेगा छोटे से पैसों को सेक्रीफाइस करके बड़ी गेम के लिए आपको फिर सेक्रीफाइस करना पड़ेगा ओके आई थिंक वी हैव कंप्लीटेड ऑल द क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर लेट मी चेक ऑन द व्हाट्सएप इज देयर एनी क्वेश्चन ओके सो देयर इज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम डॉक्टर शाह के वी आर हैविंग द एग्जाम अच्छा हमारे फाइनल ईयर के जो स्टूडेंट्स हैं उनके एग्जाम्स चल रहे हैं वी आई विल हैव अ प्लान फॉर ऑल ऑफ दिस पीपल नो प्रॉब्लम आप अपने इजी वो के एग्जाम्स दें जो फाइनल ईयर के स्टूडेंट्स हैं दे कैन कम एंड जॉइन विद यू नो प्रॉब्लम सो दिस वाज ऑल द डिटेल अबाउट माय सेशन एंड इन द लास्ट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट व्हिच आई एम हाइलाइटिंग इज अबाउट दिस वन व्हाट इज सिम्स मैट्रिक Okay, Sims Medprep is innovative online learning platform. Okay, so we are preparing for USMLE, Lab, MRCP, FCPS, MDMS, 
लीग पी जी सऊदी मेडिकल लाइसेंसिंग न्यूजीलैंड एंड ए एम सी वन एंड ऑल्सो द अदर गल्फ कंट्रीज एग्जाम सो वी आर कवरिंग बेसिक्स एज वेल एज क्लिनिकल फॉर द बेसिक एंड मीडियम यानी कि मीडियम लेवल क्लिनिकल क्लास इज डेली ऑन फ्रॉम एट टू टेन यू कैन ज्वाइन लाइव ऑन यूट्यूब माई नेम डॉक्टर कामरान ख्वाजा सी ओ ऑफ सिम्स मैट्रेप साइनिंग ऑफ फ्राम द टूडे सेशन सो होप ऑल यू कैन ज्वाइ आई एम वेरी थैंकफुल फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर मोर क्वेश्चन आई विल बी रिस्पॉन्डिंग इन द ग्रुप थैंक यू सो मच डॉक्टर कामरान ख्वाजा साइनिंग ऑफ थैंक यू